<clears throat> Hello. I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do for this. I was like, maybe I should just stream this. I'm really tempted to do... I'm really tempted to do this. I'm not gonna lie. I'm really tempted to do this with the engravings. Pog. It does look nice, actually. It goes with the thing, too. Fuck it, I'm doing it. Don't care. Doing it. Jesus. That looks fucking sick. A shy way... I'm, I I I want to do this. Yeah, I think it does too. I'm big enough more than I can chew. Throw it off. We're down. Made it up. Then I'll. I'm tall. Oh my god, I actually did the wrong thing. Oh, whoops. Okay. Oh god damn it, now I gotta go, get, go to the bank. Oops. Eating my cookie. Money to be made on the new railroad for those who know which way the stick goes. Yeah, I'm twelve dollars short. Are you serious? Eddie. Oh. Howdy. Howdy. The most over the top gun I've ever made. Oh, withdraw fifty. Wait, did I fuck up the the engraving on the barrel too? No, I think it's Summers just... off and go arrest him right now. Was it? Want to go piss Summers off and arrest him right now? Where is he? Outside St. Denis Medical Office. Alright, let's do it. I'm gonna go get fucking ammo. He looks angry. That's what the tip said. Why are you carrying your gun? I was cut looking at it. I just customized it. Looking at it while you're walking with it. Horse. Don't let him run into you! Uh, tell me to go get my uh, horse. Yep. You can't tell me you can't fly. We can grab others at... Shady Bell if we want to on the way by. Alright. He's only wanted for robbery. Unless they added threats for Malone's incident. Uh, do you have spare ammo? Uh, what kind? Not uh, rifle, because I haven't been able to carry him on for a while. That'll be enough. Thank you. Malone's at Shady Bell. Do you want to grab him? Uh, yeah, let's grab him. So Shady Bell first? Yeah. Taking it. 
Head up. No, really. Through. Gavin Summers fans us down, please. Please. The day I the day I make Monroe's Litchfield. He's pissed off outside the Saint Denis Medical Office. He's only wanted for 75 days, but. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know if Malone might want that I'm one alone, too. Yeah. He is inside, pretending to be a criminal. Yeah, it might. I don't know if he wants to come. I'll stay here for the training since I'm yeah. hosting it. Um, well, there's a few deputies in there, like Weller and Benny. That, oh no, Benny's injured, isn't he? Uh, Weller and Malone could go. I yeah, this is where I everybody like is. Cleo. Cleo. Hey, Finnegan. I will share the Hello. Rush. Sorry to interrupt, I just want to say hi. Me, boy. Sorry, you can't be a criminal, Weller. I know you wanted to be one. That's right, I'll just go shoot some instead. <laughs> Hopefully, it doesn't come to that. Alright, we're good. Are we get more, or are we just taking us for? We're definitely getting more. That's okay. what I'm saying. I, He's I, only I, wanted I'm for 75. Thought. Yeah, but it's him. It's him. Yeah, but it, it, hopefully he turned himself in. He won't. He, he, he turned himself last time, and then I'm on his list now, probably. So. Yeah. yeah, great. Food? Anyone? I Have don't. I need it, too. I heard you brought me some good news. We're who going we got to get here? Summers outside the Santini Medical Office right now. Who, who you got? I got off. Ruth, Brooks. Who, who are the others? I got Weller yeah. and Cleo. All right. Cameron. Yes. And Kramer. Oh wait, hold on. That's um. That's. I, can, I only need one, don't I? Yeah, you only need one. All right, sorry, Kramer. Cameron, you're coming. Yep. Okay. I'll get my horse. We're Chad. Gonna go dispense some fucking justice. If Malone, is, if he's gonna to try to get Malone. My goddamn steps. I'm. Uh, if if we get shot down trying to protect Malone. Uh, oh, guaranteeing you I'm coming. I got <laughs> carrots. At the very <laughs> least. <laughs> it's behind you, sir. Right here. The right. Let's hit a tip in. Also, if he shoots fudge, well, right I think I'm gonna perma fudge. Is that you, Crater, over there? Uh, yeah. Can you send a uh, telegram from Rhodes? Have medical on standby there. I believe that might already be there. Mm -hmm. I can get your salary to get your salary to get your salary to get your salary to get your salary as always, sir. Brooks Weller. <laughs> yeah, it's always well. Cameron. Okay, not right there. And, uh. Cleo. Cleo. And, and Cleo. Cleo yes. I'm gonna take the back. I can't. Yeah. Yes, please. Okay. Everybody got ammo? Yep. Oh, yeah. fuck yeah. Yep. Good. Now you know how this man works. He may have taken hostages already. Goons. Now in the city, it's gonna be real fucking dangerous. If, if I can, I'd like to draw him out, if possible. But somehow, I don't think that's gonna happen. We're gonna go to the telegram office first. Someone's just hunting you, sir. Oh yeah. For something think... that happened over a year ago. I think Summers is hunting to try to get a piece of his old reputation back, because that's been fucking dead. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, Damn, that's a good point. Uh, <laughs> fucking gone. That ship is sailed. I know. Turn back and lure him away Tip from the city. The medical officer. What's that? Tip said he's Tip pissed said off. Yeah, I know. I did rather would not have a shootout in the middle of town. I don't want innocent people getting hurt if I can help it. I need a good location to lure him to. Any ideas, folks? Uh. Let's slow down quickly. Let's discuss this. S slowing down. <laughs> Good location. Brooks, change your saddle quickly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll go with you. There's the, uh, there's, there's the... Anywhere in the bayou, if we're talking near St. Denis, Caliga, maybe. It looks like there's a lot of dust kicking up here, too. We definitely want to take this fight outside the city. <laughs> I want a place with good ground, though. If he, uh, I mean, if he forces our hand, then we have to do something in the city. Oh yeah, we have to. Oh, I'm yeah, just saying, yeah. if we don't, if we do have the luxury of being able to take a fight out <laughs> outside it, yeah, then let's do that. There's the trenches of Bulger Glade, but I don't really know them that well. You know, there's the, a lot of dust already. You know who the fuck these guys are? Yeah. No, no idea. But they didn't he's say what to us. Just be careful, he's gonna run straight into you. Jesus. Yep. There's a lot of dust kicking up, so let's get this telegram sent. Yep. And, uh, yep. I think, wasn't Kramer sent on the tip? No, he's sending a tip for medical. Oh. oh. But he, he might be sending a tip for uh, the law as well. I probably should have told him to do that, thinking about it. We need to make sure he's in the city still anyway. He may have left. Take him back. And let's be smart too. He's very fond of luring us into unfavorable positions. This could be a... This could be his plan. Where do we think? Where do we think he would uh, lure us to in Saint Denis? I don't know. Watch your rooftops as we're going. Through. Maybe the theater. Yeah, we're not taking a fight in the theater. We had uh, uh, how many deputies did we have? Weller and Brooks when we took that fight. We have ten we or twelve. Have... Yeah. And it was still a hard battle. Was, uh, there was only three inside. over there to the right. Dude, a, a rooftop gunfight with Gavin Summers would be, would be sick. The last word section of Molly's will is actually a death note. <laughs> Hearts in a coma. Monroe's dead. Boyd's dead. <laughs> Dude, rip Eliza and Ruth, man.
Fuck it, fucking Eliza and Ruth are fucked. Well, okay, so he's also looking, he's made a lot of threats at Malone, so I'm assuming, Kite, it's not over that, it's probably because he wants Malone. Chat, we're 53 away from 1k subs. Just saw somebody run to the left for the train tracks, I think. No. Yeah. I'm just looking just, down. Uh, let's just stick close to each other. I think uh, he's Malone's been on his list for a fucking long time, man. So he's waiting for me. Where? The medical office. Now I don't really feel like marching right into a fucking trap, and that's what he usually does. I'm not taking this fight on his terms. Okay. My first duty is to try and get him out of the city. I don't want innocent people getting caught in the crossfire. So, we're gonna try and lead him out towards Boulder Glade. Or at least out, you know, over the bridge. Apart from that, I don't have much of a plan. So if anybody has anything to suggest, I'm all ears. I was gonna say, if we can't get him to leave, maybe we could just clear out all the civilians we can before engaging. What's your problem? problem is it? There's so many streets. There's so many yeah, I know. entrances to that medical you office. They could be. They could have us instantly surrounded. They could yeah, have the rooftops. Uh, they could have yeah, everything. Yeah, I was gonna say he's using that medical office. He's gonna be using top end. Yeah, he's gonna be using too. it. Everything around there. Yup. So I'm not taking a fight that's gonna put us at such a disadvantage. He probably got all of his plan. He's probably trying to get you out here. Yeah. You. He, he might. He might even. I want him to see us, and I want him to follow. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. If, if just be prepared, if he sees you, he might open fire right away. No, he likes to he likes his to own voice too much. Mm -hmm. I don't think he would. I'm not gonna get that close anyway. Oh, okay, and so be. All right, I don't see him. Let's keep going around. Things go south. We get split up. Be back at Rose. Sheriff's office. Understood. Well, who needs to actually take point? Doing an awkward life. We this formate. We do not have a formation going. I'm just gonna. We're we're rolling two 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 right now. I don't see him, but I think he's very dusty here. Anyone see anything? No. No, I don't see anything either. Alright, let's continue to circle. Yep. It, it, it helps that I'm not feeling great today because I've been trying to play Ruth today like really out of it It makes it a little bit easier There He doesn't even fucking see us That's him. That's him. Yeah <laughs> This is pathetic. Should we just sit here? <laughs> I'm half tempted yeah. just to sit here. Oh, he sees us 
Then let's go. You know the plan. Yep. On our right. Yep. Let's go. Back this way. On me. It's rabbit. Right down that alley, down that street. See there, there's definitely more around. Yeah, I know. We're not walking into that trap. Stick with us. Yeah, it's rooftops. I want to lure yep. him out of the city. I don't want innocent people getting shot in the crossfire. All right. Uh, if you do go on a pursuit outside city limits, uh, Forest and I will stay behind. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know if he has a hostage. It just seemed like he was standing out in the open. If he's got yeah. a hostage, just might not yeah, be well, here. Yeah, well, either way, I'm not walking into an unfavorable situation where he's probably got people placed on rooftops. Tip said he was pissed off, so I don't know if he's waiting for something in medical. Yeah, I agree. Okay. All right, we're going to try and continue to circle the uh, the plan. We're going to try and lure him towards Vulgar Glade no, in that me. direction. <laughs> if uh, we do end up leaving, you can break off. Can do. All right. You're the one with the history, after all. Mm -hmm. Let's circle around again. Okay. Dude, my fucking horse. Jesus Christ. Now, what you gotta know about Summers is they're very keen on taking targets one at a time. They like to swarm people like bees, okay? That means we gotta stick together within shout distance. Yep. Have to make sure our communication's on top because they like to flank. I don't recognize. A lot of horses outside the Bastille as well. Mm. Let's keep on moving around. Come on, on me. Let's go. Let's go. I don't- this feels like a really intense scene is about to happen. I don't have any fucking bourbon for this. Yeah, I've been out of scotch for a while. I don't see him. I don't see shit. I think he's literally he's just in the medical too. area. Ah, don't see his finger. not gonna be a fool and walk into his fucking tramp. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, we've got a tram coming. Hey, stop the tram, please, sir. It's going by. What was that? Oh, you can see us. Hey. Somebody's on the roof? No. Somebody's on the roof. Uh, it's, uh, it's closer to the sheriff's office. Okay. That's the warehouse across the road that way. I don't think it's who's on, who's on the roof? Some some person's up scour, scurrying around on the roof uh, on the, the warehouse opposite the stables. All right. I, it's a little far from the uh, the location in question.
Yeah, people go down insides, but they've been tweaking. They've been tweaking it a lot. I've I've ridden it on Ruth. Ah, uh, yeah, I think it was Brooks. No, it was, she it was Chevy. That's right. But Brooks was there. I can only spot him from the gun store. Clarification. Uh, it's a little bit of a bend to get into that street. Yeah, that was a good one, Kite. But she really got tram bold by the tram. You get it? With the tram and tr trampled. Still there. He's still yeah, just still sitting there. there. They really think we're gonna come from that direction. He really thinks we're gonna come this way, doesn't he? So I don't think we're gonna be able to learn about him. Well, we're not going into him. Oh, for sure. Yeah, me too. Hi, uh, yeah, yeah, we can do it. He's got a wanted report out for him. Credible threat against the peace officer. Plus a robbery. I believe they have Plus spotted a us. Names. Yep, so certainly have. You want to get on? Yeah, they could be up there. First comes the worst week. Right. Okay. Oops. Yeah, 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 he's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. I've buried two people today. I'm fine burying a third. That's coming three. Sorry, they, came in, they came in doubled up on horses. Mm -hmm. Two horses, uh, two riders to a horse, basically. So, this little gambit here is kind of trying to make you feel like you got the upper hand. Yeah, 100%. There's three more on roofs somewhere. Oh, absolutely. Or, you, or is, somebody could be hidden in an alleyway or something. I know this fucking city. No one was gonna try and take a fucking shootout. It sure as hell would be there, but there's plenty of roofs, plenty of alleys, yep. streets to shoot down. Wanna 
who his crook friends are. On our right. Anyone recognize him? They've got Gideon Graves going by, and I didn't see who else was. Yeah. Gideon Graves? Who the fuck is Gideon No, Graves? that was someone just riding by down the side there. There's some hunter person, but I don't recognize the two that are with Summers. Yeah, probably Peter Gray. I heard some of Dead Eye Jack or something. Could be Dead Eye Jack, I can't tell from here. Well, we uh, we could go over all the plus ones that end up in these groups. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> Maybe one of them's Clementine. Let's I see. No. Clementine. You know what? Billy Blast yep. is probably there too. Peaches. Belly Blasters. <laughs> yeah, Peaches. Point. Yeah. I don't see any of them yawning, so Morgan may not be there. That's a good group. Ah. <laughs> that was pretty well, good. That was you know what? Good. <laughs> Forrester, sir. That was a damn good one, Forrester. <laughs> that was... <laughs> Maybe that's what. Well, hold up a second. Maybe that's what happened to the three on the back of the horses. Maybe they do have Morgan Lee there, and they, they fell asleep and fell off the fucking back. What's that, Whaler? All right. Okay. You no, stick up there, just keep the grooves clean, okay? Right. He wants me, he can come fucking get Cameron, you got food. No, I don't. <laughs> you know what I think it is? I think Morgan started talking about his stamp collection. <laughs> oh, you know, God. As funny as all that is, I'm pretty sure they all split ways. Yeah, they did. Morgan ain't even with Summers anymore. You, you got food, Forrester? I guess even Summers couldn't stomach having him around. I... I don't have a lot, but I do have a. I have a non bread that Thank you. seems to get some job done with it. I see Whaler getting pretty close up there. Keep an eye out on our angles as well. Yeah. I wish I had Void Skin. God damn it. Obviously, this starts to pursuit now. I think plans change from the rooftop these days. Yeah. Yeah. We got the advantage right now. We do. Those people on the roofs. They're on the total hill. Yeah, I head. didn't. I didn't want them to go too far that, that far forward, to be honest. Waiting for this for a long time. Yeah. You've been telling me about how you he's been after you since I was a fucking cadet. <laughs> Way before you were a cadet. I know, that's what I'm saying. So it's been my entire so career and then probably you. many. Yeah, <laughs> why is he after you exactly? A long time ago we crashed a funeral. Well, we were after Summers anyway, he was finally wanted. And uh, unfortunately myself and Sheriff Carter we got split up from the rest of the group. And um, I did something very foolish, we got, which got a lot of deputies hurt. I drew a gun at a stupid time and cut short a negotiation. I was a young, dumb fucking cadet back then. Thought I was being smart. It did get him arrested, though. And they put him away in Sissico for a long time. God, what a good yeah, shot. Dude, what a good shot. 
Dude, this that angle was so good with all five of us and the three of them down there. Pathetic. After that. Yeah, this with him sitting there, there's absolutely no way he's not Summers will always try and force a fight on his terms. Yep. I'm not playing that game. Absolutely. No, we've had too many deputies shot because of us playing into that game. Mm See that fella, tell him to get the hell out of town. I'm declaring martial law. Understood. Oh, that's fella, don't you? Oh, okay, I'm I think the dust is cleared at least. We back. We'll go with him. I feel like martial law until you leave. Thank you. Appreciate it. Fucking bracing. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Oh, yes. Uh, we talked about going hunting in the snow, Rabbit. I didn't know we meant this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got hunted in the snow. Not sure if you heard about that. No, I haven't. Yeah. <laughs> I can't use a long arm at the moment. In there. I had a yep. tango with Mason James up in the snow. Really? Yep. Did he, uh. What happened to him? He had his way with me, then I, uh. Well, he threw me his. threw me my gun back and told me to fight him while I was bleeding, poisoned, and uh, unable to use my good hand. He seems innocent enough, that one. He said he's leaving. Keep yeah. an eye on him. Okay. Yeah, I dropped him. Wait stuff. until we get Mason James. Still there, huh? Yeah. Hasn't yep. moved the muscle. Hasn't moved. I see weather up there still.
I assume if he has yeah, people, it's going to be on that roof. Alright. Look alive, folks. Keep it, look alive, look here behind us, Cameron. Just make sure there's no one there. Around that corner. No one out. No one out. I think that's our people on the roof right there. Yeah, stay close now, camera. Just, just uh, you, you keep your eyes yep, on the perfect. the rear and the flank for us. I'll watch the right flank. Okay. Okay. Hold it. This is a bad time to tell you, I'm not actually that good at shooting people. It's a mess. Yeah, that's quite alright. It's more me spewing uh, vitriol at people. That's Expect what really gets you in trouble, though. Well, we can't nice. all be slingers, Mark. Mm -hmm. I'm a, more of a diplomat rabbit, as you well know. Man of the people, yeah. if you would. Pen is mightier than a sword. Mm. I've seen you use a pen real creative, like. Right, do you think they're thinking if we walk up, drop mm -hmm. a little bit? He thinks I'm meeting no. him halfway. I'm not meeting him at all. Yeah. He's coming here if he wants no. to talk. He's coming. Absolutely. If it looks like it's coming to violence, you get to cover, okay? There's a good brick wall behind you. Use whatever cover is necessary. I recommend we match their dismount, if they do. Yep. Mm -hmm. If they do got shooters, they're probably gonna try and uh, catch us while we're flat-footed on our horses. More confident on my feet, anyway. Yeah, me too. I fucking oh, hate I... this horse. Oh, I love me a cavalry yeah, fight, but uh, horse not work. in a fucking city. <laughs> I, I think I'd take a foot fight even in the middle of a field. Oh, not me. You give me a pump action on a horse, I'll make that baby sing. <laughs> In the fight against two snakes, I managed to clean up two folk from horseback before the uh, skirmish on foot started. Hmm. Which left Weller and I two to four. Lucky us. <laughs> Whoop. How do we, how do we, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, it's so. I'm telling you, Malone is is such. He's such a. Uh, he's such a, a bad. <laughs> they say every dog has his day, folks. Oh, here we go. Let me tell you, I'm not planning on seeing mine anytime soon. I work nights. <laughs> They're coming on a slow approach. Dude, what a line. Mr. Summers! Evening. What brings you to my fine city, Gavin? Oh, it's still belongs to you. Oh, yeah. these streets are my streets, Gavin, and will be till I roll in the last gutter. Awful cold for a standoff, ain't it? So what do you want? What do you think I want, Mr. Malone? 
I imagine you want my head on a spike. Which is good, because that's what I wear where I want your head as well. Oh yeah, well too easy, Marty. If I wanted your head on a spike, I'd put twenty thousand in jewels on your head and watch it roll across Van Horn's floor. No. No, that would be too fucking easy. Did you have a lovely day, Marty? How was it? No. Could have been better. I buried three people. And the outlaws show the old little giving rise to the dead. No. I would have welcomed it if they tried. That's what this is about, isn't it? Go B. I'm just gonna take position behind you, just in case I have to break right. Yep. Go ahead. Otherwise, I'd um, I'd plow right through you. I, I can go left as well if you want. Bringing about. I'll just uh, I'll just I'll just sit a little back off your shoulder. Okay. How did you not know about that Do you know what? I don't actually know. I was a deputy at the time. That was beyond my pay grade. And after it was all said and done, I. Moved on and put it behind me. Didn't even think about it. Maybe you should try that. <laughs> Maybe I should try that. Marty. Perhaps you should try spending fucking years in Sitsuka because of you! Because of your actions! I gave you... Malone needs to hit him with a boohoo. That's Sisko, fella. No bloodshed needed to be spilled, regardless of the dishonor that you, Tin, both brought to our doorstep. We wanted what you wanted today. A nice, peaceful evening to honor those that passed. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you, Summers. I feel honor is overrated. <laughs> I can see I'm a dishonorable man, deputy. I'll admit it. <clears throat> I ain't proud of it, but I'll admit it. I'm not a good man, Summers. You know what I am? I'm necessary. I am. I am. So what is it you hope to achieve here? Your fellas. I'm assuming there's a few more of you skulking around there somewhere. That's the three of us. I think you had a few more when I saw you last time. And you know, that was you after all. I did say howdy, maybe you didn't hear me. The uh, city were awful dusty. Dude, after Malone all. rubs off on me too much, man. I was gonna say, like, maybe the, said hi if you have <laughs> maybe the theory on the back of your horses fell off, just like your reputation. <laughs> Dude, it, it would. I'm touched. I, I, that would be the biggest escalation I've ever done on Jamie Ruth, man. That would be the single-handed biggest escalation I've ever done if I said that on Ruth. The de-escalator escalates. Oh, this is Cameron. Why? It's not Gabriel, if that's what you're wondering. That's what I was wondering after all. I'm sure he wishes he could be here. You know, there's a race warrant out for you, Mr. Summers. It's not for Steven this time. And what is it this time then, Bonnie? Oh, credible threat against a peace officer. Oh, Bonnie, you've grown so petty in your old age. It's true. I am petty. You also got an arrest warrant out for a robbery, I believe. Isn't that right, folks? 
Top right. I believe okay. so. So, you want to have a pop up your horse and come in peacefully? Well, maybe even give you your guns back. Dampless. I have a better idea, man. I'm going to do an eye. Ten paces. I don't duel crooks. <laughs> it's an example I sent for all the deputies. I got things to do. And to be honest, I'm not much of a gunslinger, in all honesty. People call me more of a man of the people. I think that's a bit tongue in cheek. I'm not gonna duel you, Summers. Don't you unnecessary, Marty. Imagine all the good you'd say. You know, long time ago I gave the same offer to Gabriel. And he had a gun at the back of my head. He would have pulled that trigger. Plenty of women would have been saved. Dolly Dixon. Do you remember her? I don't think I met her, actually. But I remember I Dolly her. Dixon, Gavin. Real clever outsourcing your dirty work like that. Seems like folk uh, lap it up, don't they? Honey goes a long way. Reputation goes further, I suppose. You low on money? Is that why Red Water left you? Or was just Morgan too boring to stick around? I wouldn't blame you if that was the truth. He bores the fuck out of me as well. You think I'm out of money, Marty? You see, I'm not like everyone else. If I wanted your head on this spike at the end of a fucking fortress, I'd have it. I'd put every gem. Thanks to it, Sanitet, for my sub gift. John B. J. Boss. No, I'm not out of money. Me and Redwater split because I don't work with two bits. That's always been me. What's the bet minimum these days, Gavin? We up to four bet crooks yet? in my eyes. Huh? Well, I appreciate that gesture, at least. I can't promise I'd give you the same kindness if you were executed. Truth be told, I'd probably feed you to the dogs like I did that perp today. That's all you're good for. I'm not the deputy you met a year and a half ago, Summers. Yeah, I was foolish back then to do what I did, I admit it. You have my apology if it means anything, though something tells me it's not going to. Oh, an apology. That's what you offer. <laughs> you know what it's like? In that little fucking box, Marty. Mm, do you? No, Mr. Summers. I'm a man of the law, which means I don't end up there. If you followed the same rules everybody else does in the crossing, you wouldn't have ended up there either. So don't give me this fucking pity speech about how you are so hard done by. I've heard it all. And it's quite frankly fucking boring. Is You're not a fucking you? victim, Summers. I should have thrown you from that cliff that day. You and yeah. Connor. I should, I should have know. killed you in Sisica. You aren't a man of honor. You're not lying, man. What's that? You are not a man of honor. I 
can be honorable when I need to be. There are some people I feel that deserve honor. But some people do not. Can you imagine where you sit in that category? You mentioned the duel about how Cash could have saved so many lives that day if he dueled and killed you. Tell me, how many lives do you think we could have saved if we'd rolled up with 60 deputies on that funeral and taken you all in and hanged you all for the criminals you are? A lot more lives, I think. I don't care about honor when it gets results. Now want you go on board, Kerrigan. I'm gonna fucking tram to the right. No. You want me to just stop this? Or do you actually want this to go through? Okay, well. It's probably a little too dangerous for me, being honest. Some yeah, I was just gonna have him stop. Much longer if I have my way with him. I don't know if they I can go fucking backwards name. or not. Hey. Uh, the senior deputy Ruth, uh, can you can you clear this out of here? We we, we yeah, got more. Oh, yeah, I'm smacking the buttons trying to reverse it. We'll, All right, we'll perfect. It, it's martial law, so if you could stop running it for now, for a little bit. All right. All you right. Smell very nice today. Thank you. You had a whole plan for me. I got it easier. Now you want to bid me off. It's a bunch of outlaws. What's the going rate for Marty Malone these days? I'm curious. I hope it's a lot. You're not going to like what I'm about to say. But you're worth one third as much as Jack Ketterman. About two thousand. One third of Jack Kettleman? Now that is insulting. I know. I could have gone for less, but I figured I'd have to give you some honor. Oh, you don't deserve. Well, Mr. Summers. As I said, you do have an arrest warrant. Do you want to make this easy? What's that? You against the measly three of us. Well, like I said, honor is overrated. I do what I have to do to keep the crossing safe. And he walks right into the city so you can just slam your dick around. Have a conversation with me on your terms. My fucking city. You don't think that's gonna do your money. Not enough to have enough that deputies here there. to bring you in if necessary. Yes, and what happens if one of your deputies fails? Overwatch. Oh, I just. Be the, uh. Turn around. Oh, Counts under martial order. Thank you. If one of my deputies goes down bringing you in, they wouldn't have gone down doing their fucking job. I'm asking you if one of your friends lying. Well, well, there's a fucking fool we don't know about. I trust every one of these deputies to do their jobs. And if they fall in the line of duty, then so be it. You're no stranger to that, are you? That's what happened to Goldie. <laughs> oh. Anthony, Shot down by the Kettleman gang, I hear. Yet here you are coming for me. Instead of arranging his death. Now, why is that, Summers? Oh. Oh. 
Marty about a dollar for every bullet I put in Kettleman. I would own this thing. Be the king of the crook. I'm coming to you. Because of your actions. Do you have anything? I was in that box. I could have taken you down the river. <laughs> yeah, I knew what he meant. I showed Shit. you. I showed you. Even just one cat, it will do me. Years of my life, stole it. You're in the box of the crimes you committed, and whether it was me that did something stupid to get you caught, or it was another deputy that caught you another day, it still would have ended up happening, Summers. No, he meant Blondie. You can blame me all you want. You want the person responsible for putting yourself in that box? He meant Blondie. Look Jeff. in the fucking mirror. Trap. What? Is it a tramp? Yeah. I'm leaving us somewhere. Yep, they're on the roof. Fall back. Fall back. I'm with you. I'm with you. Who knows the way to the roof? I don't. I don't. I believe it's this way. I'm right, me. Let's go. Fire. All right, I'm with you. Not receiving any fire. Well, are you up there? I'm gonna have alleyways too. Let's go. With you. Deputies, call out, please. We're here. We're down behind you. Behind you. Here, I think. There's a way up here somewhere. Oh, that didn't. They're riding away. With here, this way. They're riding away. They're riding away. They're riding away. They're going down. They're riding away. One is down. Uh, one All right. Down. Everyone, let's meet up. Folks on the roof, come down here. Is anybody hurt? All right. No. Is nobody hurt? Were you all good? Oh shit! Watch the locals. <laughs> Martial law says you clear the streets. Are any of ours injured? I don't believe so. No, we don't have any. No injuries. Too much. Let's wait for people okay. on the roof first. Holding central. Clear My horse is down. Mine's down. You've lost it, then we'll have to double up on one. So they definitely had no, two on the roof. Far. Yeah, but I, I figured as much. Exactly what I thought. Thanks for uh, calling that out. You saw him right at the right time. Is that you? Piece of shit. Goddamn creature. Get the fuck off of me. On the back of your horse roof. Alright. <clears throat> My horse is around somewhere, just Come on, just jump on someone. Yeah, I'm just gonna grab go grab mine in the uh Hop on. Oh fucking Christ, here it is. <laughs> All 
right, let's sweep this city. Everybody, let's move together. I'm with you. I believe they're probably fled. They know they don't have the number to take this fight, especially now that you lost one. The last one, huh? Yep. Eight to five? Seven. Clear went to bed. Oh. Missed that. Stop him. Hey fella, SESD, hey, can I stop him for a sec? There's a rider to our north. Is that a rider? That's sure. That's sure. It's me! That's sure. I found Summit. Where is he? You dead? He's down this way. Ah, oh, Christ. Okay. What yeah, happened? he does have someone hurt. Let's not, let's not rush in. Uh, there's plenty of fucking rooftops and everything nice, around nice here. Nice and careful, please. Nice and controlled. Shaw, can you see Malone? I saw two other folks that were fleeing town that way. Um, they were masked up, they weren't responding. I have no idea the fuck was. Probably other folks. Yeah, they could have been with him. Probably split yeah. up. They were split up with the shootout, so. Yeah. Alright, then uh, let's the have the original group of six. Uh, we'll have to sub someone in for Cleo. You want to sub Shot, Rabbit in? Come? I was going to say. Sure. Rabbit, you're injured, right? You okay to stay behind? I just don't. I need someone that can use a rifle. You burn in the ghost shell? Go ahead. <laughs> well, that's still one. Let's to let's camera. all move together first. Sweep the north of the town. Let's ascertain that he's actually what? left first before. Do you, do you uh, mean the east? Sir? We 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 east. we're still east. 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 No, I know, but he meant uh, east. I meant. Uh, oh, you I went. Meant he east. meant east. Yes. Yeah. Okay, right. But then uh, let's sweep east. If we can see any sign of him, and then Rabbit will um. Just make sure we're checking our really tops as we go. Yeah. All right. Get back on the horse, Rabbit. Stick with us for now. All right. Let's go. Lead the way, Miller. Uh, I'll, I'll let you know that he's still with us. All right. Shaw, you saw me leave. They're probably long gone now. I don't think they're gonna so stick this fight out here. We have eight people here, don't we? Oh yeah, we got too many. Who who yeah. else is sitting out? Well, myself and one of those got to sit out, so someone's got to volunteer himself. We have eight people. That's what I mean. If we have to leave, Rabbit and I are moving. Okay. okay. Yeah, Forrester can stick with me. That's fine. Okay. Understood. Again, guys, check rooftops as we go by. Yep. I wish you would have stayed in the city, man. That shootout would have been sick in the city. With the snow. Alright. 
killing. I mean, they didn't expect us to be that dumb, did they? They did. The they problem really is, like we've walked did. into his tramps before. Horse up ahead. Only so many times you can put a silk over a bunny's head, right? They had all dark horses. I take offense to use of bunny as the example. I'm sorry, my bad, Sheriff. What happened again? Uh, what about an otter? Yeah, sure. Alright, perfect. <laughs> Only one thing you can bag and shoot an otter? <laughs> I, I don't know. It's just right. to Hold on, people to the left. Civilians over by the bar. That's scared. Asking if they seen anything. Yeah. Well, let's go see if they've seen anything. I don't think they're gonna tell us shit anyway. Yeah. On the right as well. Yeah. I'll ask these guys. I'm very brave if they uh, just stood around after. Yeah. It's a good disguise though. Time you saw a group of people. Uh, you right now, actually. Yeah. Very funny. Thank you. We heard all the shots, but all we saw was you guys and uh, someone running from you guys, it looked like. Alright, well, if I were you, I'd probably vacate the town because there's a notorious group of outlaws around right now and uh, it'd be dangerous. Maybe just getting inside at the very least, if nothing else. Mm -hmm. uh, Alright, thank you. Good to know. It's also a little yeah. dusty in town, so, uh, yeah. Right. Take care of yourselves. Yeah, they haven't seen anyone down this road. No. They could have gone anywhere by now. I mean, they could still yeah. be on the ducks where we left them, to be honest. They'd still be on the roofs. You want to sweep it? I think it might be wise, sir. I mean, if one of them's wounded, we might not have been able to get him very far. Behind us. South. Group of people running. Somebody running? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They had the roof Hold on. There's someone running. Let's Somebody go. Somebody fleeing hard. I thought there's another horse in front of them, too. See where they went from here. No. The horse okay, Ruth? Yeah, yeah, I'm I have not had a uh I've not had this horse out in a while. I thought it was oh, shit. No. What was that? What was that? West? That's Shaw, he's not by himself. Shaw by himself. Where the fuck uh, is Shaw? He Just went straight ahead. west by the best deal. Made a right too, correct? Didn't catch the flanky. I don't. A lot of folk on front. I, I didn't see where he went past the right. Shaw! Shaw! West. More shots west, is that what you said? West? Not west, oh, oh, I hear him west. Yep, yep, yep. Let's go. Gotta pick it up. Let's go. Big crowd. Martin coming through. Five second gas left. South, south. The theater? Oh boy. What the fuck? Oh. Let a push at this theater the other day. That's out of time limits, so uh. No, they're still in town. They are? Alright, let's go all the way to the house by the lake. The one with the big guy. 
They took first shots at you? Two shots. How many of them were there? <laughs> All in black. Just like them. Unless they've gotten another horse, they couldn't have gotten started. I reckon they're back to the southwest. Yeah. One of them did have a pump action shotgun, he's gonna try and hold a close quarter. They're gonna mm -hmm. take one of the houses. They could be taking the governor's camp. Have a look. Yep. yep. Would they have gone past the Vincenzo Manor? I think so. I don't feel like. Yeah, I, this is so chaotic. I don't. I'm so confused. I don't think it's worth it. I don't think they came this way. I think they went south. You see anything? No, no. Let's head south. Let's head back, see if that horse is still there. Lead the way, Sean. Gets a little yeah. treacherous here. Yeah. Oh, good. Thought you were taking us the uh, dicey route. Can't have gotten far. That's the Is horse that the they fled on. Around? Yeah, and then they jumped that fence and headed north. Yeah. Let's try the east side of the city again. Hold on. 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 All right, let's go. Let's check the tip line, since we're here already. We might as well. Checking the tip line. I could have sworn I had a gun shot from the fucking theater. I thought it was further south than the theater. Sweep this city one more time, but I have a feeling so he's gone. So, we send an update. 
um, you know, yes, tell them to be on the update. lookout, particularly. Yeah. I feel like we should Good defend idea. two groups. One take the south part of the city, one take the the north. Well, I suppose it's more east than west, but... Alright. What? Honestly, I think it's a better idea we stick together, especially here in the city. So true. Especially uh, knowing he's gonna beat us into something. Yeah, I mean, he could he, he very he, nearly he, beat and us. He, yeah, he already tried here. to ambush us once today. They could easily pick us off. I don't know who these perps he has with him, but, uh... Alright, Telegram like... Station, send an update, then we're gonna sweep this city. Could have sworn one had a pump, too. Maybe I was just a man. Maybe he Same. waited into the fight with the varmint rifle, who knows? <laughs> Maybe, maybe he's fighting with a varmint rifle. Yeah, maybe it was a varmint yeah, it rifle. It could have been a customized varmint rifle to make it look like combat control. That'd be scary. That's a strategy. <laughs> I don't want to be shot by anything that takes 16 shots to die, personally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can't be Slow cool. way of going. It's like we'd rather be eaten by ants or lions. Yeah. Get out of town, it's quite dangerous right now. There's gunshots going off. I, I was arguing you would get out of town. There's a uh, danger right now. The gunfight going on. Yeah, it's Saint Denis, I know. I can't hardly believe it. I'm Sheriff Malone. So, uh, we're trying to get people to clear out of the city or at least get inside somewhere safe. Well, uh, there's a horse with a person on the back. The horse of a person, go. Yeah, just stay safe. Slow, slow up, slow up. Ah, yeah, fucking. You gotta be fucking shitting me. Hold on. Slowly, folks, slowly. Watch your fucking flanks, watch your fangs. Watch the cops. I got the rear. Get the rear with you. The severe lack of communication is like the worst thing. Get him back to the office. Means they might be in this area. Well, it means they just up and fucking left him. Yeah. I don't think they used the bait like that. I don't think they just left him. Yeah, I think they did. Yeah, but <laughs> well, look, we don't even know if it's the same fella. <laughs> Might as well take them out of town at this stage, considering how dusty it is. That is... Uh, point. it's not uh. actually dusty, folks. We're fine. It ain't? Okay. No, we're fine. I did tell a bunch of people to fuck off, so I'll play that Yeah. Out. The tip is totally weak. I don't want to, uh, head to roads and they've already got a group of six out there.
I want two of the ancients. Strip him first. Yeah, I got it. Is he familiar? Don't look familiar. You don't even got a sidearm. He's got a good taste of cigarettes, though. No? Can I help you, Noah? This rakes the gunpowder. Definitely in our shootout. Most likely. Alright, uh, Ruth. Yep. Can you take a group of four and head down to the, uh, the telegram and see if we can get a doctor here? I think this fella might need it. I'll go with him. Alright, let's do it, Chief. Ruth, Brooks, Cameron, let's go. Let's go. The rest of you hold right. this down, okay? Yep. Malone, you taking point? Yep, on me. On you? Alright. Alright. Keep an eye out. They could still be out here. in the actual telegram. I got it. I never got to fully finish that first one. Oh, but I know? think I got the point across. Alright. Okay, well, god damn it horse. I doubt they're still in the fucking city, dude. I highly doubt. I guess it would be roofs and shit, but this whole shit was such a clusterfuck. Where was this person found, by the way? On the dock. On the way back, on the way back, we just like kind of scan the area. Yeah. You think he's still hiding in there? I don't know. I, I highly doubt it, but I'm just confused. I'm sorry, but the communication has been really asinine tonight. And that's not on you, sir. I'm just saying, like a lot of people keep speaking up at once. I've been having a very hard time following what we're doing. I'm having a hard, I'm having a hard time hearing people half the time, to be honest. Like, uh, and it, this ain't trying to throw shade at anybody, but Shaw just kind of took off, and I didn't know what the fuck yeah, was I happening. Know. We'll talk about it later. Okay. But I just am trying to figure out where, what the fuck is still happening. He I was think on Shaw the dock. Having some problems with his hand. I mean, the, the shots were south of here. Yeah, uh, and we went the complete opposite direction, so I'm trying to figure it out. Up in, up in the fence, and north, um, right, the the house of Blake, And I had some fellas fleeing towards the I am going to duck out at this point. Alright, Cameron. Thank you. Thanks. Have a good night. Alright, we didn't see anything Gallagher, we didn't see anything on the way to Rhodes. Uh, we we're just going to come by and check on Cash, because they left right when you guys sent that tip that they headed out towards Rhodes. I know Cash said he was named specifically once or twice by Summers recently, so... Two of them ran into two of them. It's, it's, 
it's all you know, yeah. 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 All right. Let's pick it up. He's on uh, light on duty, paperwork duty. duty. Okay, well, uh, we're sweeping the town for Summers, so you might want to get inside if you're on light duty. Well, why don't I go with you? I'll play cadet. Anything happens, I'll run to the telegram. All right, I need to figure out if they found out who this person is. Give me a moment. Yep. Come on, head out. Yeah. The communication has been so fucking bad. Yeah, I know. Shot just kept taking off. Hey. Howdy, where's Benny at? He's right here. Oh. Uh, he, he's gonna stay. He wants to stay he's here. Safe? He's on okay. light duty. Anyway. Okay. All right, we're going then. All right. Okay. Uh, be safe. Hey, real quick, Kennedy. Do you guys see? I'll, 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 I'll ask Benny. I forgot he's with you. I'll just ask Benny. Yeah. I'll just ask Benny since I forgot he was with you. That way you could go catch up with him. Did you guys see anything on the way into town? Uh, literally, it was the ghost road. There was nobody on it. We I literally heard he a gunshot. We had a gunshot in, like, literally the way we're facing, and for some reason, we were taken north. So, uh, we still mm. haven't really cleared the south part of this fucking town yet. I think we need to go through the docks, if anything. If that's where that horse was found, they could have just ditched him and hid. Yeah, and... But how long he's been waiting? Uh, I mean, I I think it's unlikely that he's still in town, but there's a split chance. Yeah. All right, Malone's here. To the telegram office. I'm an idiot. I put Sandini in the uh, fucking uh, body, but in the subjects, I put Rose. Okay. Did you figure out who that was? I gotta correct that. Not yet. But the thing, he's playing the innocent right now. That he's in the area and got shot. I'm, no, I'm... I saw him get put on the back of that horse. Yeah. Uh, how many did you encounter? At least five, maybe six. There were three initially on the first bank. That was Summers, uh, two, um, two others. I think Peter Gray and some other fuck it. Then the other two or perhaps three were on a roof. They try to lure us into a trap. To be honest, I still uh, I agree with Brooks. I think we should sweep the docks. We heard the shot from the south. That man was waiting in town for how long? He's patient and he wants you, sir. If he wanted me, he would have came for me. Instead, he fled. He tried to bait you into an ambush. He didn't try to flee. He tried to get you into a position where he was best suited. Yeah. There's a chance he might be waiting for you. Still. All right, we'll sweep the docks. I just I don't understand why we were taken north when we, there was a gunshot south. Don't get don't make sense to me. It's probably been too long, man, but... I'm doing a quick ride by, I think. Don't hurt. I think it's probably right. it's probably been too long, but doing like a quick ride through, I feel yeah. like, is it, better you safe wanna, than sorry. You want us sorry. to get more deputies first? Because I think we should. Yeah, I mean... You know what? split up enough and one's down. Let's go. Let's just do it now. Oh, that's okay. what I mean. Just do it quick, you know? We have Benny, Benny's here. He can just he can fuck off and grab more deputies for us. You can keep him talking for a while. Though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, somehow I don't think he's gonna be doing much talking now. Although the three of us are three just like very much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll, uh, you know I almost I said something. You know, I almost said uh, you know, obviously I wasn't gonna speak there because you were leading, but I did have a good thought, you know. Remember how he was sitting there claiming that he only had three, but Rabbit even called him out that he had six? I was gonna ask him if the other three fell off his horse just like his fucking reputation. <laughs> I wish you had said that. I, I didn't want to speak up while you were leading. I would have promoted you to share. <laughs> Let's just uh, tell the others we're sweeping the docks so they know where we are. All right. 
and then we'll come back down this weekend. Yeah, like I said, I think it's what it's been like fucking 15 minutes since yeah. we heard that shot. He's probably gone, but it's better to be safe than sorry. He, especially if we, if the horse was left and he's possibly on foot. You know what I find interesting as well? He preaches to me about honor. There he is fucking lying through his teeth about how many people he has with him. Yeah. Honor, honor is only used when it's suitable. Yeah. We're gonna go sweep the ducks. Just give it a full once over. Okay, do y'all want more than just four? No, you wait here. I want that, nope. uh, that deputy was definitely involved. Uh, Brooks, quickly speak to Rabbit and tell her what she saw, because I want to I wanna make sure we got a full picture here. And then we'll head. Make it quick. So, we came around this way. Gunshot was in this direction. Probably roofs this way. But if he runs on foot, my bet would be probably Caliga area. Maybe try to sneak over. But I couldn't tell if he was the one on foot or if he was on horseback, because the comms were so dog shit. Because if he don't have a horse, he's running on foot to Caliga to then go to Rose. I thought but... it was south, but then someone said the theater, and then someone said west. See, I, I heard the shot. It was south. And then I thought, oh, somebody said the theater. Maybe it was south because we were just north of the theater then. But then somebody somebody said we should go north or northwest. And that made no sense. I thought, I thought Shaw saw them go, uh, go north. We also have to keep in mind, so are we, are we trying to, so, so here's the other thing, that, that whole situation being as hectic was, as it was, is he on foot or is he on horseback, the no one idea. that fired the shot? Because I thought the horse was left behind. I'm pretty sure he was on foot. Because it, if he left the horse. Yeah. They jumped over a fence, I know that. That's so so if he left the fucking, if he's on foot and fired a shot south... I don't know. The, the, we, there's literally we. There's all of the docks. He he could have snuck out and stolen a horse by the telegram station by now. He could have snuck out and went towards Calico or Shady Bell area. Could have went. Uh, fuck. Typically, you know, uh, you know, the last time we. Uh, no, last time we had to, we had something like that where we thought people left on foot from uh, the slaughterhouse. You remember that? It was the dead end gang. Mm hmm. I thought they were gonna go on foot from Caliga to the uh, stable to go get horse, go get a horse in roads, cause how quick it is. But you know, he could have mm. just grabbed a horse from uh, the stable across from the docks if the gunshot was south. So, uh. All right, let's go. I'm so confused by the comms, man. Honestly, I was more concerned about keeping everyone together than I was about yeah. anything else. Because uh, it's easy to get to leave each other behind, especially when it's so easy to crash horses. Yeah. I mean, it don't help when people aren't sticking together either. No. Doesn't. I also feel like there's situations where uh, we just gotta learn from it as a department. If somebody's leading, it's fine to give information, but don't try to take over unless they ask you to. All right, you want to start here? Yeah, I'm just looking at roofs and alleyways. Well, let's uh, dismount here. I I down a boat. A, uh, One ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Could you imagine if Gavin Summers fled Saint Denis on a fucking boat? <laughs> that would be something to make fun of him for the rest of his fucking life. He was not happy to see me on that roof. Did he say something? Yeah. He was talking to me and Weller for a little bit. We were we we're trying telling him to push forward to talk to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
Yeah, he really wanted us to go uh, meet him. Mm -hmm. I'm. I saw those people on the roof probably 30 seconds before. You did good. Yeah. Keep up, Benny. I can't have stragglers. Hold on, we gotta move as slow as Benny. All right. This one, I think. I think it's the warehouse. It's the one you could climb on. He's used his warehouse before a long time ago. Really? Mm hmm. And the gunshot came south. Probably this area. Alright, I got before. a shotgun. I'm gonna go up the ladder first. Ain't there another you know ladder? What? There's another let's ladder sweep, south of here, too. Let's sweep the bottom first to make sure it's clear, then we'll move up. Yep. Dude, I guarantee, dude, if he used this spot before, I guarantee you the gunshot was south and he was holding out here. 100%. I, I don't We're understand. Too far ahead of you, Benny. Call out, okay? I don't want us getting split up. I don't understand what that situation was, man. There's a ladder on this side, too. Okay. Ruth, I want you with me. The red, the rest of you down here. Okay, I got an idea. Would you let yeah. me go climb up the other ladder? There's another ladder right over there, too. So you both can go up at the same time, but see each other. Right. Do it. My side's clear. Middle's clear. Alright, let's go. Alright. It's Let's clear. Walking towards the front there, there's a ladder on the front. I'm gonna go down it. Wait, ain't there a ladder? Where the fuck is it? Up here. Where's the ladder? Oh, it's right there. I'm dumb. I don't like this ladder. Uh. <laughs> oh. There we go. Face away from it and then just... It's very delicate. I don't know how to explain it. If you follow, can't you? All right. further up east no I don't, I don't think, think he would have gone that way I think he left town honestly yeah. the shot came south it, it, it I think it was this area Me too. based on the fucking yeah. shot and it, I didn't know he used this before it only just occurred to me that he's used this before it was a long time ago yeah when I was still a cadet where, where else could he move on foot I'm trying to think if he actually stayed on foot where he would go by you, maybe? I don't know. Swamps. Yeah, swamps. Swamps, Caliga. Mm -hmm. Let's like head back that. to the office. Yeah. We'll see what Ravage found down. If she's found anything. Oh, yeah, there are fucking stables. Oh, you got your horse. So used to thinking people go to roads for stables. Yeah, I would just grab a fucking... If he shot here, why would he... Maybe he shot... I wonder if he shot at a deputy. I wonder what the fucking shot was, man. This, this is why I'm so perplexed by this situation, man. One deputy takes off alone, gets sh like three shots go off, and then there's a shot to the south. Like, this situation was such a shit show. Because you could just go into the stable and grab a horse. But why would there be a shot to the south? 
Unless he was actually gonna try to save the person we have in custody? I don't know. Makes right. zero sense to me. Now we this up. whole situation makes zero sense. Uh, we've got the uh, medical staff here uh, working on him. Uh, get them quiet here. They're in. Yeah, you don't know how much I wish we would have just wanted the ambush, plan? man. I wouldn't have had to deal with the comms of our, <laughs> of our situation. I, I like my chances in an ambush. I'll be out front with you. Dude, that would be the funniest t turn of events, Clinics. If they've been in the theater the whole time. <laughs> the gunshot was actually this th the theater this entire time. <laughs> that would be fucking hilarious. Dude, I just, I'm so confused. Like, Chad, are you, am, I, am I alone in being confused? Like, the shootout erupts, they start to flee. They flee into an alleyway. We go to check the city. Shaw runs out of nowhere. Like around this area. Says he knows where Summer's at. And then starts going this way. And then we turn this way. Go all the way up. Come all the way back down. Come all the way around this way. We somehow end up over here. Like... And then Shaw just starts running on his horse, and then there's gunshots to the south. But like, why even take a shot at a deputy if you're just you could get the stables here? I'm just confused. Yeah, I don't know who said to go north. Whoever said to go north was... That was the absolute wrong decision. We should have went south with the gunshot. But the communication on that situation was really bad. There's way too many ideas. I, I forgot about the stables. I... Hell, there's even a slaughterhouse. See, like... I also get stuck in, like... I, I try to think like an outlaw, though, man. As well. Like... If I'm in a, a city, and I'm extremely outnumbered... You looking at where you think you could've gone? I'm trying to think like an outlaw. If I'm in a city and I'm outnumbered, outgunned, and my horse was shot down, if he was I, at the docks, would like, he would have gone probably Caliga. Well, let's be honest. If Bell, BG was in that situation, it. all six of us would be on a roof, just waiting, and then try to slip to these stables at the perfect time. Or do you think he's gonna link back up with his friends in Van Horn though? Maybe. That dumb fucker starting a showdown in the middle of town. I wish there was, a, there was a starting a shootout in town. Yeah. You know, versus resisting. They just started. Did they even start shooting at you guys? We couldn't even figure out exactly who was shooting. Nah, uh, they started shooting at us, yes. So I just started unloading on the people on the roofs to keep them pinned. 
as a prime example of when someone's leading, you need to let that person lead. Mm -hmm. And a prime example of there's good leaders and there's bad leaders. <laughs> you guys, as soon as you started following him, he was trying to beat you guys back there so hard. And honestly, right now, I kind of just wish we did. Mm. We probably could have taken it. Yeah, we had him outgunned. Yeah. I'm trying to think. We we would go roof to roof to roof to roof. Yeah, you're not wrong. And hiding on roofs. And you go to these stables or try to go out on foot. What the hell's the carriage doing it? Oh, uh, those the medics came in it. Ah, okay. Alright. So to update everyone, we're probably going to get this fella processed, and he's probably going to be uh, staying here. So... We might, uh... We might want to start dispersing out of the city. Most likely, they're just clear out. What's that? I'll see what the sheriff wants to do. I'll be right back. Dude, if they went sh Oh my god! That would be fucking hilarious. Could you imagine that? Oh, uh, well, we just passed by. Of course he did. What is responding? I'm responding to something. We may have something. Where? Slaughterhouse. Let's Two go. people fled inside it. How long ago? Just came in, I don't think long ago at all. I swear to God. People who have shotguns have them. Plenty of ammo. You need it in there. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna need mine. Let me get some ammo. What's going on? Uh, slaughterhouse. That's, that's kind of all the info we get. Two people, slaughterhouse. Uh, that... It's kind of interesting since I literally just saw Wallaby walk by. Do y'all have six already? I don't believe so. You want to be a part of it? Uh, yeah, if I'm needed, I'll happily go. Alright, sounds good. When the sheriff gets out here, I'll let him know. He's a genius. Slaughterhouse. No, I, I honestly, Slaughterhouse is such a weird one to go if you're over here. Uh, who's coming? Uh, I think Malone was talking. It was grabbing people. All right, so I put Malone, myself, Shaw, Brooks, and you uh, as responding for Ruth. Okay, so it's five. Yeah. yeah. Forrester will be the Kramer's, six. Kramer's already on his way. Yeah. Benny, I'm so sorry, but I don't think you're actually on duty either. No, Forrester no, will be the six. He's just gonna watch. No, I'm talking about Forrester and Betty. Because I believe it's outside of town limits. It is yeah, Benny is light duty. He's not on duty. So... Uh, I'm not going in with you. Yeah, he's not going. Oh, yeah, good. He's just on his horse. Alright, let's go. Wait, aren't we waiting on the sheriff? We, we can have an ounce of patience. Okay. Slow down. Someone, someone said Malone had already left. No. Okay, I'm really confused now. Am I, am I going Forrester, or you're am staying I here. You're, 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 I'm staying here? Okay. Yes, I'm sorry to be blunt. Let's get into that point. Well, then who's going instead of Forrester? <laughs> Benny, Benny's not cleared. I don't know. Kramer what... has already marked himself for spawning. Okay, alright. There we go. Where the hell is Malone? He no, wasn't I know. Inside. I'm only tasting chair. I'm, not, I'm, I'm just that, trying to laugh. That's his horse right behind us, ain't it? Somewhere. Malone's just had a headache, so he'll be. He'll there we go. Second. Okay. That's alright.
Sorry, folks. I got glued to the cabinet. Can't explain. That's uh, the other guy. I tried really hard to unglue him, so it won't work. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right. He's not. We, we're only taking five. All right. You know there are two ways up and down that slaughterhouse now, right? I said that there's some other bullshit hiding places, so be careful. Yeah, there are. There's also a rider that just heads like, uh, right. Yeah, I saw that. I didn't recognize them. They're on a brown horse, so I don't think they're here. Yeah. I couldn't tell who was riding too far. Wallaby's horse. Oh, great. Is he wanted? Yeah, I believe so. Dead End Gang robbed the bank yesterday. Is he wanted enough for us to do this? I mean, he robbed the bank. And he robbed the bank. Or a train, I, a train. It was a train. Yeah. And I believe they're wanted for holding up the saloon. Yeah. That'll do it. I haven't single fired a single shot this war. Who's this? Right, ready? Hold up. Yeah, it's nobody. All right, I'm ready. Okay. On me, let's go. Going in. Saints Crossing Sheriff Department. If anybody is inside, make yourselves known. What the fuck do you want? Mr. Eastwick. What do I, I want? Coming in. No set of movements. What do you want? Well. You're apparently a wanted man, Mr. Eastwink. For what? I didn't come here for you, but I'll take I you. I ain't anyway. fucking wanted. Get the fuck out of here. No. If you're not wanted, then you wouldn't mind coming to the station with us. We can verify that that's true. I ain't My going deputies seem to think you, you are. Lord. What's that? I ain't going nowhere with you, my lord. Oh, but you are, Mr. Eastwink. I got plenty of deputies here that could easily shoot you down and bring you in. I don't really want to have to do that. I got things to do tonight. Well, and I'd rather get this over with. Them. Well, then you can come down to the station and we can talk about it, can't we? If you got nothing I to hide, wanted. then this should be over pretty quickly. You must be mistaken. I am no, wanted I nothing. Don't think we are. <clears throat> so you gonna make this easy or are you gonna make this hard? Hey, I heard something like that similar. Not too long ago. What happened there? You're coming in. Whether you want to or not, Eastwick. You come barging in here, barking your fucking orders. And I'm just peacefully minding my own business. Well, the thing is, you ain't minding your own business when you're robbing trains, robbing bars. So forgive me if I don't I buy your hard-done-by bullshit. I've heard it once tonight already from someone else. When have I ever said I was hard-done-by, Malone? You ain't sitting here peacefully... 
You can't. You're not man. coming in peacefully. Yeah, bring in six. No, we're here man. for someone else. We just uh, happen to be in the neighborhood. Well, fucking look for them. I'm pretty sure they're long gone now. So why don't you come on in? I don't want to go with you. I don't Tough. like you. You got this irritating voice and yeah. that fucking face. It's enough to. I'm told it's quite annoying. Die. Look around you, Wallaby. We got enough deputies to take you easily. You really want to make this any more worse than it is? Be my yeah, guest. Even worse. You are mistaken, Malone. But then come down to the station and we can talk about it. Last chance. Or what? Or I'm going to make you gun come me in. down. If I have to. And how many standoffs you had here, Wallaby, and how many times has it actually gone well for you? You know how this ends. You want more charges? Go ahead. You come in peacefully, I can make a good deal for you. <laughs> I'm sure you cut me a real good deal. But I ain't wanted for nothing. Maybe I you should go you do your paperwork and then come back. No, we'll take you now and verify that's the truth. Because I have an inkling that when we come back, you won't be here anymore. I'll go check it. He comes with us now. What are you looking for? Doesn't matter. Right now, we want you. Get the fuck out of here, Malone. Get down here You're right now, Eastwick. Me. All right, let's move up. Watch what are you doing that if I were you? I'll be behind right. you if you want to take point. You're gonna. Last time. I want. I want two people watching downstairs. I got me and Will. I can take All right, you two and me, Brooks, yep. Ruth. Last chance, Eastwick. Oh, we're coming up, all right. I don't care what mood you're in. I got a job to do. And we ain't leaving at your fucking leisure just because it's an inconvenience. Inconvenience. You have no idea what you're fucking talking about. On Check the stairs. Come on. Hands. Let me see some hands. He's up the stairs. He's got a gun Come in his hand. Come on down right now. You put that gun Get down. The fuck away from me. I'm not in the fucking mood for this. I don't put care the what gun fucking down. mood you're in. I buried three people today. I'm happy to bury you as well if I fucking have to. Ah, oh, you want to bury me too? Yeah, you're talking awfully big. Get the fuck down here right now. How badly do you want me for? Nothing. Hmm? We'll get to the bottom of that when you come in. I All you're gonna do is get yourself alone. more time. I got no time for your fucking bullshit. If you ain't wanted and then you start trying to resist arrest, guess what? You're gonna become wanted and you're gonna go to Sisica anyway. Arrested for what? Robbery. Robbery? Now, Which come on one? down. I'm not going to ask you again. I, I see you right that. there. Come on down. You're a fucking idiot. I've already been over this. I don't care, Wallaby. You're coming in.
You want to chance it? Do you? Oh, I'm happy to, Wallaby. Are you, though? You don't get to dictate when we leave and when we go. When we leave and when we go. That's a double negative. You dropped Malone. <laughs> I'm going to drop you in a minute. Moved up another set of stairs. Don't, 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 don't. Last chance, come out. We're not don't leaving you unless you come out with your hands up. And come back. You couldn't do that. No, we're I not doing that. I gotta do. Yeah, well, so do we. So hopefully you can just get this over it. with. You're holding this all up by not just working with You're us. You're holding everything up. I told you I ain't fucking wanted. And I'm well, then you come you down. You are. You come down quick. You come down, we sort it out. And then everybody goes back to what they're fucking doing. Yeah. What the fuck ever. Put the gun away. Hands up. You ain't fucking touching me. Get the Hands fuck out up. of my way. Yeah, they are up. I said put your hands up. Cuff him. I had him. Don't fucking cuff me. We're fucking cuffing you, all right? Oh, you. Oh. <laughs> you. Get. He's running. He's running. Oh. Put your hands up. I don't want to fucking hit you. You already you had him several times, deputy. Here. That's for free. And that's for free, too. He's down. We're coming on down. We got him. Too bad it ain't say what it ain't true what they fucking say. Only dead end kids stayed dead. Some of them do. Yeah, that's for sure. Some of them do. Go clear outside. All right, let's go. God I don't know for sure if he still is wanted or not. Alright, let's go. I yeah, well, should've just complied. Dude, we were so close to him just coming peacefully, and then <laughs> Malone kicked him, bro. <laughs> Malone kicking him really fucked that up. <laughs> no, I think he kicked him before the cuffs. To be honest, I want to make his life hell anyway. Piece of shit. 
All right, it's Wallaby. He was in there. Rob you, but not take the repeater. Uh, you got another one? Weller? Uh, Looks like he was arrested. We got, we got Wallaby kid. That's Wallaby? Yeah. Okay. So, Luca, I'm gonna say that I got a lot of uh, coinciding factors here that have led me to believe that you were involved in the shootout that we just had. Uh, he wasn't now, wanted. You, uh, come he wasn't arrested. Was was a few hours ago. He had just arrested a couple hours ago. As to your thought process and that of well, friends. Well, let's just hit him with the failure to comply. Are. I could probably just let you out of here. With we hit uh, him with anything for hitting a deputy. Well, it's on yeah, we'll hit him with the salt, but we'll, we'll, we'll reduce it because he's a fucking, so fucking penny. Fucking, yeah, yeah it, it's like 400 days for it, so it definitely should Yeah, we're not in. doing that. Yeah, yeah. That's, well, it, it, we, People need to be reducing regularly because people are getting hit with way too much time. For, yeah, for we're working shit. on that. Talking yep. too quick for you, Luca? Uh, yeah, don't <laughs> hit him with, like, <laughs> honestly, I don't want it going anything more than 100 days. Yeah. Total. Yeah. Swallow a vowel, swamp water. But respectfully, huh? Oh, man. Mm -hmm. He was arrested okay. a couple hours ago for it. So, Luca uh, Del Rey, Summer's Well, Valentine so Banks. We still have a job to do. You yeah. You want to get out there and themselves. support him? Go ahead, because I don't I mean, think we're going to find Summers anymore. How's that working yeah. out for you? Here, sir, so take this. I mean, no one put responding right. to it, so I'm just going to ride out of Valentine and make sure they it's not said three of there already. Cesspit. Correct, but there should what be a lot more than that. you to follow along with one of Gavin's harebrained schemes? I ain't possessed. Jesus' guns. We'll give him his guns back as well. I'm not going to keep him for something like that. No. I ain't possessed. What's the name now? Let me just mark him as a return. Oh. Yeah, oh, there's... Man. Yeah. Sheriff oh. Rabbit Winwood. Between Riggs... Blackwater. Windward. That's right. Should we go check that out, the three of us? No, the I'll stay worm. behind with, with Wallaby and help with that. Windward the worm. Take Shaw with you. My Brooks. first name's Rabbit, yeah, but the pun you want to go for is uh, one. Sure, you want to you want to come? Uh, I don't know, maybe stop in Highway Rivers. Sure. Oh, what makes me a worm, Luca? I believe you know your past. All right, we're responding. My right. past? Either way, uh, I mean, even if he ended up not being wanted, uh, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, don't, well, like, don't if worry he too much had about it because he, he, that he, he was just arrested for it. Yeah, and I, had a conversation. I don't understand why he didn't just say he was just arrested. Uh, someone, someone want to get Wallaby up and see if he's not dying. Past, you feel that you want I'll go with you, Wallaby. Luca? Yeah, go on ahead. We'll deal with this here. Oh, man. No. Mr. Yeah, Eastwick, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear Get you a medical bag. I'll look you over. Peter Gray. Yeah, thanks. That's mon frère a lot. Old friend of mine, actually. Mm. Not familiar? I, I do know a guy that says mon frère a lot, but I don't know his name. You don't know his name, huh? You don't know your mm. cousin's last name. I do not know his. That's that's not even a lot. I don't know his right. name. Last He's talking. I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna go get something to clean his head. Alright. Here I got him. What the hand goes. Oh yeah, sure. Thank you. Knuckle bang. Are you a smart person, Luca? Yeah, I know it's it, it's been a, it, I hope we get the ride together again. I don't really like. I own myself and judge myself on it. 
you seem like you could be a smart yeah, person. Yeah, exactly. Shit happens, man. Brooks uh, Brooks uh, had the right idea, and uh, all he I had to say was he was arrested a couple that. hours I probably ago. probably got a good guess about who most of your friends are. And that I'm going to find out anyway. So telling me saves me a little bit of legwork and paperwork, and it saves you a lot of time. No, I'm okay. I'm all right. You're okay with the time? I mean, that's fine. I'm just, uh, you know, I'm doing my job here. Spitballing, freewheeling. Hopefully a little uh, bit, uh, some of my comments about the dead-end mm -hmm. kids and stuff. I'm good. I like But you're mm -hmm. you're going to do your job and keep quiet, I understand. He is, uh... You got anything against the law department, Luca? Mm. Not necessarily. Oh my god, that is that, that is funny. What would possess you to, or what would uh, overtake you to try and commit violence against him? Like today. I really don't know what violence is. Yeah, the, the dialogue was great. You don't know then. what violence is? Mm-mm. Mm. Hey, Ruff. Yeah. Would you consider What'd you say game? about my friends again? What part? Say it. Say it again. I want to hear it clearer this time. What did you say, sorry? What What part exactly? I think you oh. heard us. What would you, you consider something. the violence to be? That remember, huh? The violence? No, I said which part. Where y'all started shooting at us from those rooftops. Mm. You only mentioned my friends once, deputy. Yeah, that wasn't me. I think you know what I Not said. You? Say it again. <laughs> Unfortunately, I told you I wasn't time. wanted. And what do we tell you? That's fine. Come down and we'll make sure it happens. I said, what go check your shit. You and came we don't take fucking orders from with you. Guns out. A deputy you know what tells you're doing. Maybe you should know what you're walking okay. into. A deputy tells you us you're it. fucking wanted. We've got to check. Yeah. Yeah. When a deputy Just is telling us that. Guns out. Guns like out. Guns that. point. And like the sheriff lunatics. already said, we were there for another reason. Sit here and, uh, you just happened to be the mistake that was there. What reason was that? Not wallowing? Are you serious mm -hmm. right now, Wallaby? You, you know like how this works. Like a wallower to me. Yeah, I know how it works. And you were gonna cut. You literally had your hands up, and then you decided to fucking hit people. You're shoving me down the fucking stairs. I didn't shove you. I told I you to stay there times. and put your hands up. You try to barge right past us. I can't allow that. Who yeah. knows what you could do? You could pull a knife just and start stabbing us. fucking charge me. Yeah. All things I gotta do. Well, I was sorry to inconvenience you, Mr. Eastwick. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, Benny, you do. Who's doing the paperwork here? Is anyone started on it? I don't. I don't think so. I'll, I'll do it. I I'm doing completely different paperwork. Okay. Um, I had somebody approach me at the telegram station. Honestly, so let's just down. get him out in thirty days. Have him serve the yeah, time we'll, here. Yeah, we'll do. Uh, you you want to do assault and battery, right? Uh, yeah, just heavily reduce it. <laughs> I have an idea. To comply. Uh, all right, well, I could just heavily reduce it and fail to comply. I was gonna say I was just gonna do civilian assault and battery. I just put put the correct charge down. Just reduce it yeah, to right, fine by me. whatever it would be. Thirty yeah, days. Fine by me. I still want a record of him attacking the peace officer. I see all that tips going. Eastwick. That ain't kids stay dead, huh? You're still breathing, Mr. Eastwick. It's a shame Monroe ain't. Mm. Yeah, you like to brag about that, don't you? Oh. So you can say what you want. And that ain't bragging, huh? You, you say it all the time. What I understand. Never have, actually. You know, some of your boys do. I ain't my boys. You know, it seems you don't like Tell people what, uh, making comments about mm -hmm. people you've lost, but you have no problem doing it to at, us, do you? Uh, no, that's exactly. While resisting arrest and participation in group violence. He even made a Snyder mark there. But the last Just time that, somebody told for you. For you. I'd say we've had oh, in the slaughterhouse. Once about what I did. In the slaughterhouse. 
when we Wham. came in, he, he, what was it you said, Sheriff? You so said, long, so long. how did that end? No, that was no, a no. reference to something no, else. No, 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 no. I don't. Oh, okay. Oh. Small. You, you said uh, last coming. time somebody told you to come in peacefully. It didn't no, 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 well. no, no. Last time he told me those exact oh, words. Uh, I reduced it heavily, and then I gave it. How much time served do you want to give? People really should stop on your give him 10 days time served. Very nice. People should stop calling me worm. Mm -hmm. This it's you're the first person I've ever heard say it. Um, and I gotta admit, you know, I'll cop to a good insult. This one is Ruth. I'm gonna have to turn in pretty soon. That's fine. So I'm gonna give you his weapons to like I said, everybody got their give him back when he's cut loose. You're getting 50 days time served. Great friend, little of you'll be serving another 15 days. I'm paying a fine of $150 here in. Uh, I'll reduce even cells. more. I'll do that. Sounds lovely. We wanted to come to 70. Well, you've we'll already had the pleasure of my company. I'm sure you'll agree the rest of your stay is uh, uh, more than amicable. You know off the top of your head which cell this is? You'll not be getting your firearm back. What's that? Do you know which uh, St. Denis cell one. this one is? One? I'll go for it. Thank you. Didn't seem too special, so I don't think you're gonna miss it too much. Mm -hmm. Hey, Wildby. You uh, you were only looking at failure to comply and the the assault for hitting the deputy, but we reduced that charge heavily because it's typically 300 days. Me and uh, me and me and Malone wouldn't Do brought it down to uh, 15 water? days. No, I'll be all right. So Thank came down to a total of 30 days. We reduced it by 10 for time served. As well, so you only got 20 days in here, and the bill was around 150 dollars. Ah, you'll be getting your weapons back as well. Yeah, thanks. Yep. Oh, over here. Around three. All right, I've got to turn in, unfortunately. All right. Um, hopefully we'll catch the bastard tomorrow. Yeah. Sad that it didn't get, it didn't happen today, but... Yeah, uh, miscommunication and shit happens. Mm-hmm. He didn't get his way either. And honestly, seeing him scramble out of town, I'm pretty happy about that. Yeah, it says shame, don't end, dead-end kids don't stay dead. Hey, he's a rabbit, I gotta turn myself down. in. You're finally turning yourself in? Okay, please turn around. Put your hands up. <laughs> All right. Oh, God. Yeah, um, I definitely pissed off Summers even more today, so he's probably going to try again tomorrow or another day this week. I'll bet my good money on Sunday there. This one here, he's uh, he's getting out of here in a hurry. So he's mm. got less than 15 days in here. Yeah, so, the other uh, one has, has around 20 days. So, uh, when you run back to Summers, give him my regards, would you? All right. You are more than welcome to give him your regards yourself. It's a spicy uh, one, Luca. Jesus, you want me to be recruit spicy? You want me His to recruitment just... standards have fallen off. I mean, I thought it was Morgan Lee. That was rock bottom, but I'm starting to think differently. <laughs> good night, mm. folks. Have a good night. Good night, Marty. We'll see you around, Luca. Change, change, change. Schofield called the butcher, huh? What about it? Why is it called the butcher? I don't know. That's why I bought it. Gotcha. Can I ask you a genuine question? Sure. If you really weren't wanted, why didn't you just come in with us? I had things I was doing. Yeah, we, we had things we wanted to do as well. Well, maybe you should have done that. Yeah, well, like I said, when a deputy tells us you're wanted, we gotta, we gotta verify it. Uh-huh. 
So we wanted to come Maybe down to the station with fire us. before coming in. Once again, we were going there for other reasons. You just seem to, be... to forget very quickly. Haven't seen you go back. Oh, like the sheriff said, we we're there for other reasons. You happen to be there. We were told you were wanted. If you came in, we would have been able to sort it out. Hell, you could have said how recently you were arrested for it, too. What are you, man? Aren't you arrested for this recently? In the last four or five hours? Yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah. Hmm. Around 20 something hours ago. Why not just say that when we're talking to you? I did. I said I cleared this up already, and you, well, Marty, said he didn't give a fuck. Well, play devil's advocate here for a second. When you say you clear it up, it, that ain't exactly saying you got arrested for it already. I asked what I did. And he told you? Yeah, I said I, didn't, I haven't been robbing anyone. When six deputies walk into the slaughterhouse... With guns out. I get a little defensive. I understand guns might spook you. They don't spook me. I said I wasn't wanted. Could have easily gone to the office right across the bridge. Call was made for all deputies to stay. Yeah. Sure was. I didn't make that call. Right. I agree with it. You agree with six deputies having to watch one person in the fucking slaughterhouse? I I don't understand why you didn't just come with us. Again. You were doing, I was doing things. things. Well, I'm sorry we fucking inconvenienced you. I love how it's just inconvenience when you do the wrong fucking thing. We didn't do the fucking wrong thing. You came in and breached a fucking building with an innocent person inside, and you're somehow twisting like that's my fault. We came inside to breach that building. You said you were there. A deputy said you were wanted. We said come down to the station. If you're not wanted, we could clear it up. You didn't come, and you insisted on arguing with us, and then pulled a fucking gun. You're not innocent. Don't act like you're fucking innocent. I pulled a gun after you started walking up the stairs aiming. Yeah, I did. I don't know. Do you really think deputy. that you you really think that you of all people are fucking innocent? No. But I was in this case. You, you weren't wanted. Up. I didn't fuck it up. You weren't wanted. Oh yes, you did. No, I did not. Oh yes, you did. No, I did not. I didn't even know if you were fucking wanted. When a deputy you know says what? they know you're, you're right. wanted, you're right. This is my fault. I take full responsibility. Do you just not follow logic, Mr. Eastwick? No, I just said I agree with you. I take full responsibility. We were there for another reason. I know. Mr. Brady, the deputy Brady, said you were wanted. Just as I was about to leave. So you're following, right? Yes, I'm following. Deputy says you're wanted. Yep. At which point we tell you to come down so we can verify to see if you're wanted or not. Mm-hmm. At which point you okay. didn't. You might want to have him talk to you. Yeah. Me. I'm not aware of anything that's going on here. Let me just double check. Uh, okay. I said I agree with you. It's all, all right. my fault. Okay. Sounds good. Good enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You and you open your big fucking why, uh, mouth. Why this gentleman would want to turn himself in? Uh, hello? <laughs> it is Some fun, Luca? Nice yeah. Uh, what are you funny? Talk to me. What do I Eddie. find funny? Mm -hmm. uh, clever folk, mostly. Eddie. Good wordplay. Someone mm -hmm. who can banner back and forth, you know, without getting mm -hmm. too, uh, what's the word? Ad hominem? <laughs> what now? Ad hominem means an attack on the person rather than the attack on the person's argument. You're, uh, you're wanted for 150 mm. days right now. A little bit of that legal, legal jargon you tend to pick Edwin. up as the law officer. Mm. All right, what can you do for me? Not too personal. Honestly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm assuming you don't got no weapons on you. No. Attack my mm. actions, not my face. And you yeah, came down here to turn yourself in. Time. Yes, sir. You get you in a cell, I'll give you some time off. Face. But uh you got to go to Siska, most likely. Even Deception. with the time off. Siska. 
I'll tell you what, you get into a cell, we can talk it over. Well, I'll talk to the sheriff as well. But you'll get some time off, though. I believe that, uh, all right. That's what I said, oh. I can go over all the charges today, with you, Luca. if you want, as soon as you get in the cell. <laughs> I'll be back in a little bit, folks. Hey, uh, sheriff. Yeah. He's, yeah, he's wanted for like 150 yeah. days. Uh, I'll give him like 25 days off for turning himself in. Yep, yeah, sure. Does he want his things back? Uh, do you have weapons and shit on him? Yeah, skill field, throwing knives, knife, and a lasso. Let me get his stuff back, too. I, he's wanted for, like, a robbery. I could tell him he'll get his stuff back, too, if he, uh, since he's complying. I'll tell you, what I usually do, just to make sure that, uh, you know, your pockets and, like, the inventory is not overloaded, is, uh, is, like, ditch the knives and then just pay him back the difference for, yeah, like, the, that's what I do the knives and lasso. So it's like, yeah, it's like, you know, I just yeah. throw someone ten bucks and I say, I'll keep your revolver on hand. Yeah. Uh... If you can give me the revolver, yeah, I'm gonna, that. I'm gonna give you some extra hang, <laughs> some extra rifle rounds, cause. <laughs> Thank you. You never know when you need it. Very true. All right, I'll, uh, I'll talk to him. I'm gonna give him 25 days off, maybe like 30 days. Yeah. All right. Seems fair. All right. Sounds good. Back. I'll, I'll be back real shortly. All right. Yeah. A few things, I think. All right. Come on, Mr. Braithwaite. Right. Come on now, I can't have a cell beside my buddy. You get in this one. You really are a treat. Hey, come over here. Alright, talk it over with you. You're currently looking at... There's uh, six charges in total. It is robbery under 500. Participation in a shootout. Assault with a deadly weapon. Fleeing and eluding. Train robbery, robbery of a peace officer, and robbery over five hundred dollars. Come on, man! Shootout, robbery of over five hundred. What, what, what is all this? Uh, for the train robbery. Uh, w w okay, okay, understandable. Shootout. Yeah, do you want me to go over the report with you? Yeah. Give me a second, I'll find the one with the shootout in it. Uh, yeah, so, participation in a shootout, robbery under 500, and fleeing and eluding for you, and an assault with a deadly, uh, you did it with a bunny, it was in a, it was in a saloon in Valentine. So I just shot up a saloon? Uh, I mean, you want to tell me, I'm looking it over, I wasn't there that day, so I'm looking over the paperwork, you want to tell me about this? Yes, I did not shoot up no saloon. Okay, well, tell me nobody. what happened. What day would this be? It would be... Uh, your birth the raid, by the way. November 29th, 5.45 p.m. New York time. Okay. I'm going to rack my brain. I believe myself, uh, if I recount the day, I am an avid socialite. In the eyes of the community of, uh, wait, what town was this? It was, uh, 5.45 p.m. Ah. No, oh, what town? Town? Oh, town? Oh, it was Valentine. I see. <laughs> I think me being an avid socialite, I travel from town to town and communicate with many individuals, business owners. I enjoy their company and I talk graciously with the people. I am a warm and welcoming soul. I have hosted many dinners on top of this. Uh, I myself was a 
previous employee of the Valentine uh, Church and School. I was a very known professor. I have a, a great standing with the community of the people of Valentine. I would dare say that uh, I have a few people and could name a few fine socialites as uh, Betty Butcher, Mrs. Christine, uh, Martini, Adelaide, all business owners that could vouch for me being uh, quite the uh, resident of Valentine, and I have nothing but love for such a town. So for me to participate in such a shootout or robberies or whatever charge that is uh, seems... Uh, Ridiculous, as I would say. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Okay, I'm going to cut through your bullshit real quick. Um, uh, Luca in there saying he's due for release, but I can't find his file. Okay, I'll, I'll look at that. Uh, Benny, you know anything about this incident with uh, the Dead End Gang? That happened today? Nothing. No, it was a few days ago. Um, I can't I'll, say I, no, I, anything I, about, how about that. This? How, how about, can you talk to... Mr. Braithwaite, Braithwaite here, I'll go handle the release. Uh, this, the, the charges he's questioning is uh, the shootouts in Saloon Valentine. That's the name of it. It's uh, file C-3077. Tell me when you got that file. Hey, yeah, I got it. What's his name? Luca? I'll, I'll go handle this. Hey, he says Luca Del Rey. All right, Hello. Sorry, my deputy brought me over to handle your release. All right, what's mm -hmm. your name? Luca Del Rey. Okay. All right, yeah. I see that you're ready. Did you have you uh, you have any weapons? No. I do not have any weapon. No, do you have any that you're getting back? No, I do not. All right. I can get you out of there. Come on. All right, you're good to go. These fucking doors are asinine. Jesus Christ. Need food or water? Nah, I'm good. Root the first paragraph on here. Three zero seven seven again. Nope. Yes. You talking about the first paragraph in the notes? You talking about the summary? In the notes, the first set of notes. That's what I'm saying. I didn't know if you knew anything about this because I wasn't there that day. But then if you um, go, you go yeah, all the way, a... you go all the way down. Uh, all right. I'll tell you what. Uh, Edwin, do you do you know what exactly what you were doing that day? I know you said that you're a a person and that you know, a fine person and all these people. Do you know exactly what you were doing at that time? I believe I was with one of my former associates, uh, Squeaky Pete, uh, located, uh, I think, St. Denis around that time in the slaughterhouse waiting for my uh, other friends and familiars to 
come as we all have ourselves a little barbecue. Normally what we do, we meet there. As y'all would know. Oh, who was supposed to come to this barbecue? Oh, you know. Follow me. You uh, took your uh, Lucas release? Uh, yeah, I did. We're... Okay. If you wanna, you wanna come over here for like two seconds and go over this yeah. with me. Sure thing. Uh, <laughs> this report that he's turning himself in for shootout in, uh, it's called shootout in saloon VA. It is report number three oh seven seven. The additional notes is saying that it thinks people are, I guess, um, disguising themselves as the dead end gang, as impersonating them. Mm hmm. Um. You know, but then the charges are still listed for these two. And he's trying to claim he didn't do it. Oh, he's boy. originally turning himself in for the train robbery, and, and then this is in here as well. But Yeah. So I was thinking about taking his statement, and then... Uh, we can we can keep those charges open for now. That's, that's what that's I'm saying, I'm yeah. I, I was thinking that my thought process was take a statement from him that it has his alibi for where he was at this time, and then, mm -hmm. and then just uh, press the other charges. Yep, absolutely. That works for me. All right, perfect. And uh, if he, you know, you can put a note that if it's later corroborated that it was in fact him, that uh, no reductions are going to be applied, you know, beyond time served, you know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. You if, know, he can't turn himself in for the other thing if he's not doing it right now, if it turns out to be him. Yeah. Saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So. Uh, that all sounds good to me. So you saying that you were, uh, you were, you were waiting for Wallaby, you were doing a, you were going to have a barbecue. That is uh that's that, that you got anybody else that could cooperate that that's what you're actually doing besides squeaky pete well i mean not particularly no known criminals i know yes but i only associate with such i was made aware of the situation i, I thought there was extra investigations to commence as the descriptions that were given were masked men. Uh, yeah, that, that's why I'm asking you about it. Uh, I, I will say uh, I'm not going to charge you with these charges right now. Um, that being said, um, just understand, let's say that you did actually do this. Um, if it comes out you did actually do it later down the line, you know, you're not going to get any, you know, reduced on that in the future you know you get more time off admit and do it now and you know we're already working with you in the time served and whatnot well that's very generous of you So, you didn't do this? No, sir. Okay. Uh, what I'll do is, I'll hold off on these charges getting pressed. And, uh, I'll put, I'll put your statement in here. If people that know more about this, and they do want to press these charges, you, you can at least tell them you were in here, and, and I took your statement, and they can look at it or whatnot. I'll try to talk to them about it, too. Try to at least get this cleared up. That being said, you're still looking at, a, at the tra all the train robbery charges. Uh, I'll give you 25 days off for coming in, and then I'll give you time served. Wonderful. That sound fair? You'll be receiving your Schofield back as well. Thank you. All right. So, uh, how did the barbecue turn out? Unfortunately, it was canceled. Well, that's unfortunate. Why? We get blamed for shit we didn't do. Wait, well, what do you mean? If the barbecue is on November 30th, then you're getting blamed then? What do you mean? Well, I asked why the barbecue is canceled, and you said because you're getting blamed for shit you didn't do. These are the events on the 29th. 
Is you that? Yes, 29th. So the barbecue is canceled. Can you explain that? What you mean? Well, we were chasing hogs, but then the hogs start chasing us. You know what I mean? I miss pilled barbecue. I don't really care. What do pigs have to do with this? You're smart. You'll figure it out. So you're claiming that the... Uh... So, so you're claiming that you were accused of something that you didn't do, and that's what canceled the barbecue, gentlemen. No, because now, now you're, you're piquing my curiosity. And when the barbecue could be made up. Okay, so now I the barbecue could, could be made up. I could have been. Well, now up I'm fancy. now I'm thinking about charging you. Well, I could have been dressing up fancy in a pretty little dress and skipping on the stage in Saint Denis. What I do <laughs> in my personal time. Matters not. <laughs> well, it, it kind of does. You know, to, to be honest this with you. This is literally I mean, the best deal way. you're going to get, Mr. Braithwaite. If you did this, you're literally... You, the charges, but I will not accept charges that I did not do. Okay, but you're also sitting here then saying the barbecue might not have happened, which is... And your story's not adding up, so it makes me more inclined to believe you might actually did it. And you just said it was you and Wallaby. That's not really a barbecue. That's more like two people having dinner. Well, I did mention Pete. Yeah, he did mention Pete. The thing Pete. is, gentlemen, whether I was in Timbuktu or in some old, old lady's old shoe. I would hope you're I not had, an old lady's old shoe. If I had alibis... It don't matter because my alibis are known criminals. They are associates of myself because that is who I associate. And you boys don't like that. You boys say to yourself, well, fuck it. I mean, that's his friends. His friends are going to have his back. I'm truthful. So you didn't rob the saloon. No, sir. Uh, well, like I said, uh, other deputies might bring this up What's to you that? again. I I ain't waving these charges. I'm just not going to press them on you today. Does that make sense? Well, thank you. Okay. Uh, Ruth? Yeah. Do you have Wallaby's things? Uh, I, I do. You want them real quick? You just, yeah, just pass them to me. A butcher. Jeez. I asked him about it. He just said he bought it like that. Huh. That's a fancy gun on your back. Is that yeah, gold? Thanks. Yeah, it is. What is that? That's like $600 right there, I bet. More than that. $600 in customizations, I bet. $350. More than six hundred dollars in customizations. Yeah, that's a thousand dollar worth of gun, right? Over a thousand dollar worth of gun, right there. Yeah, it is. Good lord, I can hear you salivating over here. I am. Goodness gracious, got me thinking about the barbecue. Or the not barbecue. Do you want an invite? Is that? Why well, are you so curious? How am I going to get an invite to something that did or did not happen in the past? <laughs> Mr. Braithwaite. I'm a Braithwaite. I always have been. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what. Eddie. If you yes. tell me the truth about these charges, that Valentine Saloon, I'll give you 50 days off for coming in peacefully instead of 25. 100. Give me 100. I won't give you a hundred, but I'll give you fifty days off, and the one charge that's a wanted for questioning charge. We could go over why it's wanted for questioning, and then maybe I'll waive it, depending on if there's questions 
uh, that are already listed in this report, and depending on the situation. This is literally the best deal you're going to get. And that's not including time served. So stop bullshitting me, and just tell me the truth. How do you expect me to eat without dessert, sir? He's given you like 15 puddings. <laughs> like legitimately after this, you're gonna like go into a sugar coma or something. Like you should take it if you did it, which you probably did do it. I have been through this rigmarole many times. <laughs> you are not making much sense there, Eddie. I said I've been through this rigmarole many a time. I understand that. I'm just saying that throughout this entire course of negotiations, there's not been much logic here, but continue. You fellows are inexperienced. I am not an experience. I just, you are way, just saying shit to Ohio, say shit with that's nothing. Rude. I've really only been a deputy for a month. I mean. You uh, are literally just saying shit to hear yourself talk. Oh, You're not saying I, much with logic, insane. please. I am you giving you it. extra time served if you admit to these charges. You don't have to. I think admit. you did it. I think you did it. But once again, you don't. If you you didn't, then obviously you're going to stay true to you didn't do it. But if you did do it and you're trying to lie your way out of it, I suggest you just tell the truth. Now, like I said, I could still go with the very first one and not press those charges here today. But I I was just offering to give you a better deal if you just <laughs> if you if you're truthful about it. That's I did all. Not commit these charges okay gentlemen. well then you're you're gonna be getting 50 days today you're only gonna be getting the charges inv involved in the train robbery so it's gonna be train robbery it's gonna be robbery of a peace officer and it's gonna be robbery over 500 dollars it's the total is usually 85 days i'm giving you 25 days off for turning yourself in and 10 days off time served had a strange tip come in i'm gonna have the valentine all right and what is that in total? Be safe, Sheriff. That it comes okay. down to 50 days after the, the, the days off for turning uh, hold yourself on. in. The sheriff, got, the sheriff there got my guns now. No, I've got it. Oh. Yep. All right. That, that sound fair to you? 50 days in total? 50 days in total because you're, uh, you're only getting charged for the train robbery stuff. Human me. I accept. You know what? I accept. Okay. Set what, in stone. Which, which cell is he in? Which which number cell is he? Uh, six. Yeah. What do you mean six? The cell number six. That, there's only four cells here, here, Benny. Four, four, four. <laughs> That's what I said. Four. <laughs> you said, you said six. I don't know what you mean. I totally said four. <laughs> okay. All right. And like I said. Edwin, some people, some people uh, might be still cool, might, uh, might well, just, humor me. Yeah, continue. The charges that are still in question. Yes. They are. They, they are as of right now, yeah. No, they are. What are they? I've already, I just... No, currently. After all that, Okay, now, it's okay, Ruth, just... just... Take it. Yeah, deep I, breath yeah, here. yeah. It's robbery under five hundred, participation in a shootout, and fleeing and eluding for the Valentine situation, the Valentine Saloon, and then there's a, a assault with a deadly as well, which totals to sixty five days, which I offered to give you fifty days off, but I just processed you okay. for the other things because right. you said that you didn't do it. Exactly. Okay. So but if then he just I, accepted the deal. So if I was to play your game, I swear to God, Mister Bruce, this mysterious game that you, you kind of already did because you like legitimately said I accept. We both heard it. No, no, no. We're, I know that, you know, I know witnesses. That. No, I, I, I know. Okay. But if I played the game that you were pushing these charges on me, the ones <laughs> I did not commit, you, you no, I have not. Sure. I would have came out. With more time. Yes, but less time. It, okay, you'd have it like 15 extra days than what you currently have or some shit like that. Maybe maybe you would have had like 30 extra days or some shit like that. But my point is you would have gotten a time reduction on these char on both sets of charges, right? 
you would have had a deal on both sets instead of just the one set. I was going to give you extra time off for both situations. Because my point is, if you did actually do this... Which would have been? I'm not going over the numbers. If you would, Out of curiosity. No. Just listen to me. Rattle my brain. If you did actually do Good this... Good numbers. Okay. If you did actually do this and you walk out of here, and let's say, I don't know, tomorrow, right? A deputy says, oh, shit. No, we got sufficient enough proof. We're charging them. Well, then you're just getting the 65 days straight up. You're not getting any time reductions or anything for those set of charges. Yeah, you got 25 days off for turning yourself in here today for the other charges. But I was going to give you 50 plus the time served if you if you talk to me about this one. But, you know. Uh, plus, these are hev heavily reduced as is. And they're is. heavily reduced as is. But, you know, you lie and then we find out. Well, at the end of the day, could just go up. Interesting. 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 Thank God I told the truth. <sighs> that is a weight off my shoulders, fellas. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Well. Yeah, thank God. To that, uh, heavens above to that fellow who committed those crimes. Well, don't worry. I've put your airtight alibis and your airtight statement in this report. So the main person that knows all the information has it. So if they want to press these charges, they will do it. Thank you. Yep. No problem. And I will remind them that you said airtight. Yes, the airtight was uh, sarcasm. Because you said it don't matter what Not you on were. paper, it ain't. Oh, I didn't write that in there, sir. Do you think I'm a uh, fool, Mr. Braithwaite? Do you think well, I would write I, that you I had an airtight alibi? I believe it's alibi? written in here, but it has quotes around it. Oh. So you like the gun, huh? Yeah. Look all right. It was a nice pistol, too. Wait a minute, wait a minute. The Navy? Yeah, it is. Big money, big money, huh? Oh my. Feels like to customize your guns. Gold over there, too? One was a gift. The other I just made to match it. Which one? Navy was a gift. I love gifts. You know, stuff like that. I do, too. It's got real sentimental value, you know? Yeah, it does. You love gifts, too, Mr. Braithwaite? Oh, sure, yeah. What was your favorite gift this year? You know, the more I think on it, I think it is the gift of life that I'm still able to wake up in the morning and see you beautiful people. <laughs> uh, so you did it, right? Did what? The gift of life. That's quite the good gift. Some of us Living are less breathing. fortunate. Yeah, some of us are less fortunate. I used to be a church man. I was even a choir boy in my day. I used to be a bounty hunter. I like to pray for those. Well, used to. These days, not so much. What do you used to do? Shoot them? No, believe it or not. I actually never fired a gun as a bounty hunter. Well, not at somebody. Tried it up in the air a couple times. Hmm. 
Mm. Take him in alive. Yeah. The hangman deserves to get some work. Speaking of people and hanging, I'm surprised you didn't say your favorite gift wasn't getting hung. Because I considered you pretty lucky for not getting hung. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Mm. Come on now, Icicle. You can't set me up like that. Icicle? You just looked at the hair. I'll give you, I'll give you credit where it's due, Mr. Braithwaite. Out of, uh, out of all the people to try to make a jab at me, they've never used Icicle. It's my new nickname for you, Icicle. And let me tell you something. Everybody always goes with the basic pretty boy, or super pretty boy, for some reason. Silver Shroud might be the best one I've gotten. You're a little jabber. I see the way you work. You jab. I know it when I see it. Let me tell you something. I did... <laughs> Well, I should say, I am hung. But you, pretty boy. You definitely are not a wild sh shroud or whatever they call you. You. Well, I see bits. I see bits. <laughs> and I can even see the bounty hunter in you. Also see the devil in this boy it just ain't erupted just yet. But yeah. What the hell? <laughs> see, I see things. Glances across tables, read minds, type of witchcraft like that. You know, curse, brave weight, and all that. I admire it, I must say, fellas. Reminds me. <sighs> I'm confused again. Do, do you want to be like a witch or something? I don't know. I'm, I'm just saying. It reminds me that deep down in, in people's hearts and what they are, no matter what profession, we're all the same. Mm. Whether it be a crack or a sliver or a glance, you'll see it. It's easy to read. The world ain't black and white, Mr. Braithwaite. Mm. The world's just like my hair, fucking gray. I chose for my hair to be gray, though. Silver, whatever you want to fucking call it. Somebody used to say it looked good. But either way, I digress. You would grow out a beard, what would it look like? Be blonde. I actually had a beard for a little bit. You can still see streaks of blonde in my hair if you look close. And maybe there's, uh... What, are you trying to say that people are similar? What's your logic there, huh? We all are a little similar at the end of the day. Well, what I'm trying to say, fellas, is, is I think I've made two new friends. Because I've gotten to know you fellas in the short time that I've gotten to know you. Well, no, I mean, by all means, please, I would love to hear you elaborate, though. we got a lot of time still while you're in the cell, so let's sit, let's finish this conversation. I've been looking forward to a conversation with, with you. <laughs> well, that's just it. You got a bit of venom in that tongue. Well, maybe you I let do. it out every now and then. What's yeah. wrong with having a little bit of venom for you and your own, huh? Oh, it ain't. I... Myself, I've been known to have one myself. And that don't make us all that different. I'll let you in on a little secret there, Mr. Braith Braithwaite. Maybe you could tell Mr. Eastwick this too if you truly want. For y'all doing what you did to the Deputy Marshal, y'all were the first people in the state I believed that should have been executed. 
They're the first ones I would have been okay with being executed. You see, I was on a firing squad myself, actually, a few a few months ago. I was on Robbie Gold's firing squad. And it didn't sit right with me, because I didn't think he deserved to be executed. I didn't believe in the death penalty for a long time. And then I saw there was cold-hearted cunts that, uh, well, have no true, re absolute true uh, reason to reform, right? They're just going to keep down this path. When people have no reason to reform, I truly get why the state signs writs of execution now. And yeah, I believe you and your own should have gotten one of those. Aw, you're going to make me blush. <laughs> blush all you want. But sure, if you want to say me thinking that you should have gotten the death penalty for the crimes you committed makes me similar to you in any sort of capacity, by all means, go ahead and say it. Don't make it true. Whoa, whoa. Come on now, Icicle. Don't be so cold. Well, if I'm Icicle, that. I am cold, ain't I? I ain't saying that. I'm just saying that nice little quality you have with a little sharp tongue. But well, that's nice. A fiery conversation. I do like them. That's all I'm saying. And what else is fucking nice? Well, what nice is, is I would like to know how Bosco got that fresh one right there. Ooh, it mm. look fresh, huh? We want to talk one? about wounds on faces or heads. We could talk about Mr. Eastwick's, too. Well, Mr. Eastwick ain't here. I'm looking at him. Mm. How'd that come about, huh? Sean. All right, sense of subject. Don't worry about it. I had burned somebody and they stabbed me in the face. There. And you want to know what happened after uh, that person stabbed him in the face? What? I reached for my service revolver and shot him four fucking times. Quick draw, huh? Nasty business. It's a nasty business charging a man with a knife, too. Oh, yeah. Like, no, that's what I'm saying. Nasty business. There is less bloodshed bounty hunting, believe it or not. Well, because I chose to take them in alive. I try to take people in alive uh, here, but most folk don't surrender. Yeah, people got an old resilience in them. By the way, the name's Senior Deputy Ruth. I don't think we exchanged names. Call me Icicle if you want. Nice to meet you. Edwin Braithwaite. Yeah, I've read about you. You can just stick with call me Benny. You know what I'm the senior deputy of? What? This city. Mm. So I look very much forward to becoming well acquainted with you and your own. <laughs> well, I... That's awfully nice of you. Maybe we should have you over for dinner sometime. Yeah, maybe we should. What are you serving? Pig. I hope you know how to butcher one. Because if you don't do it right, they might just attack you. And then they'll eat you. Nasty that is, you know. Pigs. Get a bunch of hogs like that. They do be nasty. 
And some folk are nastier than hogs, though. That's for sure. Honestly, it depends. Wild boars are the worst. Domesticated pigs. Those you don't have to worry about so much. Then you might get all attached to the damn thing. That's true. If you name it, it's going to get real hard. You really going to want to butcher it? That's why it's best to be detached. That's why you can't have sentimental values in that line of work, of course. Hmm. What line of work in particular? Well, you know, cooking up a dinner, a hmm. barbecue, you know. See, you start inviting a pig and Taking care of the pig, feeding the pig, even name the pig. And then next thing you know, you know, you got to put it down. Because you want some bacon. Hmm. Or it's Christmas. Hmm. So it's best not to have no emotional attachment. So you don't name your pigs? I'm trying to set them up well, for a good it's line. It's hard to do it. You know? Because if you're surrounded by them, it's going to be hard to not, you know, remember. But you know what's a good trick? Nickname. Something not to how could I say? Not to not to personal, I think. Personal. Well, it isn't even a nickname personal? Well, you got me there. Sorry, you had me off track. Had me thinking about something else. Uh, does this kind of thing occur often for you? Where you trail off? Sometimes, yeah. You seen a doctor? What do I need one of those for? Uh, well, I don't know. I I would think if I was having problems with uh, mid-conversation daydreams or zoning out, I, it could be something wrong. No, nah, it ain't that bad. Well, I, you know, don't say I didn't look out for you. What was it what you doing? You looking out for me? Well, why do you say it like that? No, 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 Deputy. You don't want to do that. It's so wrong to look out for people. It'd be a damn shame for you to get too personal. Personal is what I do, sir. So you said nicknames? Yeah. By all means, enlighten me. Like which nicknames? Hmm.
Okay, gentlemen. I'll tell you what. I'm going to tell you some truths. would be nice. Y'all got your line of work. I got mine. And that Ooh. comes with certain sorts of things, you know? What is your line of work? You know what my line of work is. You just charged me for crime. <laughs> Criminals line of work? Oh, yeah. What, do they have that at job fairs now? <laughs> Shit. Job fair? I guess it could be a profession. Maybe. We have done recruiting. <laughs> anyway. Fellas, it would be a shame for me to get to know you, fellas. I think it would be disrespectful for me to get to know any of them. To get too personal with you. And I'll stick with the nicknames, Isil, Scarface, whatever comes to mind. So You're I talking about nicknames nobody. for the pigs. No, I'm just talking in general. Like I say, I stick to nicknames. I don't get too personal with you. Y'all know what line of work I'm in. Be ashamed for me to lie to you like everybody else does. Every single person, they lie through their teeth. But this is one thing I don't lie about. What you see is what you get. And I'm not going to stand here and lie to you fellas. They say that I want anything to do with you personal or gain ground or anything because it will not work out because when it comes down to the wire, how disrespectful is it when I pop you one after we had a wonderful conversation, after all those conversations we had, he done and does this? That to me is more disrespectful. So I keep a distance. Y'all know what you get when you get me. So you don't want to be too personal in case you pop us one? Of course. What with and your it gun? Also, oh, yeah. And it also keeps business not personal. Like any of these crimes I've been charged of. Yeah, and when you do crimes, if personal. you escalate the violence, I'm sure you'll get popped as well. That's not the point here. We're not measuring. And my point is, though, if I'm talking to you and I'm asking you questions, it's because neither of us are escalating, neither of us are drawing weapons. We're just talking. We're killing time. Right. Right. I need a cup of tea. Do you mean anything? Nah, I could use, like, a stew. Maybe a coffee. Uh, what about you, uh, inmate? I'm all right. That's too personal. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Friendly. Braithwaite. Do you need anything? No, I'm all right. I'll be back. That makes sense. You don't want to uh, have any personal feelings towards anybody you might be shooting in the future. Yeah. That's pretty decent of me. I'd say it's the most decent thing I'd do. Is it because you don't want anybody to care for you on a personal level and then be upset when they get shot? No. I have people that care about me. I got people I like. People I love. Maybe I'll take bullets for. Okay.
What would you prefer? The opposite? I, you know, if I have you in a cell, sure, I don't mind talking with you. Outside of that, I, I don't give a shit about you. Now that something we got in common. Another thing. See how that works? Yeah. Talk mm -hmm. to you when I absolutely have to. You come in peacefully, I'll put you in a cell. But like I said, as far as I'm concerned, you and the rest of yours, you lucky you didn't get hung. That's just me being truthful. Well, you know, now, you know, well, uh, you tone a line there, you know. I can understand your grievances. You lost somebody. One of your crew. That don't sit right with nobody. Killed a deputy marshal, Mr. Braithwaite. I'm not sitting here defending. I'm not standing here defending myself. No, sir, that's not what it is. I'm just saying there's time and a place, and you told the line. I told the line. I'm just having an honest conversation with you. You said you don't give a shit about me. I don't give a shit about you. We said we're talking truth. So I'm giving you the full truth. You sit here and say you don't lie like everybody else does. Well, I'm not lying right now. I'm giving you the full fucking truth. Wouldn't you rather have somebody be blunt? Wouldn't you rather have the honest fucking truth? Well, I suppose, but let me tell you about honest fucking truth. Hey, hey, hey! You son of a bitch, you were playing poker, goddammit. You owe, you, owe, you owe a lot of people money, motherfucker. I was responding to gunshots, sir. Fuck you, there were no gunshots. This motherfucker here joins a poker game, takes everybody's money, and get ups and leave. That's bad etiquette. In my defense, I heard gunshots. I had to go investigate. His ass. If you heard gunshots, you were doing your job. Don't let this guy tell you otherwise. If he wasn't that's a deputy, right, he would have got shot for that type of behavior. And I wouldn't even be the one shooting him. What happened? Why is he in here? I was just playing cards with him the other day. Uh, this guy uh, not only has uh, uh, robs several people. Uh, this guy is a criminal. He's just telling me right now he, he doesn't like to get to know people on a personal level. So they, they don't care when he get, when he pops them. Deputies. Marshal, sheriffs. I would hate, to, you know, to get to know you, sir. Right? Hmm. I would hate to do that. Invite you over to my house for dinner, and you invite me to your house for dinner, and we become mutual friends and acquaintances. Only for then, down the line, I'm doing my job, which you know is, and you're doing your job, and then I pop you, or you pop me. That's... Well, that just don't sit right with me. That's all I'm saying. Hmm. You agree. You feel the same way. Yeah, I don't give a shit about you. See, but that's that that's that little venom, that tone that you got. We're not Nah, never mind. Can I ask you a question, sir? Yeah, shoot. You seemed really skilled at um, card playing and whatnot. Why don't you pursue something like that instead of robbing folk? Um, I thought about it. Let's just leave it at that. All right. He 
You said you're a man of truth, didn't you? Yep. Man of honesty. Often. You know, Mr. Eastwick, he, uh, when he was in the cell, he asked me to repeat something I said to him. How about you deliver the message? I said that it's a shame dead-end kids don't stay dead. You mind pass that on to Mr. Eastwick for me? Because he asked me to repeat myself, even though I already said it once. Well, he said there's a bit of venom. Up. Because maybe there is. You really gonna go down there right now? You see, after, he wanted to make this a whole taunt. conversation. You're gonna walk down that aisle. I'm just saying, you could pass it along to your little friend. Let me tell you something. You're marrying yourself to a world of hate. What I'm telling you, Mr. Braithwaite, is he asked, then he got released. I didn't get the chance to repeat it, so I'm not gonna hide behind it. So I asked you to tell him for me, since we're going to talk truths. Yeah, you didn't hide behind, it, hide behind it, but now you've branded yourself as a... And if you, uh, you ever want to share dinner? We can share a dinner, Mr. Braithwaite. We'll make sure it's your final meal. Before you're executed by the state. Because I believe... Truthfully, with Malone on this one, that you deserve a fucking noose. Brand me with any hate you want. You killed a fucking deputy marshal. All right, well. I got your gun, Mr. Braithwaite. I'll be waiting here until you're out. Howdy, Benny. Howdy. Sure you don't need any, uh, any food or water, Mr. Braithwaite? Hey, Jeffy, how you I'm doing? I'm quite fine. Quiet all of a sudden. I don't want to rack up any charges. Just so you know, the context of why I said that... Because, uh, he started hitting me, Malone, he was gonna... He's holding a gun to us. And that's why after I hit him. A lot of life would have been saved if that was true. Pass along to him. Because I wasn't directing at you. He's, re uh, he's released in 13 minutes. I'll be here to release him. Alright. Did you get any more out of him? I got what I wanted. You see, Valentine, uh, that man's the man that killed Deputy Marshal Monroe. Him and his little fucking gang. I didn't know that. That man's lucky he's not got a noose around his fucking neck. You know, it's strange. I I didn't know that I was just playing cards with him the other day. Seemed like yeah. everybody else. Can't judge books by its cover. Yep, unfortunately, you truly can't. See, him and his own, they like to brag about it, too. And quite frankly, I used to not believe in the death penalty until they did what they did to Monroe. And he kept claiming I had venom in me. And maybe there is a little bit of venom, because that's a sore spot in my heart, because I carry his fucking revolver. But it's still true. I wish he would have gotten the death penalty. I think there's a lot of deputies that agree with that. Kennedy? Yeah. Absolutely.
server's gonna hate me, but I need this. What's going on, Benny? Oh, that tastes gross. Why would anybody drink that? I'm gonna go check the tip one. All right. Oh, I'm so happy I got to finally have a scene with Edwin. That was like that. Smokey's so good. You doing alright? Well, we arrested um, a few people the other day. Uh, one of them was Holly, I think. And then there was... Um, what was what was the man's name? Uh, Ruth. I don't know. It was uh, a fella named Sebastian. And then yeah, that's it. Holly and some, some other fella that's Holly's brother or some shit. Who the hell are they? You know... I really don't know, but they, uh, the two brothers are definitely on her case and gaslighting her and making her do all these sorts of things, manipulating her, whatever. Anyways, I told her that basically in a nice way and told her she could do better with her life. And I guess they heard they didn't like it. Um, I went out to get a breath of fresh air. I stood on the porch and they approached. Um, all I remember is him pulling a knife. Me headbutton him and then lights out. I will be aiming to sleep. But apparently, I got uh, stabbed in the face and in the chest. And, well, Take care, her. And then when that at fellow, least I'm still standing. Yeah. That fellow ran at me. I shot him down, and we were able to get Benny immediate, immediate medical. <sighs> Benny, you see, you see pieces of shit like the one that sits in that cell. piece of shit's pretty far don't you think excuse me well no i mean i just uh, never mind a man uh, literally killed a deputy marshal i know now that piece of shit there if he wants to make snide remarks about your face don't let it get to you In all honesty, I really didn't notice he had a scar today Basically. until until I looked over and I was like, oh, what the hell? What happened? And then I realized what happened. It, it honestly, it don't even look that bad. Don't don't worry. He, he didn't get to me. Good. Yeah, it's, it's honestly fine. I, I heard you make a comment about it earlier, too, though. Well, yeah, I don't like it. I can't. They can't do anything about it. So, Hello? I mean, I mean, it'll heal over time, I suppose. But I'm just saying. He can, he, he can talk about it, just like people talked about my stutter. Oh, I'm just saying, people like that, they try to look for any little thing they can, and honestly, like I said, oh man, cut it, a deal. It's hard to notice usually. Yeah. There's a lot of things. Here we are. Where are these people that did that to you? Jessica? Yeah. Where they belong? Where'd you come? Lecture? No. Tell all? Talking down? You're talking again, Mr. Braithwaite. Yes. Talking to someone who is more polite in conversation. I'm a very I'm polite man. I'm more polite? <laughs> I'm a very civil man. I'm a very nice man. I'm a very polite man. It's all true. Actually, I've got quite a few surrenders under my belt. I'm a very easy to work with man. Did you guys get to smack him around like Wallaby before you brought him in? No, he came in peacefully. Unfortunately. He came to his senses. The deaths and the murders have befallen the sheriff department has really sharpened the edge. Seems it has. <laughs> hey. Hello? Hello. <laughs> there's, there's, there's been 
to murder. Okay, all right. All right, all right, all right. What happened? A group of men walked up to Mr. Black in the streets of San Denis. The four of them, they told us to put our hands up and they shot him dead in the street. I took him to the doctor's office. But there was nothing I could do. After. Okay, alright, alright. You okay, Mr. No. Mr. Black's dead. Everything's gonna be okay. I'm sorry you had to witness that. And, and I know you did everything you could after he was shot. Just deep breaths. I'm sorry. It's okay, you don't have to apologize. Take a deep breath. recognize any of those folk oh i know exactly who it was it was ronnie fucking rivers my fucking boy who was with him my fucking Four, nephew three other people my real nephew i don't recognize them i need to go send it up. his body's in the doctor's office and i can take you to the scene of the shooting okay all right like I said, deep breaths. She's gonna go send a tip. You're, you're doing it. You're you're helping them the best you can with what hand you were dealt by being there. I wish. I wish I could have shot him. I wish I could have done something other than just stand here with my hands up. Where were they last seen, Astrid? I, I, I saw them in the street that Mr. Black was shot. How long ago? Uh, oh god. Probably about 20 minutes now. Okay. Did I was they trying to anything? save Mr. Black. Did they say anything when they made him put his hands up? Ronnie said, I've been waiting this for, for the... Something along the lines of, I've been waiting for this moment for so long, motherfucker. And he slapped him once with his pistol. And then he shot him in the head. Oh my god. <laughs> there was an altercation earlier in Valentine. Oh my god! <laughs> there was a shooting. A robbery in the saloon, and then it turned into a shooting. I recognized the voice. It was Ronnie Rivers. It was the day or the hen. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. Take a uh, take a seat. <laughs> Take some deep breaths. I'm gonna go relay this to other deputies. Just yeah. take a deep breath. Do you do you have water? <laughs> yeah, I do. Thank. Do you have food? Yeah. Okay. All right. Just take a seat. Know you're doing everything you you can to help, and you did everything you did to try to save him. So take a deep. Keep taking deep breaths and take a seat. Okay. <laughs> I'd rather keep pacing if it's okay with you. That's that's completely fine, but just take some deep breaths while you do it, okay? Trying my hardest. Alright, that's all I'm asking for. Yeah. Things on a whim, because everybody's I, like I a, a everybody work to, junkie. To keep it quiet. I don't want yeah. I don't want him to hear over there. There has been a murder. Ronnie Rivers and three unknowns killed a man in the middle of Valentine. Ronnie Rivers told him to put his hands up, said, I've been waiting for this for a very long time, motherfucker. Hit him over the head with a revolver and then shot him in the side of the fucking head and killed him. 
Brooks is sending out the tip. If you three are here and we got nobody in Valentine, I'd have to go check the tip line. Uh, you three and Brooks, or you three can go there and wait for backup and try to track them down. The, I don't think the area has been Jeffed yet either. Astrid's also IDing him in something that happened earlier today that I was going to go talk to Herrera about. Okay, I think that I'll... recent tip about uh, Marquis Frazier might be them as well. Okay. Uh, that being said, I'm going to push... I'm going to push first degree murder. As soon as he's confirmed it. Yeah, I mean, if he... I've been waiting for this for a long waiting time. Waiting for this for a long time. He's also he's had it. Thinking about I, it. If I remember yeah. correct, correctly, I'd have to ask Weller. I was there when him and Allison Chase had some sort of standoff with Mr. Black where they tried to take him to kill him. And this, w this was months ago. Wait, Mr. Black is the one who's dead? Mr. Black is the man that's dead, yes. The Valentine Saloon owner. Yeah. So I remember him and Chase having a history with him. That mixed with what he said. I'm confident in pushing first. So. Yeah, absolutely. They have a history, and then if it was clearly heard by a witness, him stating what, uh, what you're saying he said, I've been waiting for this for a long time, absolutely first. We need to ID the others involved, so I'll go check the I tip line. Say. But... Is, uh, I'll handle him. The, uh, All right. Stay. Do with a bit of a clean up, I guess. And, and come over to the fluff, fucking bars. But, uh, Face away. Hands up. When he putting cuffs on you, I'll walk you out the back. Let's go. Executive treatment. This is Telegram. Yes, from one of your other seniors? Yeah, I was just looking at her. Well. Mm, the masquerade ball, huh? I mean, look at this. Yeah. December 3rd, 9 p.m. New York time. The Grand Corrigan. You like masquerade balls? I was thinking about maybe attending. Oh, really? But who knows? Who knows? I, ha I had a knife. I... And a lasso. A knife and a lasso? I believe and it's a five lasso. five throwing knives. Five throwing knives? Yes. Well, five throwing knives, that's what? Five dollars? A lasso, that's what? A dollar? Yes. And what was the other one? And Just a knife. a normal knife. How much is that? Yes. Three fucking dollars. I think it's six. It's six dollars. If you would like to reimburse me. I'll tell you what. Take fifteen dollars and keep the fucking change. Ah, thank you. You just took fifteen dollars. Oh. <laughs> Wanna know why I took fifteen dollars? <laughs> why? To give you back thirty. <laughs> Keep the change. <laughs> Holy shit. That was the funniest bozo shit I've done. All right. Um, uh, do we so, have... Yeah. I was going to see. What do we know about him? What do we know about who? Um, 
Name Ronnie? Ronnie Rivers? I, I just know he robs people. That's all I know, too. I don't know where he rests or goes or does anything. Um, Ain't he one of the ones that robs folk all the time? He tried to rob me. Where, where did he try to rob you? Outside of San Denis. And then he saw the badge and he said, oh, shit. And uh, took off. He's already been arrested for that, though. I just don't know how... Uh... What's the word I'm looking for? How good of an idea a hunting party is when we have zero idea where they at. Well, I I just want you guys to go to Valentine to Java. See if there's any signs of anybody. Do we have a report on the whole situation yet? Or I, she's she just came here now, so I haven't created it yet. Okay. I just right. getting her statement. She's like crying and hyperventilating because she witnessed All the right. murder. Where did it take place at? Uh, Valentine outside the saloon, from what I understand. Uh, in the front of the saloon? Yeah. Okay. So that's what, the, that's what it street. sounds like, at least. A group of men walked up to Mr. Black in the middle of the val in the middle of Valentine. They told him to put his hands up and shot him dead. My assumption is middle of Valentine probably took him out of the saloon, or he was walking back to the saloon, is my guess, since he worked there. All right. I'll take, um, I'll take Valentine with me. Yeah, check, the, check the tip line. I, I don't. Brooks sent in an FAO for a hunting party. I don't know where she said they wanted. Uh, you know. I didn't know uh, it. I, good I, night, y'all. I'm uh, I'm heading out. All right. Sounds good. Have a good night. Good night. Take care, I think Benny. there might be a hunting party already looking for them. So uh, yeah, you it's, just that's that's Brooks right there who's who put up the uh the, I, the tip I know to she do it. put in. Yes, I know she sent in a tip with the for attention of the hunting party because I think there's already a hunting party out. Is there not? Not that I know. Let me check. Well, that's what I'm saying. Is that not what FAO hunting party would imply for the attention of the hunting party? I, I read it as for the attention to get a hunting party together. Yeah, I read it as for the attention of the hunting party. Uh, I'm going to go piss out back. I'll be right back, guys. See what it, see what it says? Six to Blackwater hunting robbers. So... I think she was sending that to the other. Fraser and group. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, right. that, that's that. what I was going to say. I just wanted to see if you guys could go Jeff that while she's. Of course, weapon. I guess I haven't. I missed a lot of this. Okay. Yeah. So I, that's why if you guys just go over there, Jeff it, and then you could add it to the report. Yeah. We'll take care of it. All right. Perfect. I'll Valentine doodle. Perfect. The <laughs> control he would have survived. I, uh... Event, event, eventually, well, eventually, rather quickly, he just died on the table. Okay. I, uh... Where, where in Valentine exactly? If you could give me the best description possible, because I'm sending it, two deputies over to go... Wasn't it in Saint-Denis? No, the shooting was in Saint-Denis. Oh, it was in Saint-Denis? Yeah, yeah the, the, the shooting... From Valentine was a couple of Valentine's. Yeah. yeah. So. So okay. okay, where did he die then? Uh, well, he passed away in, in the doctor's office where his body still where is did just the now. Yeah, where did the shooting happen? Where the, the shooting she said she could show us. I would need to take you there. I I can give directions. I'm not that familiar with Anthony. Okay, so because I, maybe I misunderstood what you said. Because I wrote down on my little notebook that a group of men walked up to Mr. Black in the middle of Valentine and told him to put his hands up and then shot him dead. No, 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 Santony. Santony. Okay. Yeah. What what I, what I told you was there was an altercation I, earlier I in Valentine. Okay. Yeah. I I I think I'm gonna be served. All right. Let me go grab him real quick. All right. I think I either misheard her, or uh, she was worked up uh, by the uh, by the situation because it was. A murder. Uh, uh -huh. She says Saint Denis somewhere, and she'll show you where it's at. Oh, all right. okay. So that'd be all even right. easier. Sounds good. Am I tripping? I'm pretty sure she said Valentine. I didn't see the fourth one. Okay. 
I know she said Valentine on the second situation, but I'm pretty yeah, sure she said it for a fact horse. on the first, I didn't too. even tell if it was a man or a woman. Because I had that written down before. No, I didn't, because I had it written down before she told me that second part. What about the horses? Because I also wrote down a separate um, thing afterwards one was that says... Kind of also, bright, the other person. Gingery golden color. Oh, I was too excited for Ronnie and probably one just assumed kind Valentine. Of slightly dark gray. And I can't remember the third horse, I'm sorry. They only had three horses. The woman in black or dark clothing was riding on the back of R Ronnie Rivers' is a horse. Okay, all right, we're gonna have you show them where this happened. Okay. Shall we? I have a feeling I know what this is connected to. Uh, yeah, I think he hitched his horse because the person he's waiting on the other deputy to finish up uh, grabbing something from the office, so he'll be right out. Either way, I'm saying I misheard or I fucked up. I didn't actually mix them up. Is that the label where you found the evidence when you pick it up? Uh, she's out front ready. Okay. Just giving you a heads up. Dude. Are we waiting on somebody, did I'm you say? Yeah. You're gonna be okay. Don't blame yourself. You're gonna show them where it is. Okay. Thank you, Astrid. like a detailed statement from her? Yes, I did. All right, I'm going to start the report. I already started it. Okay, you, uh... All it has in it is a title in her statement. Okay, uh, I'm pushing first degree. Yes. Um, because I believe this is linked to... I... I Ronnie think... Rivers was friends with Allie Chase. I, I, yep. You remember that situation, too. That's yep. why I'm pushing first degree. Were you Mr. There Black... That day? No, you... Mr. Black had told me that... Ali Chase was after him. That's why he's so concerned when he was giving information. Yeah. Because... There was another situation that... I, I don't mean to cut you off, but just so you're aware, there's another situation we can use to tie into the first degree. Which is... Him and Ali Chase held... Uh, Rivers and Ali Chase held up Mr. Black in the Blackwater Medical Office, and me and Weller were able to stop it. Yeah. Um... Mr. Black had told me that Allie Chase and friends of hers were after him for him talking to the law because somebody let out his name. So he knew they were hunting him and he was trying to play it safe. Okay. Do we... Uh... So he expressed that to me as well. So. Oh, well, uh, Ronnie Rivers getting first degree murder. Absolutely. One count of it. Did he do anything? He, uh, he also... Uh... He also held up... Did he rob anybody? Or just no. hold them up? Um, he. They said that they told Mr. Black to put his hands up. The others did because four people so had guns. So count of false yeah. imprisonment? You thinking? Yeah. Because they didn't rob her. Astrid said they made it very clear they were only after All right, that, That's what I was asking. Okay, perfect. And then uh, we could do... Uh, that's, that's for that. Do you have any the other... The other three get accessory, right? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Do you have, uh, do you know who the other three are? So there's a tip. Come over here. Yeah. I mean, I fall some prism. It might even be too much. Um, there was a tip earlier robbed by Marquis Fraser and three. Four individuals, three horses, which is exactly it. Two were younger sounding male, younger sounding female. 
buckskin Mustang, which we know is what Ronnie Rivers rides. Um, we were actually discussing this before he came over here that we think that it was Ronnie Rivers with Marquis Frazier. What about, and who were the other two? Unsure. Um, Astrid didn't get a look at one. The other one, woman in dark clothing. We can look at the people that have been with Rodney Rivers. Yeah. Scarlet, possibly. Yeah. Um, yeah, female dressed in dark clothing. She was on the back of Ronnie Rivers' horse. Then man with black curly mutton chops. Black curly mutton chops. So that's where I haven't... You think false imprisonment... Uh, you, you think that's... Uh... I think that's a bit much. I mean, he did. If he I did mean, kill him, is it really even worth it? I that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. I think first degree murder is enough. Enough, yeah. So then we got. Uh, there's four, right? In total? Yep, yep. All right, so one female, three males? One female, two males, unsure of the last. Okay. Um, On the tip for Marky Frazier. It was three males, one female. I'm going to try to see if there's other tips of people seeing. All right, I just did the charges. If you want to start working on the actual okay. report, I'm going to go through the other report, the one with the Valentine Saloon robbery. I'm going to add both of them to that. Okay. Because she confirmed to me, I don't know if she said this to you, the, the incident in Valentine, it was the same people. Yep. I'm going to take the, your statement, and she said that to you, yeah? Yeah. That's in that's in, in your statement already, too? Right? Um, I No, I didn't include anything from that. Okay. Um, I'm going to add a statement then into this. Okay. Uh, can you tell me exactly what she told you, and I'll just write it in as a She a just said that there was a situation earlier in Valentine with the same people. Okay. What's that? What case file is that? Uh, Valentine Saloon. I'm just gonna cop. I'm just gonna yeah. the copy exactly what you wrote down. I'm just gonna, you read it out to me. Valentine Saloon robbery. Two ten. a statement. Yo, what up? What up, Grumpy? Not that one. I'm such a bozo. I was gonna put this whole statement in. I was going to put this whole statement in, but I all I have to do really is... Yeah, have a good night, Spoof. Dude, you you just not only did you murder somebody. Amazing for Ronnie, amazing for the situation he's in. But you also m murdered the only other guy with white hair with my haircut. Literally best case scenario ever. Ronnie gets a murder under his belt where I can brag about how Ronnie has a murder over CD's head, and you murdered the only other person with my haircut that is also white. Perfect.
Dude, funnily enough. Funnily enough. Fucking, uh, fucking. Fucking K Kramer was just telling me. Not, not Kramer. Fucking Weller was just telling me. That, uh, that he mistook that guy for me today. <laughs> do you think we'd be able to get a statement from Kaniklo, or do you think it's not gonna happen? That's like I paid him? Yeah, true. Uh, I doubt it. Oh, man. But you could try it. Hours or only a little bit, yeah. It's like a couple of hours. Alright, I uh, I put in her statement into the um the Valentine robbery. I updated okay. to what I wanted, um, and then I added that Marquis and him in there. Um Uh, do you want to? Whenever you get the chance, after you're done the, uh, after you're done the robbery, I mean, after you're done working on the murder one. Um, well, is there anything I could uh, I could help with? Not really. I'm just writing it out. Also, I forgot to add. Uh, I forgot to change the one of her questionings to the one. Yeah, I I added that, and you had attempted murder in the first degree. Oh, so I did. to accessory. Yeah, sorry. I was adding the others for the unknowns anyway. The Ronnie. 70 days, 90 days, 100, 105 days, 220 days, 275 days, 475 days, 505 days, 545 days, 885 days, 1300? What the fuck? Why does he have so much time? Putting one of them as Scarlet for wanted for questioning. Hello. Hi. Hey. Howdy. Uh, How many do we have here currently? We have four. Me and Brooks are working on reports. Do you know? Did you get? You got the tip, yeah? And yeah, I saw the, uh, the telegram. Yeah. Um, uh, I I'm pushing it as first degree. Yeah. Is it Mr. Black it? like bartender Valentine? Yeah. Mr. Black. Yes. Yeah. Rip, if you want to hear my reasoning behind it, I could pull you aside. Yeah, sure. Brooks, you can come too if you want. Uh, not only did he end I quote literally saying before he shot him in the head, 
I've been waiting to do this for a long time, motherfucker. According to the witness who reported the murder to us, he was also involved in an incident, I want to say two months ago, where Weller, myself, I even think Winters was there, Zoe, um, where, I mean, no, Zoe wasn't there, I'm trying to think, maybe it was the other Winners, where we responded to him and Chase uh, holding up Mr. Black at the medical tents. They've had a known history with, yeah. uh, yep. you know. Black was an informant of mine who stated he was very cautious about who he talked to because of the reason his name got leaked, and Allie Chase and her friends like Ronnie Rivers were trying to kill him. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. So, so, it was known he had specifically told me that yeah, I feel like I can't reduce your charges, man, because I'm okay. like I'm slightly uh, connected to yeah, you. Yeah, I mean, on crim, man. So I'm like, there's a history there. It's there's, so dumb uh, though. That's maxed out. Repeat uh, offenses where they've attacked the Valentine yeah, Saloon. That's and where in the Valentine Saloon earlier in the report, Black gave the statement think, saying yeah. he was trying to kill him. Gotcha. And that was so, earlier today. And Brooks and I are working on the murder report. Uh, he technically held him up before shooting him in the head, but I felt like he's already getting first degree murder. He doesn't need a false imprisonment charge on top of that. Um, Brooks and I are working on the giant fucking report right now, and we're going to put all the reasoning in why we believe it should be first degree murder. Mm -hmm. That way, if anybody questions it, it's all there. But we should have four in St. Denis right now. How many do you have? I just brought in six and two cadets. Okay. Are you um, going back out, or what are you doing? It depends. Um, we saw it was, did you see what they rode out on horses or was uh, it a there wagon? was a gray horse there was the buckskin mustang and the gray horse and she didn't get a good look at the third there was three hmm. horses four riders any of them with white hair dude ronnie's just built no, different man not that she saw there was one she didn't recognize or she never got a good look at but it was a man with mutton chops there was ronnie rivers and then a female in all dark dark everything who was on the back of Ronnie's horse? Um, we, give me one moment. Me and Brooks think it might be uh, Scarlet. It might be Scarlet, yeah. You want me to put her as one for questioning? I already did. Alright, perfect. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, okay, sorry. I didn't see that. Not on the Valentine one, only on the murder one. Uh... Was she not also with... Wasn't it the same exact groups? Yeah. Do you want me to go update the other one then? Yeah. Alright, All right, I'll work on the robbery one. You just you tell me what you need, and I'll help with the, uh, the murder one since you've been working on that. Right, I'm going to put her as a one for questioning for, the, for this one as well. Since he can try to place her there. Yeah. Uh, let me think. Uh, I don't. What questions would we put for her? Just her alibi at the time, I guess. And then there's also location where she was at. Who, she who was also with. matches the man? Because that's the other thing I'm trying to get a one of her questioning out, so we can the see mutton who chops. Else so other reports, Marquis Frazier was with people who matched Ronnie's description. Yeah, and then we also have a loose description on Scarlet. And then what's the fourth yeah. description? Because I want to see if we can place... She didn't have one. I she was thinking they always form. run with Charles, but there's no fourth description, Charles Devine. I was going to see if we could place him there. Every time. Yeah, but he, we would have... I By far, we wouldn't know. So we can't place him there. I would look at the robbery. Um, there's Rabbit no... told me that there was... Robbery. The robbery on Saffron? Oh, the Saffron robbery. I don't know if that report had much in it. I believe Rabbit may have been working on it. Okay. It could we... have been that same group, or it could have been somebody else. Well, I'm thinking when we get the group, we uh, hopefully we'll get all four of them, so that way whoever's got them, if you guys are going back out there, Rip, and you guys question them, I'll put some questions in, I guess. I'll try to think of some for both. All right. Yeah, there's no Saffron robbery report yet. Are you talking, isn't it an old one? No, it just happened earlier. Um, okay. Rabbit said they were going to be working on them. Yeah, I don't see one at all. Okay. 
Okay, we'll have to uh, get a FA up, up for that. Dude. Um, how is how is Ronnie River so much Earth, better right, than Charles Divine, side. dude? Yeah, absolutely. I'll go over there. There's not. Uh, December eleventh. Mm -hmm. You gonna be available? Um, honestly, with that, I should be able to. Roughly around ten p.m. Eastern. Uh, no, this coming Sunday, but the Sunday after. Okay, I didn't realize it was Sunday. Sundays are hard, but I can try. And with, enough, with that much of a time in advance, I should be able to. Yeah. Be easy. I'm easy. It's easier for me on, on weekdays, but I should be able to try. It was initially planned for uh, for the Saturday, the, the 10th. Okay. But uh, I, I, it's not a department thing. It's um, keeping it very kind of limited on uh, how many folks we, we take. Okay. As of a, uh, a few nights ago, I proposed to Saffron. Congratulations. I want to extend the invite to you. If, uh, I would, uh, I would love to come. I'll, uh, I'll try to make sure I, uh, can be free. No, uh, know that, uh, I'm not typically I'm, around. I'm not expecting weekends. any, any promises, but, uh, if you're there, I'd, uh, I'd appreciate that. I'd love to be there, though. And thank you for inviting me. And congrats to the both of you. Thank if you. If I don't see her, could you let her know? Absolutely. I'll uh, I'm try and catch up with her here after, after, uh, after I clock off. All right. Perfect. Yeah. Certainly no time like the present, huh? Yeah. Have right. you been holding up? Uh, been all right. Trying to, at least. Keeping yourself uh, busy to the grindstone. Yeah. Are you running? Yeah. Always trying to be. Well, be sure to uh, take a few days for yourself. Excuse me? Yeah, I tried to do her in there, but I mean, I had uh, two or three hours off duty today, so. Hmm. We ain't find no evidence Hello. down there. We're really okay. tired. Oh, okay. Good night. Uh, there ain't no. You said it was a, uh, oh, thank you. a single shot thank you. that put him yeah. out, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we found no projectiles, no casings, and nothing. Good night. Okay. Rest up. Thank you. Okay, uh, we, just, we just got a we just got a tip five oh. minutes ago. And need it. Need people in Blackwater. Uh, it's medical. We got one who was searched for by three robber hostage takers. It's by Shiro. Dead body in St. Denis Medical Office? I'm assuming that... That's... Mr. Black. I'm assuming okay. that's Mr. Black, um, yeah. How many do we have here? Uh, I, I, we, if you brought six, we should have... It was me, Valentine, Kennedy, and Brooks. I've been saying to me before you guys showed. So, 10 unless gotcha. people went to sleep from your group. Or we just did. Uh, we still have Huxley. Yeah, Grey Castle and Winters both took off. They were okay. two of the ones. They went, to the, they they went to the with... doctor and clocked off because uh, Zoe, one of Zoe's friends might have passed away. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. And uh, Henley? Yeah, I was going to ask, where's Henley? Henley just clocked off as well. Uh, gotcha. take that Ori as well. Alright, then uh, it'll be seven of us here with a single cadet. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm about to clock off. Or, wait, You're about to clock off one? Uh, yeah. yeah I'm I gotta stay here and finish the murder report. Okay, I can take uh, take three with me over to Blackwater because there's already Kramer and Cash over there. Alright, I'll, I'll sit tight then. I'll help her with the murder report since we're working on it together. Okay. Brian okay. Kennedy, Intel. Sure. Alright, Let's do it. Alright, All right, perfect. perfect. Yeah, I'll be safe. Yes. Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll mark you guys responding. Alright. Appreciate it. I did, didn't I just say need to, by the way? Okay, I'm just... 
Uh, I'm pretty sure I did. For a second, I thought maybe I said they requested for one. Valentine. Yeah, of course. I'm the coffee absent. On to do. Scarlet. What's her fucking name? Winters. Right? It sounds weird because it's a GTA character for me. She's the only one. Uh, let me use my con let me use my other questions as a base and we'll edit them for this situation um Use this as like a general base. See this. You're doing on first of December. Okay. Easier. December first. Yeah. Time. <laughs> you 
go to Valentine on December 1st. Alright, ready? This is what I put for questions to ask. Uh, what were you doing December 1st? Who were you with on December 1st? Where did you all go? What did you do? Do you have anyone that can corroborate that? Did you go to Valentine on December 1st? Did you go to St. Denis on December 1st? For the Valentine robbery. One for questioning. It's good. Just because I figured, you know. If she denies going to Valentine, but it says she went to St. Denis and we can maybe pin her to the murder, then we could also pin her to the robbery since it was the same four. Right. I just, I think I finished the report for the murder. Mr. Black's first name was Roland, right? Yep. Um, how did we come to the conclusion that Marquis is involved? He was ID'd? Um, there were several tips throughout the day. And so he was ID'd at the Valentine's So, scene? Ronnie, no, Ronnie was I not ID'd, but somebody matching him was ID'd as with. Marquis? Yeah. And that's how we know that Marquis and Ronnie were together? And then, yeah, mutton chops. Which, when I met him the other day, when he introduced me, he had mutton chops. Alright, I put like a little update in the summary. I put Astrid came in and told deputies that Roland Black was murdered by by the same people that robbed everybody in the Valentine Saloon. She identified Robbie Rivers Ronnie Rivers as the murderer, which places him as one of the robbers in Valentine's Saloon. And then you said it was confirmed through tips that Ronnie and Marquis Frazier were together. Or it's suspected, not confirmed, I guess. Okay. Do it. Because didn't we have literally people going after Marky, yeah. For this robbery? Yeah. So isn't he confirmed in this robbery? No, I don't know if it was... That was the Saffron robbery that they were doing. Uh, oh, and who yep. was with him for the Saffron robbery? That's so... That was the four individuals on three horses. Marky Franger, two younger-sounding males, younger-sounding female, a buckskin Mustang, which is Ronnie's horse, tricolor roadster, and tall and dark thoroughbred which is the gray one that is described by Astrid. Okay. Uh... So the descriptions of four individuals and three horses matches. So, do, so do you want descript... Marquis Frazier as wanted or wanted for questioning? Then? I think we have enough to just do wanted. All right. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to end my, my update at we have... We have uh, Ronnie Rivers confirmed as the murderer and a robber in Valentine based on based on her statement. And then when you're done with that report, could you just put in your two cents and add it to my update, I guess? And a little update in there? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Because I thought there's only two robbers, uh, just like the robbery and the murder. No, they robbed Saffron. That's what Rip was talking about. Rabbit was supposed to do that report and hasn't.
that's the hard part that one of the reports isn't written. All right, well, I put a question, I put a series of questions okay. in there as well. Um, so what did you want me to update? Sorry. Just why the marquees being in there. Okay. And then uh, I forgot to put that there's questions at the bottom for anybody that's wanting for questionings. Okay. If you want to throw that in there. Should I just use the same questions for this incident too? Or? Yeah, yeah. Hello. Howdy. You sent anyone down to uh, examine the body at the medical office? Um, Brooks, did, did anybody examine any body yet? Is that getting clue? Yeah, it is. They sent... Clear. Nobody even sent a tip in. Okay. Uh, do you want me to go send a tip in? And there's yeah, and I'll try to talk to Kaniklo quickly. Yeah. How is there no tip in the medical? I don't know why they didn't send one. Alright, I'll go send one. Okay. There is one medical on duty. I was wondering if you might be able to answer a couple of questions as well. If possible. Kaniklo? Kaniklo? We're waiting on a doctor. Um, I was wondering if you might be able to answer a couple of questions. There might be an off-duty doctor. Well, a few uh, they are separated. We're just she's and also then, she's wanted for questioning for both. Shot his brains out. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, I think I misremembered on the masks part. I'll be back. Yeah, they are separate files. This is, they're just, uh, Scarlet's wanted for questioning on two different ones, and it's like, the, I do general questions, so I'm just gonna put the same general questions down. I might do, I might do December 2nd. For her questions. Instead of the first. I think it technically happened on the 2nd.
How you doing? How you doing, ma'am? How you doing? Mr. What's it? Yeah. How are you? I'm great. Never been better. Mm. Actually, just the person I was looking for. Mm. You wanna come with me? Sure. Got that scarf. Maybe I do. Mm. Maybe that's just what I want to give you. In exchange for something. I saw you reaching your satchel, just making sure. Don't worry. I'm not here to rob you. I ain't got nothing I want anyways. <laughs> no, I'll give you something. No, no, no. There's something specifically that I want from you. I want to find dropped. If I'm willing to return something that I took from your department. Okay. I potentially robbed one of your deputies maybe a few weeks ago. If I return what I took from him, would you be able to drop it? Uh, how long ago? Fuck. Two weeks. Maybe a week ago. Okay, uh, he wanted for it still? Oh yeah, I'm very wanted. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'm not turning myself in. <sighs> and you're wanted, Renny? Possibly. Roger, what's his name? Mr. Mitchell? M Mr. Mitchell? Mitchell, Mitch, I don't fucking know. Start with him. Michael. Okay, you can't make this easy and come down the station with me. Can I what? What was that? What did you say? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Can't make it easy and come down the station with me. No. We can figure it all out. Are you gonna drop the fine or not? Uh. How big of a fine? I can't. I don't, I don't got my clipboard with me, so I got to go back to the office. How big do you think it is? I potentially took his uh, Lancaster here that's right on my back and a pair of handcuffs. Okay. And I'm using it on someone, but if you're willing, if I could give one of those things back. I'll tell you what. You give me the, uh, you give me the Lancaster and the handcuffs. I will, uh, I will look over the paperwork, find it, make sure it's returned. I'll uh, I'll reduce the fine for the uh, the stolen amount for the stolen Lancaster. Hmm. Fine. It's only because I have something coming up and I don't need you guys on my backs. You know, you're wanted. You know, I'm gonna have to take you down to the station though, right? Oh, 
Well, let's go to the station, shall we? And let's do it. And you just want the fine reduced. Yes. Actually, I do. It's surprising. Most folk want the time reduced. I don't care about time. You know, I didn't hear a thank you. For the scarf. That and me coming peacefully, what I don't usually do. I'll tell you what, thank you for the scarf. And thank you for coming peacefully. Well, well now you're just saying because I told you to say Well, I was going to pay you for no, the you, scarf. No, you weren't. You yes, weren't I was. I didn't want I didn't want your money. I said let me give you something. No, no, for the scarf. I don't I didn't want I didn't want your money even regardless if I was Okay, but my point out. is I was going to say thank you no. after I gave you the money. Uh -huh. right. That's how a transaction works. Mhm. Mm yes. I don't believe you. Well, you don't have to, I suppose. You know whose Lancaster this was specifically? I just told you. I don't know who exactly oh, his that's name. Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, Started with an M. Okay. Do you remember any other? That might have been his first or his last. Do you remember? I know he was not fat, but on the brawler side, kind of body type and a deep voice with a full beard. Okay, I think I know you're talking about. All right. Yeah, it's Sans. 100%. Let's see. Alright. So, uh, typically... Did you take anything else from him, or just the handcuffs in the, uh, in Lancaster? Those two do you have? Was that Rennie? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, you also took a hundred dollars from him. Do you have that? No. Okay. So what I'll do is, the fine is typically a hundred and fifty plus the value stolen. So I'll you you the draw the fine will drop three hundred dollars. Okay. Sure. Since you returned it. And you don't care about time at all whatsoever? Nope. Okay. I'll tell you what then. Since you came in peacefully, I'll uh I'll drop the fine of false imprisonment of a peace officer down as well to fifty dollars. So you'll get how, how generous. You'll you'll get a little bit of extra fine off in total. So you would have been looking at I think eight hundred what hold up. You've been looking at uh, around seven hundred dollars in fines. You're now down to three fifty for the Appreciate the it. surrender mixed with returning everything. All right. All right. Um. Me and Brooks, the only two in Saint Denis. I don't mind taking giving you taking you in for a transport. I'll I could do it myself, I suppose. How much time am I looking at? You're looking at like three hundred days. So, uh, I suppose I can offer it. It's up to you. I could have one of the local guards transport you, but I also I genuinely don't mind doing it myself because I can do it alone. For so your safety, call. I'd rather go with the locals. For my safety? Yeah. 
for my safety. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why do you say that? No reason. I'd rather take a local. Okay. If you prefer a, a, a local, I can do that for you. I greatly appreciate it. All right. Um, I'll tell you what though. Uh, since you're taking a local one and you came in peacefully, I'll uh, I'll I'll drop I'll drop like 15 days off for the local, as well. All right. Okay. I know it don't matter to you in the long run, but still. I'll I'll start getting your process now. All right. Um. You prefer Rennie? Do you prefer Miss Branshaw? Is it Mrs. Branshaw? What would it be? Don't ever call me that. Just say Rennie. Rennie? Okay, you prefer Rennie then. Uh, the total time is going to be two seventy-five. The the fine is going to be three hundred fifty dollars. You're going to be released at uh, seven thirty a.m. Hello, Kenny. All right. All right. Are you uh? Are you ready to be uh, transported? Mm-hmm. Hey, uh, when you guys come grab her and take her up? Thank you. Enjoy the scarf. Yeah. Thank you. Don't put it around your neck too tight. So, <laughs> developments. Okay. Scarlet's now wanted for the Valentine Saloon robbery. She's now wanted? I think Cash has her. Okay. Um, so I added her to the murder. Okay. As a wanted for questioning. I think he's checking that out right now. She you said just that go to Blackwater. It might be easier. Then, um, then we could she, just ride on. Yeah. She said that uh Marquis wasn't there. And then when asked about Scarlet, she just didn't say anything. Who? Ariel. What? She said that Marquis was not at the Valentine so Saloon robbery. Okay. But, which nobody there right, can we just Can we just ride down? I'm so yeah. confused. Okay, thank you. This is very I'm, bad. I'm doing like a bunch of paperwork and I'm trying to listen to you like and I feel like reports. I'm not listening to you correctly, so. I'm tired. I was going to go to bed an hour ago, but then this happened. Mark, he was 100% at the robber, at the murder. Might not have been at the saloon, but he was at the murder. Let me just, I got Sans Lancaster, let me tag it before we go to I just give her to the goddamn stupid ass fuck. Let's go. 
Uh, my horse is... I don't have a horse. I had to borrow yours, so I'm going to just okay. hop on the back of yours, and we can okay. go over. So who all do we have confirmed for this murder, then? So the murderer was Marquis. Okay. Ariel Ronnie. Ariel doesn't match the description of the other woman. She doesn't wear all dark clothes. Okay, so we only have three? Yep, there's one woman, the woman all in dark unaccounted for. Which we believe to be... Scarlet. Yeah. It wasn't my horse you took. <laughs> what? I don't know where my horse is. Are you sure? Is it? Isn't it right here? Isn't this your horse? Nope. Oh. <laughs> Here's my horse. Oh. You're a horse thief. <laughs> I have a horse that looks similar to that, but... Whoops. I was in Valentine and I had to escape from... Sean Weller. Worst two to ride with together. Got a nice new scarf. Yeah. She tried using knitting as an alibi for a bank robber, and, and I told her to knit me a scarf then, if that's the case. Guess her alibi worked then, huh? I guess so. Who is this turning into a slaughterhouse? We, uh, by the way, I, uh, the Dead End Gang? Mm hmm. They're gonna fucking murder me. Yeah, I'm not super nice to Edwin. I was surprised when he said I was. I told him to fuck off and he deserved to be in the cells and never see the light of day again. That's not the first time I've stolen a horse. <laughs> and if it's returned, is it really stolen? Returned before anybody notices? I once took the wrong... I once took somebody's horse all the way across town before I realized it was somebody else's horse. <laughs> <laughs> I tend to get on the wrong horse all the time, but it's never the same. Like, never similar to mine. Yeah. Well, that's why I got this horse. Then I can't... I don't know. No horse looks like this. Well, that's what I'm saying. I I, I get the, I take horses that don't look like mine on accident. <laughs> I just you just not up. Pay Yeah, I just I th I think it's where I left it, and then I I'm like, oh shit. Uh, sometimes I remember, sometimes I don't. You know, my goal is to figure out where that stupid place I was trying to find earlier is. I'm gonna have to every like sunrise go find different spots up there and look. Oh my god, that waiting emote's amazing. I kind of want to make that a Twitch emote. <laughs> Benny's really self-conscious about a scar on his face. I told him the day to not let people fucking tell him shit about it, because I didn't even notice it. So people are just gonna notice it and then try to fucking use it against them and basically don't let pieces of shit say that to them.
I really hope a doctor shows up to the medical office. Yeah, I sent in that we had a dead body to be examined. Wouldn't be the first time no doctor shows up. Do we even have them confirmed dead? No, not till a doctor right, gets that's there. That's what I'm saying. So how, how are we going to be able to press murder on somebody that's not confirmed dead? I don't know. Hopefully the doctor will get there before the charges get pressed. <laughs> Thing is, like, you can know people are dead without... No, I mean, I'm just saying. You know, I hear horses above us to the right. Me too. It's behind us now, I think, on the path. Directly east of us? I don't know. Yeah, I what. just saw them for a second. It's a wagon. Oh, okay. <laughs> Weller kept yelling at me in the roof to have my gun out, and I'm like, I'm gonna keep my binoculars out to see where I'm gonna shoot people from until things start. And then I finally spotted them. <clears throat> Do you think that man rabbit had was involved? He was very. Tried to be very convincing that he wasn't. I don't know. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, that situation it was a shit threw show. me off. Uh, yeah, I'm still thrown off by it. Like I'm out of it completely today. Like <laughs> that situation has just derailed my mind. Shaw saying, "Oh, they went north," meaning east, and not realizing he meant east for quite a while. What? He said they ran north, but then he, like, after three times of saying it, he was pointing up the tracks. Because he thought up the tracks was north. Oh. So that's what a lot of that was what kept holding us up. Chat, we're 51 away from But then he just ride off and not subs. say anything. said to Weller when we were riding. Weller, if you want to talk about anything that happened today, let me know. I have time. What did Weller say? Weller was like, I don't know, it was just kind of dumb of you to just take off on your own, but <laughs> I've done it. That's such a Weller response. <laughs> that is I was such just... a Weller response, yeah. man. I, that's why I had to get away from them. I was like, this is just so awkward. <laughs> Mr. Eastwick was very upset with my comment. He asked me in the cell what I said again multiple times. I told him I, th I just heard a shot. Southeast. Maybe more east? Or am I mishearing? I didn't hear it. There's deer down there, so I don't think it was down there unless it was across the water. Maybe, maybe I'm mishearing. Maybe a rock. Yeah, rock strip me up. It sounded just like a shot. Oh, God damn it. Okay. Come on, Achilles. Stop going sideways. Your horse is named Achilles? Oh, no. Kill it. <laughs> so definitely not. This is not Achilles. Damn it, he's going the wrong fucking direction. He keeps turning sideways. I don't know if you see this. I don't know what I'm he's... saying. <laughs> Some weird shit going on. Yeah. Called him by the wrong name, maybe he got upset. He won't stop running. Uh. <laughs> he won't stop. Uh. Stop running. Okay. He's gonna stop? Okay. Okay, he's good now. He only knows how to sprint. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs>
themselves. <laughs> Such a bozo, man. How am I a bozo? I, I had to get off before it hit something. Hello. Howdy. Uh, Brooks and I came over. Welcome. Is there more people here? Why? What's going on? Shots and strawberries. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. Let's go grab a few people. Uh, put your name as they're spawning. I don't know who else we're going to grab. Are they? We I'll go with them. Here. Okay. I'll go with you, Kramer. Beautiful. Sh shots and strawberry. I'm sorry, I just locked the door on your face. Do you want to go? Yeah. Sheriff, I got the base report you. up with, uh, yep. with her on it, and I charges are done on it. Thank you very much. I'm going to go assist with that. Yeah, uh, Brooks ahead. is here to talk to you, Cash. Me and Brooks are both right. going to talk to you, but she's I'm going to assist with this. She has all, all the right. info. What what happened? Uh, With what? Her or? Yeah, with her. Uh, she's admitted to every robbery today with Ronnie Rivers and was present during the murder. Yeah, okay. Crap, that's what. That's why we're coming down. We had we had the report out. Maybe by the no telegram station. Let me go see if the others want to come. All right. Brooks, I'm taking your horse. Okay. Did he ask go us? Telegram? Did, yeah. Did he ask us to go to see if the others want to come? He went to the telegram. To I didn't hear that. you. Okay. I didn't hear what you said. I I said I thought he said uh he thought he asked if we wanted uh, to see if the others wanted to come. Cause there's two over by the pier. Matt up, please. Well, are you coming? Or are you staying? Rush! Well, it looks like y'all got enough. Oh. Uh, the Valentine, I you can go. I I don't even have my horse. I'm taking Brooks's. If you prefer to go. Uh, no, I'm going off duty. Y'all, y'all. Y'all got it. Y'all got right. this. No, right. Valentine. He's, he's going to bed. He's going to bed. I don't want to hear it. All right, all right fine. I'm coming. I'm coming. Get on your foot. All right, I'm coming. You know, that's like the third person I've accused of being a red water company in the egg. Well, that's real nice of you. I mean, no, whatever you exactly do well or you, don't, I need to ask a question. don't curse me next, man. He, you started calling Kramer friendly, and you know. <laughs> we don't have Wait, we're missing Valentine. We're missing Valentine. Valentine's going to bed. Listen, no, I'm, I'm okay, 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 fine. I'm slowing down. I'm slowing down. I'm slowing down. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. Yeah, but I did it to some fella as well who turns out he lives in the bay. He had a red wrap on his gun. I was like, so. That red wrap, that mean anything? Good <laughs> it was like, <laughs> it means I like the color red. But I went, any particular reason for that? And Ruth, you like, mark my words, watch, I'm never gonna shoot another damn deputy. I had a would you perfect say that? record. Why would you say that, though? Because I'm per Like, why you shouldn't you? have said that. You shouldn't, why? Have, you shouldn't have put that out. Why? Now it's out there. No, now you curse yourself. I did, you cursed me, you son of a bitch. Uh, you've cursed yourself. Oh, no. Alright, let's All go. Right, we're going. Where are we going? Strawberry. Why? They were shot. Shots fired. A lot of shots fired. Unfortunately, A lot of shots fired. Alright, we're going to pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Picking it up. Slowing. Cutting 
off road on the right. Off road. Right. How you doing, Kennedy? Good to see you. How amazing it is to see me and be blessed with my presence. Watch yourself, cadet. You're still a civilian. Yeah, Fuck me. I forgot we had hops like this. Thank you. No, thank you. Hey, folks. Saints Cross the Sheriff's Department. How are you all doing? How you doing, sir? Uh, everything all right? Good oh, winters. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, there were shots in the area, apparently. You heard anything? I did. About... Ten or so minutes ago, they came from that side of town. Which side? Uh, towards the west, that direction. Interesting. How you yeah. feeling? Uh, I've been better. I think it was only about two shots or so. Well, that's odd because the tip said right, a so, lot of shots. Uh, that's a that's a man. Uh, oh, this no, is somebody else. Who's this? Is is Sheriff one? Oh, Sheriff. Sure. All right. How can I, it was uh, it took place up on the hill. Yep, that's what south. Winters was saying. All right, you want to lead the way? Yeah, take a look. All right, y'all take care. Be safe. You stay safe as well. I mean, care, Sheriff. It's still in the vicinity that moves the possibility. Yeah. It is. Yeah. And he said it was only he, two he shots versus the tip guns. saying it was like. He, he said it was a lot of shots, and it was several types of guns. Oh. Winter said here, too. Okay. Well, Winter's might not have been around as long. That's yeah. maybe just woken up. Hey, Scrolls and Sheriff's Department, anybody out here need help? Saints Crossing Sheriff's Department. If you're injured, call out. We've had people at a tree right, and not this way, but the other direction, like northeast on top of that hill, doing target practice as of recent. So, people shooting trees, huh? Correct. So, it very well could be that, and they weren't far enough out of town. Also, let's <laughs> also be honest if two people are riding on a horse and they and they did get attacked by wolves, it's possible one might only have their navy, the other one might have had like a, a rifle, and that's why it could have sounded like different, different types of shots. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, so, I, I've, I fucking, I've fanned bears when they've shot, came at me before, so yeah. it's possible. So, so what he said exactly was, he saw one person ride off to the west, up, up to this mountain, and he heard a, a lot of shooting, and there were several types of guns, or different types of guns, he said. So, that was, that was how he worded it to me. Could have been just the echoes off the mountains or something. I mean, did, you know, did you different. ask him was it was it all at the same time or was it like did someone unload their Lancaster and then maybe pull out their navy? I didn't go into too much detail besides yeah. that he said it was a lot of shooting and it was different types of guns. He made it sound like it was all at the same time, but he didn't say specifically. Okay. Yeah. Well, I guess the only thing we can do now is just do a quick proximity sweep, if, you know, around Strawberry, see if we see anything or hear anything. Or yeah, my thoughts exactly, and then back to Blackwater. Help cash. Alright. Uh, Let's do a loophole here on the outside then. On Kennedy. 
We're gonna keep it off road. Keeping it off road. Keeping it off road. Keeping it off road. Aim beyond my teammates. Find out. Didn't mean to slow down too hard there. That's right. Hands crossed the sheriff's department. Anybody out here need help? Saints Crossing Sheriff's Department, anybody injured? Somebody did. That was the most amazing thing I've ever heard of. Don't fall without chances. After I said something I like that, all right. Lot, okay, I'm gonna believe that. Well, or Ann Kramer might need help. We'll take, let's start beating each other up here in a second. Actually, I'm gonna beat you up and keep that up. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, don't beat me up. I'm kidding. Man. What? Has he been here the whole time? Yes. I could have sworn we left Blackwater and that he was not. What do you mean? What are you trying to do? Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> 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 I'm not having a good night. <laughs> he okay, Kramer? Yeah, let's just go. Okay. <laughs> let's go. I'm going to put my gun away now. We're getting put him away. Uh, I mean, guys, if we keep riding off fucking cliffs, maybe they'll feel bad and come tell us what happened. Yeah, exactly. All right, guys, come on, arrest me. <laughs> I thought we were supposed to look professional. Uh, Huxley. Yeah, that's a strike. <laughs> All right? You're on strike one. Wait, what strike two? That's a pretty good one, though. You don't want to fucking know. <laughs> you don't want to know, friend. Okay, I'll sit my lips. No, I, got, I knew a guy, oh, so I'll just give you that I gotta check three. Tim real quick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, you need this. He got all the fakes. Kramer, you need me to grab his bandages? Okay, I'll listen to, uh, okay. Valentine. <laughs> you know a lot about Dodge City, it seems. <laughs> I do also need to check my telegram real quickly before we leave. I'm not gonna lie, I thought he said I, I need I need to check my tip. I was really confused for a second. I heard that as well, so you know, you're not insane. <laughs> How's the tip you're checking? Oh, that doesn't look good. What doesn't look good? <laughs> you and my hat? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. That's why I came out here. I mean, what, what kind of curse shit are you wearing right now? <laughs> what, what do you mean? I look like dead up. Just don't even. Look. I agree. You look like somebody bury my grandpa in. <laughs> My parents no, didn't let me drink out. Okay. <laughs> fucking serious? Oh, we need to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> we need to get the fuck out. Oh. 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 Four months. Oh, wow. die, alright? Have a good day. Watch out, these logs are uneven, deputies. One 
two, two, two. Up to a canter. Canter. I knew the way I started getting up on that horse that that was gonna happen. It's good to see you, man. Tell. Good to see you as well, Jamie. You uh, you okay there after that spill? Yeah, I'm all right. I've had worse. Uh, I saw you was in St. Denis earlier, Jamie. I hope uh, the night's been treating you well enough. It's been, my brain's been fried since the very first situation I had to respond to in St. Denis. That can happen. Right? It's, a, it's a bit of a feast of famine on your brain sometimes. Yeah. It's just that, that situation was chaotic. What was the whole deal with uh, With Summers? He was, uh, he was like standing around, uh, he was standing around aimlessly, trying to bait us into a trap. I don't know. And then, it, I don't know, it, it was just complete and utter chaos, man. Weller, you were there, wouldn't you agree that the communication and everything was just horrible during that? I mean, I was up on the roof. Man. No, I'm talking about after the roof. I'm talking about the pursuit. Yeah. Look, I, I I took a step back during all that because I figured, you know, I'm gonna fucking overstep my bounds, but yep. yeah, I mean that that chase was I mean it wasn't really a chase, but kinda just chase We just had me. random people run off in random directions and shit. It and look, look, sure, it was, it was a bit ahead of myself, but it wasn't anything it wasn't anything serious. It just yeah, no no, I'm talking about the board. Yeah, I'm talking about the shot as well. There was like Different well, call outs the made. Slow for town. Slow and for town. Slow and for town. My just, my point is, it was just a clusterfuck all around, is my point. Look, I've seen it a thousand times, right? Yeah. I mean, back months ago when we used to chase something, it always happens. People get giddy and get ahead of themselves. They yeah. Start, you know, overstepping. No, absolutely. I'm just saying, like, the, uh, the communication, though, was all over the place during that. I think, I, mean, uh, yeah, I think Malone wanted to have a debrief, but we had to go pretty, uh, we kind of had to send deputies to places and shit, but, I mean. There's a reason I'm, I am the way I am, and I know when, you know, sometimes when shit starts getting a little bit, uh, full on, folks tend to lose their head. Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. Be a bit fast paced. Yeah. Yes, please, Kramer. Yep, under control. Gotta be safe I don't think it was anyone's any particular way. fault. No, I, like I think it was... The only, the only thing that should have changed would be that one person should have been leading. Yeah, that is that. literally get, what I said to Malone, too. I, I too said... Many cooks in the kitchen like that. Yep. And, hey, Rush, calm down. It's good to see you, Brooks. Yeah, no, I 100% agree with you there, Weller. That's what I said to Malone. I said that... Uh, I said that the, we need to be more communicative in situations like that and clearly communicate who a leader is through and through. Yeah, everything's good. Yeah, everything's good. All right. So what what do we get from her? Uh she said she was with Scarlet all day but wouldn't place her there anytime she was asked. She said, "Do I have to say anything?" But then would deny the ones Marquis was in. But she or wasn't said she in. was with Scarlet all day. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty so, much. So I put Scarlet as wanted for everything. Cash confirm that? Uh, cash confirm that? Yeah. Yeah. I've been waiting for this for a long time before shooting. And that lines up exactly with the witness statement. Yeah. Ronnie, Ariel, Marquis, Scarlet winners. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I, I they they all they have such a history, but with Mr. Black as well, it's why I pushed for first degree. Next, yeah, statement. actually, 
Kramer, you remember? We I was going to talk. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It was the three of us. Yes, it was. It was. It was us three. Yeah, he was telling me that he he couldn't tell us. Who he, who he was, but someone was going after him. Bad people, people he, who are yep. familiar with Valentine or were based. Brooks in knows a lot about. Yeah, he was an informant of mine, and he told me the whole story that they were after him because his name got leaked. Can I ask if Ariel was involved with any of the previous events? No, she was not. The robberies? Are you sure? The robberies against not Mr. With Black. Mr. Black. Oh, Mr. Black. okay. No, she was not. because. No. I, I'm inclined to be. Ronnie, out of that whole group, it was just Ronnie would be the one that has prior incidents with him, except for the earlier Valentine incident today. Are you going to push to charge her with anything on that? I'm going to charge her with accessories still, but I'm going to give her 60 days, which is I'll the time right. that will match aiding and abetting right. typically. That makes sense for that. As All opposed right. to the 250 days of accessory. Yeah, I mean she's been working. So. She's been working with the department. Right, she was giving you information, right? She had, she actually get over did everything but admit the names of everyone. But she, she, at least when I identified them already and said they were identified, she confirmed. All right, yeah, I mean, I I think that's more than fair for her basically giving us yeah. the 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 ability to put out wanted for all four involved. So she's looking at about three hundred days after my reductions. Has she ID'd them as well? She will not ID Scarlet Winners. She ID'd Ronnie, and she ID'd Marquis. Yeah, Which, that's because Scarlet wow. fucking Winners was sitting in that chair right there. Do you remember yeah, the name she was giving us? I can't. Amber. Amber. But yeah, I wrote it down. She gave us Amber, and then I asked uh, Ariel over there, and she said her name was like Becky or something. And then... Shit. And then, but Scarlet confirmed she was... I mean, not Scarlet. Ariel confirmed she was with Scarlet all day, though, right? No. She will not confirm anything reg okay. regarding Scarlet. However, uh, due to her you know, misidentification of, you know, Scarlet when she was sitting there. Um, every time I asked, was Scarlet there? She'd just look at me silently, just not willing to say anything. But her non-admission is essentially her. And plus, we have we have a description basically matching Scarlet as well, right. and Scarlet's seen with Ronnie all the time as well. I mean, yeah. I'll have to put the new description because she definitely is probably wearing that outfit unless she... Who the fuck is Scarlet? She looks like fucking Valentine right now, actually. Yeah, it, <laughs> almost exactly like Valentine, except but the with a jacket bright... is all one shade of brown, and it matches her hair. The pattern is on her cap. And her pants, too, I think. Like she just wants Maybe solid she color. she was inspired. You go on so thinking that. I... Okay. Uh, to kill someone? Who wants to uh, transport with me, then? Uh, I'll go with you. Yeah, sure. I, yeah, I don't mind. Wagon's already there? Yep, wagon is out there. All right. Let's get this show on the road then. Beautiful. Oh, oh man, guys, I don't want to inspire a murderer. No, uh, that's all right. It happens. Okay. Look, Valentine, uh, why don't you oh. hit the hay, hey? We were saying before, we dragged you along out to strawberry. Try me an empty canteen. Yeah. Thank you for coming, Valentine. I'm. Uh, yeah, thank you for coming. That's why I'm just giving you a gentle I was telling the cadet works, here, I, you know, I... I, I hey. It was important that we all responded, but it was kind of funny it. that the entire department responded to a bad hunter. <laughs> you <laughs> would be surprised sometimes. how often that yeah. actually happens, though, one. because well, I would well, rather respond to a bad hunter uh, 10 out of 10 times, because 1 out of 10 times, it might actually be a giant shootout where innocent lies are. Yeah, well, yeah, you, can't, exactly. you can't assume it's going to be, you know, a bad hunter. You get there, and it ends up being, you know, some bodies all over the floor and people shooting at each other. You're, there were two or three peoples. What are you going to do? Yeah, no, I agree with everything hey, you guys just I said. know, I, that's why I'm going. Yeah. Are you in Redwater Company? <laughs> what? What's Redwater I mean, you, Company? You get, do they see. make you, water you that's red? red on your gun, huh? No, it's what, Candy it? Cane. His name's Candy yeah. Cane. Goddamn Candy Cane. Yeah, look. See, he looks like a Candy Cane. Shoot anybody today, Kramer? Uh, I'm clocking and, out. Good night, guys. Uh, uh, I shot that on the other day for insubordination. It happened to be a deputy. And <laughs> if I take this coat off, I look like right an elf. Hmm. Hmm. Look at this. Okay. Hmm. The deputies you shoot. Insubordination. Insubordination. <laughs> What's Red Water Company? Do they make red water? 
Red Border Company is a group of uh, mercenaries who are known for uh, murder, bank robbery, oh. assault, extortion, oh. contract killings, and such. No, oh, Jesus, no, I swear I'm not a part of them. Please don't. And, uh, and recently, I'm not a bad person. They've been, they've been wrapping all their guns in red. I heard it from oh. uh, the, uh, the mouth of Hawk and uh, uh, yeah, everyone that's else. Confirmed. I've seen so it, and now I, I've, I've heard from another source. I've everyone who's got a red goddamn contract for being a Red Border. <laughs> As you, did you just witness it in the telegram <laughs> station? I mean, uh, accused is like a heavy term. Kramer. But I've just yep. been inquiring. Can you pull a tip for me? Oh, well, yeah, which one? Uh, I promise I'm not. Uh, I would never do any of that. Says, That's good. Robbed by yeah, Marquis, uh, I learned by my lesson uh, after robbing someone, and that robbery turned into a knife uh, in my neck. I mean, that's a good way to fucking learn. You're going to need to pick it up. Yeah. And yep. Debbie Sullivan and Bolton and uh, there you are. Leo Slacks. Yeah, they all changed my mind to become a lawman. Well, that's good. I'm happy for you. Yeah. All right. Wait. Poor Johnny. What do you mean? Yeah. Next time you see Maple, you should call him uh the Deputy Maple. I mean, sorry, Deputy uh Santa. Senior Deputy Santa. So, yeah, oh, I'll senior Deputy. Senior Deputy. deputy to you. Come on. He's gonna dye his beard uh for Christmas white. I asked him, and he said he would. And then he said, I'm his elf. If I take my jacket off, I really look like one. At least that's what Wallaby Kid said when we had him arrested in St. Denis last night. So you have a man in a position of authority. Well, knew his elf and didn't know oh. do his bidding, huh? Uh, I guess. Well, I gave cookies out yesterday, and I guess I'm the cookie elf. Nah, I'm getting my supply from Saffron. Right, well, that's nice. I'm, uh, we're leaving now. Everyone here has their titles, you know? I yeah, I don't care if that means, uh, that's a title you guys want to give me. I'm honored. Okay, well, I'm sure we can find something else for you. Okay. Everyone's, everyone's got their, uh, right this way. their niches. You know, yeah. Famous shooting fellow deputies. Cash yeah. is being well balanced and fair. Oh. Ruth is being an absolute coming? dead shot with a revolver. Oh wow. Self is taking on death defying odds and coming out of the picture. <laughs> okay. I'm a dead shot with a revolver. The guy known for the most surrenders, baby. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, if you slide closer, it'll be safer for you. You don't fall out. Should I go in the wagon or ride a horse? Right on your own horse, step. Okay. I'm not a chance. I'm not a chance. There you go. Oh, hell no. Going on this transport? Oh, hell yes. I am, yep. Yeah. Pardon? Uh, yes, I'm going on the transport. Okay. I was going to stick around here, uh, but if you got to go to bed afterwards, I understand. Would anybody you like to her... take the rings? Because I hate it. I hey, is she part of the plus too. one game? That's okay. Somehow that plan changes. That's a I, feel like she, I feel like she's definitely part of the plus one game. Yeah. You think she is? I, I definitely think she is. Look, I'll, uh, I'll try and catch mm. you on Sunday or something, okay? All right. What do you reckon, Kramer? Who I'm sorry, who are we talking about? This is this one in my right. Who is she? <laughs> exactly. Plus one game. <laughs> oh my god! Alright, y'all take care. Hey, have a good Bye, one, Sheriff. Sheriff. Have a good Stay one, safe. Sheriff. Hey, you too. Right, sir. Uh, I'm just gonna hop on the wagon, that's okay. Are we not letting him on the wagon? No. Uh, if you want on the wagon, you can come on the wagon. Yes, we are. I feel okay. bad that you're all uh, the only one please. out there. No, okay, I will. You can definitely take your own horse if you prefer, though. Now, remember, Kramer, if we get ambushed, you well, shoot them. Shut the fuck up, all right? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, uh, 
uh, Ariel, I think it is, right? Mm hmm I'm uh, sorry, you're gonna have to be bald soon. It's terrible. Oh, come on, don't remind me. I still have my hair for now. Oh, will have you enjoy been to Cisco it? Before? Mm hmm Nice. Hey, Finnegan, why'd you want to be a law? Um, so originally I wanted to be the best outlaw ever, but, uh, 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 after, um, well, first and foremost, I tried to rob the Valentine Bank by myself. Chat, we're 51 away from 1K subs. There ain't uh, two primers or oilers. Book, and if I you did gift a first sub, but you'll then be I didn't at know least number three. Money was. I thought once you oh. opened the gate, the money was just going to be right there, but it wasn't. And I got arrested. Um... And that was when I kind of started thinking. Um, and then after that, uh, me and uh, a couple of friends, uh, we were going to be the Sweet Tooth Bandits, because we like sweets and such. Uh, we robbed a person in uh, St. Denis. They ended up being a concerned citizen. They called themselves the St. Denis, and they put a knife in my neck. Ooh. And... Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, blood was spewing everywhere. I had stitches for a while, and I got robbed, and the person put the gun to my head and ripped my stitches with his arm. But anyways, I talked to Deputy Sullivan and Bolton and, um, uh, Leo Slacks and, uh, Bolton Sullivan. and Sullivan said saying? I should become law and be the best lawman ever and said the best, uh, outlaw ever. Why? Because I'll be helping people and preventing what kind of things happen to me, or at least trying to help solve, uh... Hold up a second, why did... Uh, the case afterwards, uh, and making people... Why didn't people, CD make um, him his greatest rival? And healthy why did he make Benny his rival? Hurt and sad. He literally stole Finnegan's bit. Yeah. Well fucking said, Hopsy. Oh, thank you. Uh, that means a lot. I might ramble a lot, but uh, I hope I finally get to the point that I'm trying to say. Please, keep rambling. Uh oh. Why did you decide to become a criminal? Um. He literally stole his bit. Because, um. Uh, very long story. I mean, Huxley just pulled his heart out for you. I'm asking you a question. You want to tell me a very long story? I can tell you why I wanted to be an outlaw before or law. Uh, hold on, Huxley, hold on. Okay. <laughs> I mean, a man's uh, dead now. There's gotta be some type of inkling on reason. I had a friend. He passed away. He had a gift for me that I wanted. The bank was keeping it. The bank said I couldn't get it unless I had next of kin. I asked the law if they could help me. They said no. Said go to the medics. Medics said they couldn't help me. And um, everybody at the bank said they couldn't help me and that they were just gonna liquidate the uh, gift. I mean, honestly, even if he tried so to take him under his wing, even better to make him his enemy. A bank, uh, a bank before, if they could help me. And I got my gift. I've never heard anything more selfish in my entire fucking life. Thanks. You're very much welcome. Well, uh, Ariel, I hope, um, I hope you see the things that, uh, that happened, the, uh, events that unfolded, and you can reflect on them and realize that you can change Ariel your ways. Ariel really fucked over um, the other a, ones. Find a path that huh. can, uh, better yourself and better the people around you. And you'll feel better about yourself doing that. I wonder how they and, even found out Ariel was uh, there. So will everybody else, and uh, the happiness will go around. Thanks. Yeah, of course. All you need is believe in yourself. And if you have friends that can believe in you too, it just makes it uh, that much more easy. <laughs> CD's friends are the worst besides Ron. I mean, the way I see it. Headache. 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 Stop. Man, I was just about to. I had the best thing to say, too. Well, you can still say it. Nah, just lost its moment. 
Ruth, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate your outfit. I That's fucking fine. told you, didn't I? I you did I tell me. I fucking told you. Told you. No, I told him yesterday that he, you were going to say that. Yep. It's you can say it back to me. I'm, I'm, I'm still pretty unsure. No, I love the jacket. That jacket's Rabbit great. was also wearing that jacket. Yeah, I know. Everyone wears that jacket. I, yeah, I, I so you want to know why I like that jacket you're wearing? Why? I like that you can wear that. I always wear that belt. Yeah, yeah. So that, that was my main reason. Yeah, I, that, I might, I might. Act. Isn't there another version of the jacket? Yeah, there, like there is a few different colors. I might, I might. Yeah, there is. I might make one. Are we, are we going to be twinning here? I'm, I might take a different color. I mean, you can take a different color, but we should be wearing the same fucking jacket, won't we? Yeah, true. Kramer, you have to get a certain, Kramer, get a certain one. Uh, shirt tailored too. Okay. <laughs> Wait, which jacket are we? Gonna uh, get? We're going to take Kramer's jacket. My jacket? Wait, sorry. We're going to take Weller's jacket. I just mixed you guys up. Sorry. It is a nice jacket. I'll give you that. <laughs> I like your elbow pads. See, this is why I didn't want to wear my fucking hat. You know, in your case, I think you need knee pads more than elbow. But... You both got blonde hair. <laughs> he is quite literally <laughs> ginger. Are you, you're saying that because actually, you know what's fucked up? That fella that is now dead. It was the same fella that I mixed up for you today. Yeah. <laughs> why are you laughing at that, Graver? That's fucking horrible. What type of scene you're sorry. Own? <laughs> like why you love a man's a man's fucking dead. Right? I'm not laughing at the fact that he's dead. You yes, you are. You were just you were just cackling. Not the the. Fa <laughs> <laughs> Stop laughing. A man's fucking dead, Kramer. Yeah, I'll just readjust those for you. You know, some days I really hate him. Cute. Most people do, Kramer. You know, uh, Ned, but, you know, will you, if I remember correctly, and she, and she must have came in and turned herself in or, or snitched on herself yeah, on sure. accident because Jeez, all the tips, Ned, said three yes. males, one I female. I speak with you. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I might, uh, you know, I actually got to head out after we, uh, get to Cisco. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, you don't. Go away for a few days. And... Oh, hi. Everybody settled. All good. And I think she fucked over the others by doing that. Days, but not by choice. <laughs> <laughs> no way. She fucked over Scarlet. At least. Don't worry, I think it'll be a pleasant conversation. I hope so. Errol's new to crime? Yeah, I mean. Maybe even education. Errol's not even really a criminal. <laughs> oh, God, no. Like, I guess let me put it like this. As soon as they say she is going through something. Well, she is a criminal, Can I be there? but Lewis takes she's like saying, going through some really thing, rough shit. But I feel like she's kind of like in the middle between if she'll go really full law, yeah, like like a legal yeah, she civilian, she or full she outlaw. Uh, no, no, but she's no, going through like no, a no, lot no. of shit I still right now. Once she uh, she came up to me and she just straight up said that I was suspended for five days. Uh, but she was like joking, and I, I don't think I yeah. Ronnie and Ariel like are my two favorites that hang out. The guy was like three weeks. <laughs> that that hang out yeah. with uh, with CD. Well, come here, sing. And Ronnie's by far so my favorite. My second favorite is by far is Ariel, though. though. She came up to me. She said, "Look, give me a badge. I'm suspended for five days." And I just stood there and was like, oh, oh, "Okay." And then Kai, thankfully, God bless our sheriff, uh, started laughing and said, "That's horrible. Why would you do that to him?" And then Lewis started laughing. I did not laugh. I laughed after. Scarlet, Scarlet's also CD's biggest like loyalty. Yeah, I'm, I'm killing her over the smallest in, infraction. Slightly concerned. In front yeah, of him. Be scared about. Well, it's what about primaries right there? What if he shoots me? But if he if he doesn't sharpen up and no, no, that's not true. Uh, and start fo <laughs> following orders better, I'm gonna start going into a cold war with him, and he's not even gonna know it. I can instill fear. If I Anybody want. that I sense has loyalty to him, I'm <laughs> fucking killing to prove a point. If they fuck up. You are my fellow deputy. Exactly, I'm fucking terrified. But Jabass also has, my battle buddy. has an out for Scarlet because she <laughs> roped so Michael. She roped oh, Michael and Jabass baby. said to Rebecca that he would have fucking works. killed her for it. Hey, here, if he did that in front of him. So he's kind of looking, he's looking so, like, to execute her on the first right. excuse he gets. You don't seem too uh, committed to this entire, like, outlaw criminal kind of life. Oh, Weller's picked up on it. How do you know? Weller's I mean, picking up on it. but cooperative from the most part. Jabaz picked up on it within 10 seconds. being cooperative. Well, I mean, a lot of folks would probably kill you for it. No, not at all. 
I'd say you're making a very sensible and wise decision, which would probably save lives and protect people who don't deserve to be hurt. What I'm saying is, in doing that, sometimes you may endanger your own life. You need some? If one person could check the tip line, please. I'll check it. That was a very graceful jump, though, Kramer. Thank you. I just figured since he was talking, he might not want to. I also thought that. By the, like I said, by the end of the story, I hope CD shapes up so there's no more beef between any right members there. of our gang and him. He shapes up, starts to build a reputation, and then executes me in cold blood. But it only will work. Somebody making people drunk. It will literally yeah. only work if he does it, like he shapes up and actually starts to get respect Make on his own. Which, Saab, it likes griefing me too yeah, much anyway, to ever to do, I think. Other conversation. So he's going to get himself killed. I mean, it's just one of those things where... You were doing that puts your own life at risk. Well, technically, the information Sob I gave is, is basically what for what I do to Mantis has already. Been I, I guarantee seen. you, it's it's so it's my bad karma from briefing there. Mantis all these years. So we there should reduce the charges. Another person. Hmm? I'm joking. Well, you're saying right? Let's say you knew. I mean, respect it within in general. Kills. If he shaped up, he'd get a little bit more respect in the West. Just for being him and not for being you know, Jabassa's nephew. Last time I thought someone was gonna die, I uh, cut him free from the train tracks. Ever heard of that? No, I haven't. Quite frankly, it didn't bother me, so that wasn't the question. I disagree. I'm asking for you. Where does that line exactly get drawn in this? I disagree. I think he'll he'll have I mean, people that fear him. And I think some people may respect him in time, but he is literally so bipolar, CD, that I feel like the only person that really, only few people that like him or respect him are like Ronnie and Scarlet. I don't Ariel. know where the line is right now. I'm trying to figure that out. Outside of that, the only people that go near him or talk to him or look out for him do it for Jabaz, not necessarily him. Do you have people you care about in the cross and friends, family? And his word means jack Plenty. shit. That's good. You better find that line before one of them ends up dead before you do. Yeah, well, most of them don't seem to care, so. So you should just go off with them, eh? It's gonna be a spicy ass day if he ever does anything to Georgie, or if he ever does anything to, uh. I was walking. Yeah, let him walk. It's good for the, uh. So, the only other person I can think heart. of that he would do something to that would get him yeah, fucked he'd over is... probably stretch his legs because his butt cheeks might hurt from riding a horse all the time. If, if Jesse Gold came back and he started beef with Jesse, and I told him to stand down and he didn't, and I told him again to what? stand Did down he was hell bent wrong? on it. Nope, nope, it, you're fine. Or tried something. Uh -oh. That's the I only thing I can pick up to. Truth. That you were, Huxley. But he's actually good. better the other okay. day that we got Thank into the you. fight. With uh, with Dechenzos, he's actually better that okay. day. Okay, uh, thank you. you. Roll by the telegram station slowly. So I'll we'll see if it keeps up. That's the issue with CD is, right. like Katy Perry always says, it's hot and then it's cold. Yes, and then no, right? Isn't that what Katy Perry says? Slow enough for you. <laughs> Too slow. I don't know. I, 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 so it, CD is a character that I find hard to follow, not just Jabass. I genuinely find the character hard to follow and understand. Yeah, that's what I think it is. I think he's genuinely, his character is genuinely bipolar or psychotic. I, I, I actually do believe that because I can't make any logic out of that character.
Well, that's the thing, right? You can be straight if you're a straightforward. Uh, how many are we? Are we taking everybody to the island? I guess you we don't need don't. to. I don't. All right. To go. I I was get, I don't mind going because I got to talk to Cash about something. If that's okay. I uh, I need to stay with Cash because he needs. All right. To I'll tell you what. I'll stay in Saint Denis. <laughs> Good lord. I'll stay in Saint. -Denis. I mean, we could all just go. <laughs> it doesn't really. Matter. <laughs> I mean, you, you might, you might as well just go. All right. Fuck it. Wait. Um. I can't swim. You could do it. Just use your legs. Uh, yeah. If we can't back it up, I can help her. Makes you think I can't back it up. Look at that. I'm a master shipman. Get you in. could do it from yep. there. It's not that far. Oh my god. Sorry. Actually, pull her up. I literally can't. Here. <laughs> Here. Grab my oh, hand. I... Never mind. It's fucking rope. Ow! There you go. You just gotta tell yourself you're a fish, and then you can swim. <laughs> Except, uh, my friend Kane told me, uh, after being in the water, you should change your socks so you don't get an infection. Hmm. You walk around with wet socks? Well, I was until, uh, I realized I should probably change it after Kane told me he get an infection. Uh, okay. it, my socks would go squish squash when do I walked. You, do you not carry four pairs of socks minimum with you at all times? Who does that? And underwear, me. Yeah, and uh, head, feet, and what, what, what's the saying? But head, feet... God damn it, I can't remember. No, I just run to a, a tailor or a changing room. Oh, that's what it is. Head, feet, neck, balls, extra socks will save them all. Oh. No? Nobody? Random question. Is it weird to bathe with socks on? Yes. Yeah. I Is think it's like weird to sleep with socks on. Boat? Me too. But yes for everybody. Cause you guys know fucking Jimothy bathes with his socks on. It's so fucking weird. How do you wash your feet? It's so weird. I don't wanna know, really. Do you wash them like through the sock? Ask him. I, I don't think CD I don't, cares. I don't even know anybody. if I want to know the answer, to be honest. <laughs> I think CD well, I cares that's for one himself, and that's it. Socks. How would you scroll? Well, well, that doesn't really clean your socks. He said here and there that he cares for Jabaz, but I don't think he does. Inside the sock, honestly. Even oh. though you do scrub it with your socks. On. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. How did we get on this conversation? Okay, okay. Science question. It's my fault again. Science question. I really need to know this, by the way. Is your second toe, the one next to your big toe, longer than your big toe? This is a science question. I have nothing. I don't have- I don't like feet, okay? Just- just a science question, please. I, I mean, I don't know. My- my foot is in my boot. <laughs> uh, isn't it possible that everyone's is different? Because, uh, some people have longer toes than others. Apparently, normal people have it, like, the big toe is the longest and then everything else slopes down. Oh. You need help finding the entrance? I don't pay attention to my feet that much. Me neither. Yeah, I, I just I, I feel like he's gonna die on the water. It's really pretty. I feel like he's gonna get himself killed. I uh, I hope if he ever decides to execute Jabez, I if he pulled a gun on me and said he's gonna kill me, I would challenge him to a duel. And I think that would be so fucking spicy to challenge him to a duel if he tries to kill me. Holy cow, you got really close. 
I think he's just having fun. Oh. But could you imagine that shit? He pulls a he pulls a gun on Jabass. Home sweet home. Okay, I'll <laughs> okay, everybody go have lunch. He was asked into the group because the Dicenzos were gonna hit him. And we wanted to go to war with the Dicenzos anyway. And he wanted to build the West. He, I feel like he's also changed his opinion so much because originally CD wanted to join but forgot to ask and then also wanted to prove himself then come out west but then just ended up coming out west so I feel like he's definitely changed his opinion CD I I personally am hoping for either two things I I'm hoping for him to ride with us and sharpen up and uh, and shape up and get better and then like execute Jabaz or uh or I might push him uh I might I might push him to start the little bastards whenever we have 10 people and, and go full Dicenzos. Uh, we'll have group God. one ran by Jabaz and we'll have group yeah, two ran by Charles. I still like your outfit. Two weeks on that deal. That's a big one. Wait, what was, it? What was that? Uh, I still oh, like your outfit. On, you added on a lot of stuff. Thank you. Uh, hey, mini <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, you're also a big CD simp, okay? He's a wheeler and dealer. Wait, is that term not allowed anymore? It, he is. Here. Why, why, we why go is that here term so not allowed, by the way? Processing works. Okay, yeah. You can at least I don't understand. Yeah, I'm shutting my lips again. So your actual charges today are... Um, <coughs> three counts of robbery. Insulting? Uh, one count of robbery. Bro, how is officer. that insulting? <coughs> like... One count of participation. It's about context? Out. Okay, I see. I mean, I guess it's somewhat Damn insulting, it, I but... Take it, but out of fucking snipping in that goddamn newspaper article. Oh well. It's like saying somebody's a fanboy. Right? I mean, unless I'm wrong, I guess. I'm only gonna push for that if he shapes up and uh, and we have 10 people I'm gonna push for him to do it But until then I I, uh, I, I I'm keeping him on Jabez on my group If he wants out I'm telling him there's only one way out nephew and then shoot him in the head I don't want MF to ride with anybody man Is there? I mean, I guess. What are you thinking? What do you mean? What are you thinking? About? Is that your thinking pose? I don't know. No, just no, I, just, I just stand like this. I'm kind of a bit fucking terrified about what Cash is going to talk to me about. What, what, what does he have to talk to you about? I have no idea. I'm either getting in trouble. Or something. Or is he going to talk to me about getting senior? Well, have you done anything that is super bad? I mean, define super bad. <laughs> have you done anything like, that you think warrants Cash talking to you about? Not particularly, although... Well, then it's probably the latter. I fucking hope so. I think, I just think MF I fits... I myself slipping a bit recently. You know, too many folk. I don't know. 
just being fucking idiots is a better word for it. How you doing, Prophet? Yeah. Prophet? Yeah. You're in Cisco? Well, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, I turned myself in today. I did hear about this. What happened? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I had, uh, I had been trying to apply for law, you know, and I, unfortunately, uh, they had heard about, uh, things that I'd done. I guess, uh, I told the wrong person and maybe they sent in a tip or something. I don't know, but. I was told if I were to have any chance, you know, to redeem myself, that I would have to spend time, you know. Oh fuck! So uh, I turned myself in. Today. Also, low key, mm -hmm. another reason I want CD in the group is I want to go scorched earth on Jabez uh, and start surprised. declaring war yeah. on a lot of groups. How kind everybody! Would and be. I think I CD mean, being with me for that would be fucking the first fantastic. Time they'd law has been you know truly kind to me since i've been here in the crossing other than weller and uh and coyote you know prophet i think honestly you just got a bad rap from the start i think with that situation you're involved in which resulted in some criminal charges i think basing the entire law off that was a bit foolish if i may say so no disrespect intended but i think if you found that you would make the law in a different situation probably realize how kind a, a lot of them are and the fact that you're saying that I'm a kind one when I know damn well there's more folk in the department who are a better person than I am just shows well, me that you might be uh, a little bit biased in a way and I don't well, blame I'm you for being so on the way I'm treated you know for sure but that's what I mean those uh, yeah that way that you were I'm... treated in that certain situation you've got to understand where they're coming from it, it does shatter my heart that you obviously you know felt that way and I'm glad now that you've seen, uh, you're not picking, you know, the first card off the deck and you're actually seeing the folk for how they are that you're saying that. They were like that all along. It's just you were in the wrong place at the wrong time doing a thing which they perceived as wrong. Unfortunately, you were treated a bit differently than how you should have been. It happens. Yeah. I mean, that in that situation, from if I'm remembering correctly, because I, I, I was in the area that day, that situation was not black and white, like most things in this world. It was gray. It and was, it was very gray. It was a very confusing situation for the deputies present. Myself was very confused by all of it as well. And it, mm -hmm. it, it, there was like two situations happening at once. There was confusion. Um, you know. I, well, I'm, I'm not just talking about that situation, but yeah. Uh, okay, fair. That, that was... That was a, an unfortunate situation, and and I can agree that uh, you know that both sides had some some faults, and mine were probably more than than y'all's. But um, there were you know bad circumstances, and and the communication between us and them, you know, us and you guys, were were uh, a little blurred. So. I can see how things went the way they did, and I, and I'm not here to argue on all that. So, uh, absolutely, Look, Prophet. I heard what you confessed to. I heard all the details and stuff like that. And funnily enough, it actually just conjoins in my conversation with a senior deputy. I think a man, right, once he uh, realizes how his convictions have led him astray and makes an effort to do better, as long as you're making an effort, those convictions. I don't mean much. The biggest thing is understand that obviously with those convictions that you carried for how many years and things which might have happened in the past, you will be looked at sideways. You might get teased a little bit. You might get treated a little bit differently. Right? But what makes a man or what makes a human being is taking that all in, rising above it, and doing their fucking job. Yeah, I know. And I understand that. But I just... You know, I want to better my life, and I figured this was uh, the best way I could do it. And uh, if I had to spend time here to do it, you know, I figured that's only fair. Absolutely. I will say, Prophet, that winning the badge it ain't exactly about bettering your life, unfortunately. 
it's a sad reality. But you do good, but that doesn't mean your life is going to be any better. Sometimes you might find that you're doing it for the betterment of others. Yeah. So as long as you're willing to take that on board, I look forward to uh, you carrying those convictions, leaving them uh, in a rest in place, and then hopefully joining the Get Out program one day. Yeah, absolutely. Uh-huh. All right. I think sometimes you need me for uh, I think sometimes people forget that uh, good people can make wrong decisions, and you know what is legal isn't always exactly what is right. So sometimes people can do what might be the right decision, but it might technically be illegal. And sometimes you just gotta Good realize that, that shit can happen, and mistakes can happen, and we need to understand that. And if somebody's going out of their way to prove that they actually want to make a difference, they're accepting that they have made wrong decisions, and they want to improve themselves, and they, they, they want to help out society, they want to help out people, then they should be given that chance, in my opinion. I appreciate that. I do. Vigilantism is a perfect example. Right. You know, you might cop a vigilantism charge for defending someone which you care about, or, you know, you might uh, get involved in a situation which you might try and protect other people, but of doing so might put yourself uh, through criminal charges and process. And, and while nine times out of ten when I'm charging someone with vigilantism, I agree with what they've done on a fundamental level, the, the problem stems from the fact that while they're doing the right thing, it is against the law, and we're going to enforce it. It's black and white. Yeah, I, I, under, I understand that completely. You know, uh, sometimes, uh, you know, the things that you feel are right and, and may even be right at the moment uh, are not right in the eyes of the law, and I understand that. Mm-hmm. The reason why is because sometimes it can be abused or taken advantage of. I've had many... Uh, a folk that I've arrested uh, after they've had a gunfight and they've tried to uh, claim that, you know, vigilantism or something like that, when I know full well that they were doing nothing to uh, diffuse or non-antagonize the situation, all that kind of stuff. It's it's a blurry world sometimes when you you charge folk. But I'm sure, you know, once you go through this process and hopefully become a cadet, you'll start to understand it. I'm glad that you're seeing how kind law can be. All right? Oh, yeah. Even... uh... And, and, uh, by the way, uh, thank you, Finnegan. I appreciate that. Oh yeah, of course. But by the way, uh, I mean, I mean, even a person I, I never thought would be kind to me were kind to me today. Uh, uh, Sheriff Malone <laughs> uh, really uh, surprised me. Mm-hmm. I the last did. time I talked to him, uh, he had some, you know, coarse words with me, and, and and I can understand it, you know, it being the conversation and everything. But uh, today, it were like he just forgot about it, and he, and he said a, a, a lot of kind things to me, and it, it really surprised me. And yeah, what up, Brazil? You know, every single lawman I talked to today. Uh, has been you ready? Has been real nice. I, they're finishing up a conversation. I just want to thank y'all. Oh shit, that's profit. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I got the get going profit, but you know. Okay. Are you Jews and see you on the outside, eh? Hey? All right. No, I appreciate right. it, everybody. No worries. Stay safe in here. Uh, I'll pray with the gods too. Bye, profit. Uh, I'll see you soon. You keep your head up, okay? Okay. Uh, I, I appreciate it, Phoenix. Yeah. It, it, yeah. Anyway, we'll get that fish as soon as you get out, okay? Hey, absolutely. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. Mm-hmm. Hey, All right. Prophet. See you Sheriff soon. Cash, how you doing? I'm doing fine. Um, I didn't realize that was you at first. My apologies. Um, oh, no worries. I did read that report earlier. Um, I wish you the best of luck while you're here. No, I appreciate it. No. You're doing the right thing. Thank you, Sheriff Cash. All right, well, I'm sure we'll be seeing you as we come in and out. Mm-hmm, yeah. Keep your head down, and uh, if you need anything, uh, you know, be sure to let us know if the guards can't accommodate. Absolutely. I appreciate all the uh, the kindness today. I'm, I was actually very surprised with what I told them, and they still found it in their heart to be kind to me. Mm-hmm. Well, we certainly uh, 
I ain't going to push away someone trying to do the right thing and change their life. And uh, As long as you continue on that path, uh, you'll have supporters, I'm sure. I appreciate it. Uh -huh. All right. Well, you take care of yourself. We'll see you soon. You as well. You as well. Take care of yourself. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, I never got the chance to meet him, but I hear good things. I gotta go, though, but, uh, remember that deal. Okay. I'm working on that stance, Ruth. Perfect. Hey, yeah, uh, Cash. Yeah, what do you got for me? Uh, I was gonna say, uh, it don't have to be tonight if you're going to sleep soon, because I was thinking about going to sleep, but, uh, I've been wanting to talk to a sheriff about, um, some recommendations for some new charges, possibly. These doors are terrible. Uh, new charges. All right. Sure. I, I had um, some ideas of stuff that have been fit in situations, and they've occurred a couple times, and I just wanted to run it by somebody. All right. All right. Um, uh, there's some other stuff too, so that's why I said it. it's probably a lot, so it don't have to be tonight if you gotta talk to Weller, because I was thinking about going to sleep soon, but, uh, I, uh, I wanted to talk to you about it specifically. Get your opinion. Okay. Well, a conversation like that, I reckon, could go a good part of an hour. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It could probably be a while, so that's why, uh, we could do it another day. One of these days I catch you. Okay. Um, tomorrow's Friday. This weekend, then, um, or tomorrow Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. Do y'all know what time, what day it is? Am I going crazy right now? I think it's, I think it's, it's Friday. Tomorrow's Friday. Yeah, yeah. Friday. Yeah. Yeah. Never ask you Australian what day it is. <laughs> yeah, I, I would know better. Thank you, sir. It's already Friday today, ain't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Might be busy tomorrow, but um, I'll find you, uh, you know, this weekend. Least, All right. I'm sure. Sounds good. So I have a feeling I know what this meeting is about. All right. Go ahead, Tim. No, nah, I don't want to say it out there. No, go on. Why not? Why are you embarrassed? Okay. No. I, actually, yeah, I kind of am because I lied to you. You did? I think that's... I, don't know I did. Is. And if you don't know what it's about, then we'll have a conversation about it. Once we mm -hmm. get back to the shores. Is yeah, that what this is about? Oh, well, it's something I wanted to tell you anyway. I don't know how to spell either, bro. Okay. Fuck it. Okay. I don't know how well, then I guess either. we'll talk about Jeez, my arms are already cramping. How do you do this so long, Ruth? Uh, lots of practice. Yeah, I'm gonna need to practice more. That's all I got in me. Ow. Do you like... Hey, actually, how, how well do you know how to shoot? Me? Mm -hmm. I'm pretty good at shooting. I'm not the best That's in the good. world, but uh, I'm decent. I'm good. decent at... Uh, I can shoot birds off the... Uh, in the sky, horseback. I would say that's pretty well good then. Okay. I mean, Kramer knows how to shoot fellow deputies from the right next room, so you don't sound Oh. Like... Yeah, I heard about that. Uh, I think he <laughs> shot Brooks the other day. Okay, it's such a hell. shame. The deputy just fell off the boat. And <laughs> couldn't be paid. Oh, no, well, that's good to hear. You guys just need to kiss and make up. You guys are always fighting like siblings. Oh, you yeah, you don't get it. No, you'll no, get I, used to it. We're not. This is a real fighting. Oh. Yeah, this is not real fighting. I don't think we've ever had a real fight. Not, yeah, not real fighting. You would know too, if it was real fighting. It's too submissive. Excuse you? Jesus! Oh! <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs>
All right, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna walk to uh, I'm gonna walk to the gun store because I want to finish this weapon off, and then uh, I'm probably gonna go to sleep. Well, that's not finished. Yeah, no. I was about to say. What is finished? Okay, I, I I requested the wrong metal. Oh. Oh, uh, you want gold? Not gonna lie, I saw Ruth and went, God damn it. It's Why, Johnny? Not gold, but looks like gold. Dude, Johnny, I was so excited. It's a little oh. bit brighter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was so excited to, uh, I really want to get, uh, I was going to perma my horse if oh, I got well, uh, it. Yeah, no problem. Appreciate the company. Sorry we didn't get to talk. Oh, it's okay. I, I figured having people come out. I have a, uh, I have a it's really special too. horse to me yeah, on yeah. Ruth, and yeah, that standoff is really nice. good. I, if, if I was gonna perma my horse, and then I was gonna do a coma or uh, do a roll for perma. Appreciate I love the uh, intense standoffs, oh, yeah. like that. Yeah, what, Fudge what exactly is happened? the second most special horse I nothing. have. There was, there was nothing fundamentally wrong with it. It's just looking. I'm not. I'm right tempted to perma Sheriff Carter's horse to the uh, the Lobos chat. You know if the Del Lobos come after Ruth. Because they killed Sheriff yeah. Carter, so yeah, I think it would be really yeah. fitting if Ares died to the Lobos too. Did you have multiple people telling people what to do? No, but we kind of. I mean, we had two sheriffs and three senior deputies are, there. I think. Are yeah. you talking about? You're talking about earlier today? Yeah. yeah. It was. Uh, it was just, what was that? It was. It was just that wasn't really like a clear kind. I thought of, like you shushed me. <laughs> No, no, I didn't. Show. I was okay. just thinking of what to, exactly how to word it. <laughs> yeah, it, it 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 wasn't really on anybody. It was like, uh, it was one of those things where everything's very hectic. A lot of information's getting shouted, and then some people are just kind of go 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 instead of co communicating. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I'm probably pretty go go go, but I actually I sidelined myself and kind of just go 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 to someone else. Did. That was the end you of summers, dude. That would have been so you, spicy. Or at least usually. The only time that I actually felt that you could have done better was quite literally when I shot Valentine. I didn't. Dude, know I I hope when you went that and you got uh, shot, I, I hope no that idea. you end up so, getting Malone that's, that's on 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 him. Situation as well. Be like, because uh, was, that was kind of a mixed one as well. Right? Ruth has Even become Malone's kinda, senior deputy. I mean, hell, I was telling you and I've been around him so much, and I really want to be there if uh, yeah, we if know. we get outnumbered yeah, by you know. and your own. Know that. Oh, I don't. Do I don't see? remember that. <laughs> I fucking remember it. Ruth did it I'm sure well. you do. If I was telling you, I'm listening. But, but that's I'm sure what I mean. I did it's, say that. It's, it's one of those things. Why the reason why someone needs to do shit like that is for the people who don't know. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. There were people. There were there were people today who I'm sure knew what was going on, but then there was a, a few people. Who, I mean, we had a brand new spanking deputy there for us. He was probably fucking shitting a brick. Yeah, it's just those situations where you got like eight people. You just need one precise person to pull the shots. Dude, Johnny, there is so miscommunication. I think, I think if you're leading, right? This is what we're we're talking about it right now. Lead, there is so much leads, miscommunication and so many people that, like speaking over per somebody leading. It became so I'm hectic, in a man. Or anything like that. I'll always make sure that if I'm leading, I'm leading. Yeah, I, I think more people need to get into a habit of if somebody's leading. You, you know, uh, say, hey, give out the information and let them make the call. Yeah. That's alright. There's always room for improvement. Yeah, exactly. I mean, he got fucking lucky. If we hadn't been as... I don't want to say disorganized. If we hadn't been as kind of kerfuffled as we were, you know, yeah, we would have got him. I mean, between the horse getting shot right Dude. at the start... Johnny, the war was. With, the have you seen any of the scenes us with the, us and the Dicenzos in the Second War? Horse. I feel like you would have I mean, loved what we did to the Dicenzos last like night. Like we came into Saint Denis with six torches at so nighttime, really know, scared them from the manor. Then I went onto the manor and stood with my hands behind my back and had two torches next to what me through the night. It was talking to Law. At the house, and then also got Taipan and did a business deal with them in their own office. <laughs> and I was hoping Law would bring like 10 Law, 12 Law. Just a few weeks previous, I thought they would. Execution, you and me scoured those fucking rooftops to tactically compare. Yeah, so I knew exactly. Well. Yeah, I knew exactly what rooftops he was gonna go up to. 
So I called her, I said, let's go up to this diamond right, because it gives us 360 cover, and we'll meet him right in the middle. So me, Cleo, and Brooks went up, cleared the, uh, the roof. And Honestly. then he sat there for ages. And I, I goaded him. I baited him in. I said, come on, he's right there. Go talk to him. You know, we're just waiting up here. So and the thunder the with the Viking music? Malone. And yeah. then his friends who have been waiting in the rooftops must have wondered what he was doing moving so close. They revealed themselves to me and Brooks. They then fled, started shooting at the fucking law. Law went to uh, push on. And I said not to because there was a fucking goddamn two people waiting on the rooftop. And then me and Brooks, and, me and Brooks were just basically fucking... You know, laying rounds are normal. And uh, they fled. One of them got downed. And it was just chaos, really. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to bed. You still have a good night. Yeah. You have a wonderful rest of your night. That was very good. I looked here. Hey, I'm going to head to bed. You both have a good night, okay? Alright, good night, Ruth. Alright. Take care of yourself. Thank you as well. Safe. Yep, you stay safe, too. Thank you. to say hey yeah i hope uh, i hope we get some dialogue role play on ruth and uh and summers man i really do i'll put on some viking music just because i'm swapping a jabass after this anyway Jabass is dead, no? <laughs> no, but he's he's critically wounded. Well, not critically wounded, but wounded hard. And sick. Soon to be. Oh my god, chat. Holy shit. Johnny's saying it would have been a night of permas and it could have been the end of summers. Could you imagine it? Bro, could you imagine if Ruth was involved in Summer's last stand and executed Robbie Gold? Holy shit, man. Ruth would have some actual legends under his belt and in being involved in, in their deaths. That would be insane. And he caught Boone, which led to the execution of Boone. He got Boone executed, basically. Jesus Christ. Dude, I was ready. Dude, I really hope... I, I hope you go for Malone again, too. I know how long you've been going after him, because Malone tells Ruth about it all the time. Oh, my God. Time to work on my the gun Monroe left me now. I'm actually curious. That looks so off. This part looks so off. Just keep it like this. It's fine. Dude, do you see how much better it looks on the barrel? On that one? That's the only one that it looks better on. Every other one, it looks kind of weak on.
We'll do this for now, and then if we want to switch the engravings, we could always switch it. Dude, they just look so pretty, man. You've got Mad Dog and Mad Lad for Monroe. My Monroe weapon set now is complete. Molly's weapon set's complete. Yeah, Lancaster's look so small, man. Alright. Fuck it, I'm gonna relog here for the night. I'm so glad it takes you off duty automatically, too. I'm gonna take a, a, pi uh, a piss real quick. Looks robbable? All my guns do, but I have not been robbed yet. Since deputy. I'm gonna take a piss. I'm gonna put on a song for Jabass intro. Let's see what we want to do.
I hold my gun and do the injured stance. Damn it, bro. You know how sick that would look? I remember the Fort Mercer standoff. See, it's something about doing medical over there. Maybe they're inside? Could be upstairs, technically, too. I see Rebecca's horse, so I'm assuming that she's here. This is more of a banister. up there. I think it's a plant. I think I'm tripping. I've been tripping all day, to be fair. Yeah, I'm tripping. Ragdoll there before you guys try to say that it was me that did that on accident. my chest in case they're not in here because I don't feel like having to redo it when I go outside lazy Pretty sure they're still here. Is even Josie awake? Today's the day I start to piss Rebecca off again. Let me see what my conditions are. Looks a bit pale. Let me add. Do 
this. Well, I mean, I guess it looks a bit pale. It's already in kind of appearance. I don't know what else. Hmm. Fatigue's pretty good, right? Could be carried easily by a woman. That way, any time that Josie and and Irene or Josie and Rebecca go to carry me, they can't. They can't. I I, I power game them, so they can't. So they can't power game me. Oh my god. I'm too close, please. We're doing surgery. Oh my god, they killed Aurora. They decapitated her and cut her arm off.
I didn't expect me to walk into an execution bastard style. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna be honest, chat. If I ever perma CD, I might use that to push Jabass fully into the the actual cold brutal Jabass. I uh, if I have a tomahawk, I might grab his hair on his. If he's dead, I'm gonna grab him by his head and I'm gonna start chopping his neck until his head comes off. Especially if he tries to betray Jabass. I think I'd only do that if he ever tried to betray Jabass, though. Jeez, this Jabass guy means business. Could you imagine poor James's reaction? Where's so? Where's the nephew? Where's our nephew? And I just go. You see that skull on that stick over there? That's his. That that's our nephew. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god, carrying his skull around full Hamlet style? Bro, imagine I just carried his skull. James, you want to meet the nephew? <laughs> Holy shit.
I'm just chilling, chat. Waiting for them to finish their surgery. Chat, we're 51 away from 1K subs. And I tier 1 is Primers or Oilers. If it takes too long, I might just end and have a... I guess, like, do it a little bit off-stream, maybe. If I'm sitting here too long. Sanny with the five bomb. We're 46 away from 1K subs. <laughs> Got a little job for you. You hear me? Yeah, I said hey. Oh, I didn't hear you. We uh, just finished up. Everything looks like it's in place, so she'll need time, but. She awake? Yeah, she just woke up. She's gonna need a few minutes. Go ahead. How are you feeling? I don't feel the greatest. <coughs> but be all right. Yeah, you look like shit. Am I? Yeah. yeah. Um, should probably give you something. How's your chest feeling? Yeah, I feel sore. Okay. Shit. All right, I'll let her know. Okay. <sighs> Medic cadet who can't touch active situations. So Josie to the rescue. <laughs> Medic Josie with the. Hey, Rebecca, what do I do for this? <laughs> hey. 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 Oh, she looks, she looks. You okay? <laughs> hurt. I don't feel too great. How about you? Hey, chicken. <laughs> Um, all right, let me clean myself off a little bit and then I'll come and try to fix you, okay? I got something for you, Nest. All right. Okay. Yeah. Am I good to go talk to her? Yeah, yeah, you're fine. She's gonna feel groggy and in a lot of pain. Her surgery was far more intrusive than yours. It was bad. Are you okay? No, I might get in there, I guess. Good. How are you? I hurt a lot. It hurts. I'll be fine. Sure you're gonna be all right. Yeah. Okay. 
use my hand again, maybe. Yeah, I, I do. I do the same thing. Yeah, we at least able to get medicated. No morphine. What was that? No morphine. Got some aspirin. <laughs> I didn't take morphine from on either. I didn't expect it to hurt so much. Yeah, it was some of the worst pain I felt in my hand. I feel when the snow's coming though. She put pins in a plate in. Yeah. She dug around in there. This is so much pain. She just shaved bone. I thought she uh I thought she knocked you out. Yeah. Chloroform. I didn't have that option. I didn't do anything for my eye surgery, but it's because I had to do that and sink to knee in the middle of a war. Just glad it's over. Yeah. How are you feeling? I feel like shit. You look like shit. Yeah. Hmm. She keep a close eye on you. What was that? Is she keeping a close eye on you? Make sure you don't get sicker. Uh, yeah, Rebecca's. <coughs> Rebecca's gonna come over. She's. Taking care of some stuff and getting some stuff, I guess, for me. Okay. Here she comes. You should sit. Which hand is it? My left. Don't dip your fingers in that place. say anything about shooting the bull. <laughs> All right, I want you to breathe the fumes of this water for a while, please. So just the... <laughs> no, I was just going to breathe the fumes. I don't want him to breathe <sighs> the water. <laughs> okay. It's not easy to breathe, though. No, I know, but the, the steam will actually help clear your lungs a little bit, okay? Clear your sinuses with that bit. In the meantime, I'm gonna go make a paste, okay? <laughs> I'd be so lazy. Alright. <coughs> okay, do it in intervals. If it gets too rough, you can come up <laughs> and so breathe some normal air for a bit, okay? <coughs> okay. Don't get too close to it. Alright. Alright.
What happened to everybody else? I don't know. Law's been hanging out in Armadillo lately. be on your guard if you go down there. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter for you. Yeah, I'll go down there. If they try anything, I'm just gonna put a bullet in their head. You need to stop standing in the open. We tried to cover you, but we didn't have a chance. I should have known it was coming. It started raining. And there's no thunder. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, that's enough of that. No reason that she's all the way <coughs> over there. I don't know. Alright, next nasty thing you need to do is gargle some salt water. This is distilled water. I've added some salt to it. I need to gargle it and spit. Gargle, spit four times, okay? Four times? <laughs> I can't do that four times. I was gonna do it once. I was gonna do a plus no, sound four for times. <laughs> I just don't have to do that. Should I put your throat? R really? <laughs> yes, really. Gargle spit four times. What? I gotta spit? Uh, yes, it's salt water. You don't want to swallow that. It's nasty. One man's trash, another man's trash. <laughs> No, plus the point is, it will help with your cough, so please. Help you get some of that phlegm and nasty gunk from your throat out of your system. Oh my god. God damn it, man. This is disgusting. Rebecca's orders. Chop chop. Gargle spit, gargle spit. Still don't hear you gargling. I'm trying to get prepared. I don't like gar... I don't like gargling. Oh. Okay. I'm not. <laughs> I can't say that line with a straight face. I was gonna say I'm not the gargler. I'm the one that makes gargle. <laughs> okay. This is gonna be. This time, this is gonna be. It. You, I, I'm, 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 a, I'm actually tempted to commit to the bit. I grabbed. I've got a cup here. I can commit to the bit. I can technically commit to the role play. By your reaction, apparently you're a swallower, not a spitter. Yeah, who don't swallow water? I think you're supposed to gargle for a little longer. What do you mean, a little longer? It should be like, I don't know, three seconds or something. <laughs> Rebecca? Yeah? Can you time my gargling? T time I said gargling? it was too short. Uh, all right. Can you just tell me when I'm fine to stop gargling? Okay. You ready? <coughs> I'm ready.
Yeah, that's fine. You can spit. <laughs> God! Why do I have to do this roleplay? I'm getting power Have you games. done that four times? I've done it twice. <laughs> First one was barely a gargle. It I don't counts. Think it, counts. <laughs> it counts. All right, two more times then. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Maybe Josie wants to be here for this. That was longer than the first one that's, and that's, the second that's one. That's good. Hey, Josie, do you want to come here and hear the last gargle? No reaction. I'm going to see what You need to get closer, I think. You think? Okay. Hey, Josie. <laughs> We're having your bass gargle salt water. Do you want to come listen? <laughs> <laughs> He's got one last gargle. Okay. All right. Yep. Really? Okay. Where's right, CD to start to killing these the people, man? the last gargle and make it better than all the rest. I don't... I'm just going to gargle it. I don't care how it sounds. It needs to be the best gargle any of us have ever fucking heard. That's right. It gotten better each time, so here's the finale. Oh, the spit! Oh. Yeah, well, you gotta spit it out. He had salt water. He doesn't want to swallow that. Okay. Good job. <laughs> well then. Well then. What does that do? Next, you're gonna tell me that was just a drink. <laughs> No, I told you. It's to clear your throat from all the mucus and phlegm right, and shit that you're right. coughing up. Get it out of your system. <sighs> there you go. And some tea. This is turmeric, fever few, and ginger. It's got Does antibiotic properties. Coffee? It should help against fever. I want coffee. Give me a coffee, so I can do the animation. And, and there's your hand. Enjoy. And the last thing I'm gonna give you is a cream that you can rub on your own chest to try to help alleviate some chest pain, okay? Okay. But you're gonna have to give me a moment to prepare it, okay? Alright. Alright, so in the meantime, just enjoy your tea. <sighs> Never doing that again. She tells you I have to. Not even once. Hey, I mean, if I've got to gargle salt it. water again, just let me die. Oh, it's not that bad. Right, you best get better from your sickness then. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell am I even sick with? Uh, my guess a really bad cold or potentially a start of pneumonia and if we don't beat it sooner rather than later it could be really bad is it contagious no it's not contagious okay, okay. can we make it contagious okay no all right but you need to make sure you stay warm how have we not thought about this thought about what what if we just sacrificed one of us, I vote not it, to get a contagious, like, disease, and then send it to St. Denis? <laughs> Sign me up. Uh, because people who go to St. Denis 
for people like Taipan who likes to come out west and mine. Got a point. Uh, okay. Yeah, for now. I'll Just think keep them in the way. city, man. Look at Dan. No one gets out. Is this where an arranged marriage comes in? Get sick, make somebody marry into the family, lock them in the house together. You at least feeling better today? Or worse? I'd be better after that gargling. I don't even know what fucking day it is. This is the first time yeah. I've been awake. What do you remember? <laughs> I remember the rain. Oh shit. That's it. I guess you have been out this whole time. You're burning up some pretty bad. Alright. Got rid of this in your chest before you go to bed. It's not gonna smell fun because it's a mixture of garlic and honey and tea tree and peppermint so it's a very confusing smell but it does alleviate chest pain and should also help with your breathing what the fuck do i do with this just rub it on your chest before you go to bed why is it in a jar because it's a cream am i supposed to eat it no, you're supposed to rub it on your chest before you go to bed. Are you not listening? I, I am. I just, why is it in a jar if I ain't supposed to eat it? It's a container. Because you're supposed to <laughs> put your fingers in there, grab a dollop, and rub it all over yourself. But just your chest. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> now you <laughs> I'm gonna just put it on, like, whatever I sleep on. No, you're supposed okay. to put it on your chest. To okay. help with your chest pain and help with your chest issues. What about the throat? No, your throat is what the gargling is for. No, oh, okay. And what the tea is for. Are you not listening when I'm telling you things? No, I, I am. I just am confused. You said, well, you first, first of all, okay. You yeah. give me a jar and you expect me not to eat from the jar? Uh, yeah, because it's not a jar of jam. Take a nice whiff of it and see if you want to eat it. Trust me, you're not going to want to eat that. You probably still would just because you said that. No, no, it's a very confusing smell. Peppermint and tea tree <laughs> together. Return to season one. Yeah, and garlic. fucking garlic. And honey. Yeah, that doesn't. Ooh. And then this animal fat in there to help it become like more creamy. Ew. Trust me, you're, you're not gonna wanna uh -huh. eat that at all. It happens if you did eat it. I right, mean, hypothetically. You'd probably think it's disgusting and spit it out. That's what would happen. Okay. But it wouldn't kill the person that ate it? No, no, it wouldn't kill it. Anyone. I mean, it might kill your taste buds, but that's it. Uh, if I need to wear warm clothes, then uh, it might be best to go to Tumbleweed if I can get a ride from somebody. Yeah, yeah you need to stay fucking warm as fuck. Because sure. you're gonna sweat this bitch away. 
I'm gonna sweat it away. Yup. I can't stop sweating, but I don't like it. Well, that's how you get rid of it. You sweat it away. I prefer the cold. <laughs> no. Do you know why you're sweating? It's because that's how your body gets rid of it. So your body's trying to get rid of it. But every time you're trying to cool yourself off, <laughs> you're working against your body and getting rid of it. So, sweat it out. Just drink lots and lots of water, lots of fluids, lots of tea, and sweat it out. The... Okay. Well, just the heat bothers me. The cold's never bothered me anyway. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're just gonna have to let it go. <laughs> Why let it go? You're just gonna not hold yourself back anymore. <laughs> Sweat it out. So you want me to let it go? Just yep. let it go. Let it go. So, do you want me to like turn away and slam the door? Only if you're leaving the cold behind. Or can we let the storm rage on? <laughs> I mean, we're still at war, right? So yeah, it will be. Alright, good. <laughs> And hey, when you're feeling a little bit better, maybe we can build a snowman. Fuck no, I'll kill it. <laughs> it doesn't kill have to be a snowman. snowman. Yeah. Yeah, it's just fair. We can make a castle in the snow. How about that? But first, you need to stay warm and sweat it out, yeah? Okay. Alright. Plus, Aurora needs to stay warm, too. Because it's better for her hand. No corset? No corset for a while, please. What about me? <laughs> you can play one. Uh, no, he needs to stay warm too. No corset for you oh. either. What if I get like a, a fuzzy corset? No. <laughs> Alright. No bare chest. You gotta stay warm. But what, okay. if, but what if? Here the only at. way I'd yeah. allow a bear chest is yeah. if it's actually furry, like a bear. Damn it. I was gonna say, what if I carry the torch next to me bear chested? No. Okay. It's not enough. You need to stay warm and sweat this out. Alright, what if I laid on a campfire bear chest? And burn yourself? No. That. Jesus. You're basically just cooking yourself at that point, do you, okay? You would rather lay on a fire than wear a fucking shirt? Under the right circumstances. I guess. <laughs> Alright. And I'm assuming I can't shoot anything? Like, I can't shoot the, ch the pain away? I can't... Let me ask you something. I can't if shoot I had, the jar? If I had <laughs> chest pains... Yeah. <laughs> Would you allow me to shoot myself in the chest? Well, of course not. Okay. So you think we're going to suggest that you should shoot your chest? Well, no, but if I shot the jar while it was the near my chest... The jar is there to help you. Are you... are you okay? What do you have against jars? What's wrong with jar? Okay. Would you prefer Fine, a little tin I'll can? Make it, yeah, I'll make it in a tin. Do you want me to move it over to a tin? Yeah, can it be like silver, though? A silver tin, yeah, yeah. I could do that. And could you do? Yes. So needy. Could you? So needy. Could you get like a? Could you get like a black skull engraved into the tin? Oh my lord! <laughs> Asking for an awful lot. Do you want me to? Give me a jar. Come on. Oh, I thought you were okay. So 
<laughs> no man gunfight. Rebecca lassoed you and pulled you to cover. Well, how would I know that? I don't know. I don't know what you're conscious for and what you weren't. Rebecca! <laughs> there. Sorry, I didn't have silver. It's gold. Oh, have titties. Well, it's not any titties on it. Nope. It was tough titties, so not hard to get, like, not easy to get. Tough. I have tough titties. Not even gonna go there. Are you okay? Well, I'm gonna put the skull into it. That's not any skull I've ever seen. Is Close that, is that what that is? Looks like a five-year-old's painting. Well, it look, it looks close enough. Hmm. This is why I stick uh, to what's, what's that thing right there? Kind of looks like a chicken. That's his eye. That's the oh, okay. <laughs> I think it looks perfect. I mean, of course you would. It's still probably groggy from coming out of being under. Jesus. The only thing perfect in this world is me. <laughs> Real. <laughs> yes. You wow. Can't wow. <laughs> All right. Let's go get some warmer clothes. Come on. All right. Chop. I I was thinking instead could we go to strawberry and I could get some like fancy robes. <laughs> Give me just a okay, I'm done laughing at you. Yes, we can go to strawberry. Oh, well, I didn't you expect you to say yes. Fancy robes. I mean, there's four of us here. We can go to Strawberry. I'm just gonna have to be careful. Alright. But first, I need to go. What'd you say? You heard her. I know, I didn't hear her. Genuinely. Uh, oh, I, I said first, I need to tinkle. I need to go pee. Oh, good. I need to let the urine out of my body. She gotta take a piss. Yeah, I gotta go tinkle. Why do they call it your in if it goes out? <laughs> Alright. Never thought about it. Boo. Boo. Shit's boo. Somebody carry a box that I'm sitting on? Nope. Okay. I gotta start walking. Okay. Oh. Okay, can you help her? I'm fine. <laughs> Come on. I'm fine. Right now, because I'm not good. 
happened to you? <laughs> Come on. Help him. No help her. You guys okay up there? It's kind of flopping around. Well, I'm flopper. Fine. Okay, well, yeah, my arm. Uh, okay. Okay. All right, Jesus. Let's go nice and easy. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh! I don't want up there. <laughs> Can we go past thieves so I can put some cards away in my box? You, got, you really got to move up, Josie. Okay. I do. Yeah. Oh. Right. <laughs> Is nothing. Oh. Oh. oh, I'm okay. Okay. Yeah? <laughs> I just forgot to hold on. Hold on with your right hand. I hate thieves, by the way. Okay. Typically, thieves aren't good unless you're doing the thievery. Wait, what? You said you hate thieves. No, I did not say that. What did you say? No, I said they hit thieves. Dechenzo's hit thieves. Oh. <laughs> mm hmm. Well, which thieves? He's landed. Oh, you gotta specify. Uh, you knew what I meant. I think they left something for you there. I am the telegrams. <laughs> well, you could do it in strawberry. No, which is you. Alright. Strawberry, you want to be quick in and out. Well, if he's going to be looking for fancy robes, I don't think it's going to be very quick at all. Yeah. 
You okay, Aurora? Yeah, I don't know. It's the world's a little busy. Spinning, yeah. Hey. You can lay back and look at the sky if you want. December 1st? They must have laid their head there. Ability. Too long, didn't read. I don't got time for this. I'm, I'm just kidding. I'll read that in a second. I just want to go through these other ones. Alright. It's something that I believe everyone has inside of them. I dream it on the side of the road for the mission from Black Ryan. Do whatever you think. Change okay, your telegram. I do remember that day we met with your uncle, Sam, that day, when he ransomed me in the clutches of bloody hoods. I have not forgotten that he paid 1200 to cut me loose. He refused my payment for a good long time. Claiming that he cared. And that was likely true. How many people do something for somebody they hated? I'm writing you because I am sick of death and violence in my life. I refuse to believe that you are an unreasonable person. Target myself and the man I care about over something that, though tragic, took place in the past. Sam knew what he was doing that day, and we are fortunate that more lives were not lost. An interesting telegram I'm gonna sit on. I'm gonna tell her I won't I won't kill Rip for something that I want. That's actually pretty big. It's useful too. It's very useful. I need everybody to listen. Okay. I got a telegram from one of my ravens. Hold on. Yeah. There's a wagon with some horses on it. Okay. Some Dicenzos were at Manita Manzita Post a few hours ago. 
They may have been torturing someone as they were seen with their blood, but with blood on their clothing. The person who saw them told me they were given the name Oliver. I'll let you know if I learn more. It was yesterday at 4 a.m. Does that line up with the shootout time? Yeah. It does. Yeah, me yeah. after the shootout. Yeah. So they must have went to Manzita Post afterwards. M Manzita? You mean Manzanita? Yeah. It's close enough. Okay, but I gotta do my bit. No, I just wanted to make sure I got right. The second thing from a second raven. The Chenzos on Saturday at 9 p.m. New York time will either be going to a masquerade ball or a race at the Braithwaite racetrack. Huh. When he gets confirmation, he will pass it to me. Right. The third thing of importance. I was reached out to by Danny Fantoni. Hey! Went to go shuffle my boxes at the manor and saw that you and yours left your mark on the place. Then I noticed that my box of playing cards was missing. I don't live at the manor anymore, but I still did shore my, store my shit around the house. Seeing as how not many people tend to look around there. <coughs> Considering you didn't know they were mine, I will let it slide. <laughs> but I would very much like those decks back in my possession. Or at least the money. How about she gives us Carlo? <laughs> and she, but she attached her telegram. Yeah, tell her if she gives you Carlo, she can have her cards back. I'd like a meeting. Set it up. But I like I would like everybody's input. Yeah. <clears throat> Before that. Is Aurora okay? Yeah, she's oh, just looking at the sky. Okay. She's a little groggy. She was put under with chloroform, so. <sighs> Chelsea, you're gonna have to help her up. Ready? Yep, yep, come Thank on. you. Ow. Okay. It's hard to climb up while poor long hand. Alright, let's uh, quickly go past thieves then so I can put these cards away. And then we'll go strawberry. Do we want to take a? Do we want to take a look at the damage at thieves? Yeah. Okay. I didn't reply to any telegrams, so I would like to do that when we come back out west. I wanted to wait until right before I yeah. go to bed to respond to telegrams. No, mm -hmm. yes, I am. Let it sink in a little too. One of the Blackwater Saloon workers is one of the ones that telegrammed me that. That Clifford Which fella? One? With Mr. Ro with, with the fucking, what's his name? Mm. Who's, who's the guy that runs Blackwater Saloon? Uh, Peter Rockwell. That's his name, Peter Rockwell, yeah. Yeah, Clifford seemed like a good guy. I also had a very, very interesting telegram. Oh, yeah? Yes. I did. There I ask. It was from Saffron Mitchell. Oh, great. <laughs> it's like a CD terror, I think. Are you sure it's interesting when it's from her? She asked for any way to clear Rip of his debt. I mean, Rip took a life. It's pretty steep debt. I'm tempted to ask her for anything I can think of that would be useful. 
Teller rips off the table, but not her. To be honest, that's a win-win. Hurt him more to hurt her. It's got fried. Plus, while CD is alive and in the group, I won't target long. agreement I made with him. Yeah, it's fair. Do you have a jacket? I don't know where it is. It wasn't. What? It wasn't at. It wasn't at the. Uh, you know. Okay. Okay. Just to get changed here and leave then. Something warmer, and then we can go make an outfit and strawberry. Alright. So I'm gonna take you straight over there. Changed. Oh, I, I want to see warm Fuck clothes. <laughs> yeah, I put a black like hand. Oh no. Look where at all the details we need. Warm clothes then. Oh, Josie, are you okay? This is such a good song. This is such a good Viking outfit. Much better. that they marked it with a black hand here. Anything else? I'm oh, sure we can yeah. find more. Over the, uh... Just tell me where to go. This Probably be easier to uh, take a horse over there. Let's just want to the dock walk. area? Mm -hmm. Not dead yet, I'll walk. <laughs> Alright. Alright, no running. <laughs> Yeah, 
ship of the wheel. Okay. Be really steady and careful, okay? You're ready, shun your face. Too late for the mask. How's your pain levels? Oh, uh, yeah. You want some tablets? No, I'll be fine. Okay. Would you like some morphine before you go to bed? I need my head clear. Alright. Give you some aspirin, take the edge off if you want. All of these. Alright. Won't do much, but I'll take the sharpest edge off. Okay, maybe, maybe no jumping around. I'm just trying to lay on the couch and just keep falling off. Where did they leave? Come on. I think I might just fall asleep here. I'm really tired. Alright, let me just get onto the couch, right? Okay. I didn't hit a tree, so I didn't miss like bail. <laughs> Look at him. It's like we always do. Which cunt do you think did it? It doesn't matter. I'm gonna get all of them anyway. But if I were to guess, maybe one of the brothers. Before this war is over, I'm grabbing one of the brothers. 
I don't care how hard it is to get the drop. Yeah, we'll do it. So, Carlo, Dom, Tony, one of the brothers. Maybe even both of you can. Anyone else you want to add to the list? Let's move to our strawberry. Rebecca, since I'm gonna be a minute changing. Can you send telegrams to Charles and Michael that we're gonna lay our heads at thieves tonight? Yeah, we'll do. And since Aurora did, I'll stay there. Alright. If Aurora gets caught, if she's separate from us, we're hitting the transport. If I agree. If, uh, if we're awake. Yeah, I agree. And if they say we she's too wanted, we're executing the hostage. I'll do it. I'll take the, the most time. No, you'll go straight into solitary. I'll do it. No matter how much time I go into solitary, it'll affect me the same. I'll do it. It's better they focus more on me than you. Stop by the stables and we'll try to sneak in after the storm.
Why are you looking at me like that, Jesse? Fuck what? So judgy. Do you think I'm judging me? Are you? Only a little bit. That's okay. I ain't decided if I want to make a Winter City outfit or if I want to make my true Prince of the West outfit. You mentioned uh, before. Well, I mean, I have an answer for you. Go ahead. You're making a fucking warm outfit. Oh, this is my warm outfit. Okay, good. You should wear that. That's what I'm doing. Okay, but when we go good. to Saint Denis, I need an outfit. Okay, but only if you sweat it out by then. Unless it's warm. Simple as. Also, I might make an outfit with those pants. Why not? Like why, skull ones? Why not? Why not? Well, hold up. What about the? What about? What about my belt? No. Gun belt. What about your belt? No. What about the buckle? No. No. What about the boots? No. What about? What's wrong with boots? I'm thinking I might make an outfit with those pants and uh, a corset, so that Aurora's not alone with corsets. Yep, I was gonna make a corset one too. I don't know if there's going to be one that fits those pants, so we'll see. Yeah, 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 the metric, yeah, yeah, my pants. Yeah. Might be a little too high waisted. Yeah, what color corset are you going to do, Josie? Let me guess, black? Black. I'm going to do a red Never one. Never going to guess. A red one? Do they have a, I think they do, I think they Red. There is a red one, yeah. There's one that's mainly red with like black trimming, and then this one that's black with like red trimming. Swing to the years, sing for. Chad, I'm I'm making this outfit off stream to surprise you guys. I'm tired. I wanted to go start to get food, and I'm go. I'm 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 not feeling the best, so I'm making a surprise outfit. Yep, surprise outfit. Dream on, dream on, dream on that it didn't come true. I've got a few in mind. Not all of them are red, though. Dream on, dream on, dream on. I'm I'm logging quickly after. That's the other reason. I, I wanna I wanna go to bed. I'm like falling asleep. I'm making my outfit. I might even log in a strawberry and be ballsy. Sing for the gear. Sing with me. Just for today. Alright, we're gonna be live tomorrow with a mix, hopefully, of characters. Love you guys. Have a good night. I will be live tomorrow. Bye. Who do we wanna raid? Yeah, fuck it, I'm ending. I, I can't be ass. I'm too tired. I'm ending. Love you guys. Have a good night.